So today I'm going to be looking through the history of Call of Duty Zombies easter eggs. Now you might be wondering Renzaru what does that even mean? Well you see I've gone through every single game from World of War all the way to Cold War and picked out all of the easter eggs that I believe had some kind of impact or you know provoked a big change or you know overall just made history in Call of Duty Zombies easter eggs. And another thing you might have noticed is that this video is 3 hours long and that's because I decided to beat 14 different easter eggs throughout this video. It's going to be a long one so you know buckle up, strap into your crusty dusty gaming chair or you know get comfortable in bed or you know like find the optimum position on the toilet I don't know so without wasting any more time subscribe to the channel and let's jump into our first easter egg which is the one that started it all the Reese. Right then boys so it can't be the history of Call of Duty Zombies easter eggs without arguably one of the first easter eggs ever in Call of Duty Zombies this being the Reese's flytrap easter egg. Now this is a bit up for debate because a lot of people do consider this a side easter egg more than like an actual main easter egg although it's not very big I do consider it kind of a main easter egg like even though it's it's not really. To me I feel like this was Treyarch's way of experimenting with bigger easter eggs you know they threw this little quick one in and after seeing the community's feedback on like gonna figure out what could be next you know what like is the law behind it i think at that point they were like all right boys we're gonna have to buckle down let's make an actual good easter egg in our next game yeah so i feel like it'd be wrong to not include this all right even if it was just a side easter egg all right like this this inspired it boys this was the og so yeah we're gonna be starting off with this it's not a long easter egg as i said all we have to do is just open up pack lunch you know pack a bunch of weapon shoot a panel outside the map and find three things around the map it, it's not hard well i'll say it's not hard unless you're me because for some reason i always die in just really stupid ways <laughs> like when it comes to doing this easter egg so what i'm gonna do is you know what i'm not even gonna buy the good bear. i'm just gonna go straight for the power then i'm gonna hit the box that's my big plan so let's just hop down here and we can go ahead and turn on the power so there we go or oh, the electricity as it says in this game for some reason a little bit dodgy but what we get out of the box i bet it's gonna be really good the browning i don't know why whenever i play this map i always get the brown the last like three videos i've done playing the reese every single time i've gotten the browning i swear see on one end i'm not complaining because it's gonna it's like really good but on the other end i am because i, I can't move with it now and the reason load it's about seven years and <laughs> i'm a two shot where the zombies just like suck you in and you know do things to you that i can't really say on youtube you know what we should be fine i'm just gonna sit here for a bit and just save up a bunch of points and once i have enough to get like probably all three of the teleporters and maybe a punch if i can gather up enough and then we'll start making a move all right come on zombies you're actually taking your time this is genuinely outrageous like that's my main issue with world of war maps is i could just sit here and look at this all right, i've just been standing here and i've seen two zombies it is crazy okay i think we have enough points to open up all the doors so i want to try and gather up a few more thousand points so i can get myself like pack a bunch of stuff like that you know i am a little bit worried about the dog rounds but i don't think the dogs know me i don't know what i'm capable of you know i've got one of those chinese calendars so you know i should say it all and actually back away bro we might get them next round but either way it's fine game, a double point would be actually lovely though so the game gives me a nuke you know what i was kind of expecting it i'm pretty sure we had uh double points like literally at the start of like round three or something like that so you know what it is what it is we're up to like nearly eight thousand points so we're at seven thousand. Oh, and here's the dog round okay come on then boys you do get a bit of his insta kill which is quite nice also it's about to disappear and there's actually no dogs oh look at that boys i'm making the most of it yeah this browning should be fine yeah well look at that boys we're all good I'm actually not even sweating about it all right so i'm gonna go next round try and save a zombie and then we're just gonna like bash through the whole thing okay i think we're coming up on the end of the round so let me go ahead open up this door and we'll start by activating this teleporter just to get it out of the way i hate going through this part though it's actually risky especially with the way that hit detection works on world of war doing that is actually terrifying because one zombie is all it takes just to actually ruin your day but be in a bad mood for the rest of the night you know that's all it takes that's how like the joke is made oh my god oh you're back away bro oh my god actually please leave me alone okay put that on put that on i mean link it what am i on about let's also take out a few of these guys because oh he's running now which isn't good but bro, i'm not playing the world's riskiest life here so i'm not gonna have enough points if i go this way so i gotta go all the way around very nice wait that door only cost 750 oh i would have had enough points oh would you look at that boys actually would i i don't know i'm actually curious now okay let's open up this and how much is this door gonna be 750 points okay yeah we do have enough actually two easy boys so let's go ahead and pack a bunch of brown in hopefully a zombie doesn't come up and eat my ass real quick okay so there we go and now we've got a pack bunch weapon we just need to come over here shoot this panel that is outside the map right there so there we go you can see it's just flying away and once that's done that all we've got to do is just shoot three things around the map so there's one just in here so there we go there's another one just up there and then the final one is over in this furnace so there we go and then that's pretty much it boys that's the entire easter egg real crazy stuff i know but i mean as i said this is like almost like a prototype the easter eggs like like this is what nactor and totem is for the entirety of zombies you know like it was the start it was the prototype it was the testing ground obviously they've remade this easter egg in the giant on bo3 and doing it on that just gives you the annihilator so you do technically get a reward but basically doing this easter egg is pretty pointless so either way with this map done let's just go ahead and jump over to our next easter egg that kind of did a bit of a leap when it comes to easter eggs if that makes sense i don't really know how i'm gonna you know transition between maps on this video but yeah let's just move on to the next one right then so our next easter egg is the ascension easter egg all right now you might be thinking jake what is special about this easter egg okay well it kind of ties into the whole debate on whether or not you think the reese has the first easter 
strike or if it doesn't. Because if Darice doesn't have the first E strike, then Ascension must have it, right? So I'm putting it on here because obviously what I just said. And also because it is kind of like their first proper type of E strike, you know? Like they had an ending in mind, a reward in a way, they had actual steps. So I feel like it'd be wrong if I didn't do this E strike in this video. So we're going to be doing it. Obviously, we're on the Black Ops 1 version because, you know, it's the OG. But this is without a doubt one of the most annoying versions to do this Easter egg on. And the main reason for why this is such a pain in the ass is because it requires a lot of box luck. Pretty much, right? We need to get the Gersh devices, the Ray Gun, and the Thunder Gun. So yeah, right, we're going to be needing to hit the box quite a lot in this Easter egg, which is a little bit annoying. So we're going to have to save up a bunch of points. Of course, we get adult points pretty much at the end of the round, which kind of sucks. So we're going to buy this M14. Then I suppose I might as well get a little bit set up with like Jug and uh, I mean Quick Revive, I suppose. I'm going to buy that now. But yeah, literally the first step requires us to have Gersh devices. So, so it's not really a whole lot we can do, to be honest, until we get those Gersh devices. So go 3,000 points. Nearly 4,000 points actually be enough. Get me all the way to power. I think it will. Let's go. Let's make a move. Okay, so if I just open up this door here, there we go. We can go ahead and turn on the power. Very nice. And suppose I can take a crack at the box. See what I can get. So come on, game. Give me something good, please. Uh, maybe Gersh devices? No, I've got Ballistic Knife. I suppose it's not awful for gathering points in the first couple rounds, but it immediately gets ruined by this death machine. So let's go. Right, let's try this again. Come on, game. Give me those Gershes. I'm actually going to pretend that, that the game just didn't give me that because that is actually an insult. A genuine hate crime. But plus, these Ballistic Knives are already a two shot, which kind of sucks. I'm actually going to get cornered here. Give me all my knives. See, I swear, Black Ops 1 is the only game where it doesn't just pick up the knives automatically. You actually have to press F to pick them up, which is a bit of a weird thing. I'm pretty sure it is. Like, Black Ops 2 does that. He just has to, like, run over them. It's really convenient. Also, I'm going to try and save a zombie here because I want to spend all my points on the box. I know I said I was going to try and get set up first, but the reason I want to hit the box and try and get the Gersh devices really quick is because if we can do that on the monkey round, we can do the next step. So it would just be really convenient. Of course, the game gives me the CZ75. So that's really useful for me. The RPK. I mean, that's pretty good. Not quite what I want, though, game. You got literally this attempt and then the next one. And of course, I get this poopy little sniper rifle, which I'm not going to be taking. And then the dragon off. Okay. Cool little joke there, game. Well, I think the monkeys might be this round. Maybe next round. Yeah, they're going to be next round, I think. So what do I want to do? I honestly don't know. All right. Do I want to keep hitting the box or do I want to go for Jug? I'm honestly not too sure. I'll say, what was I even saying? I'm a gambler's man. I'm going right for that box. All right. This is going to be it. I'm going to get Ghost Devices. Guaranteed. Already some kind of wonder weapon. Just something game. Something that's actually useful to me. Okay, the HK21, not quite what I want. Also, I don't know why the game just doesn't show anything while it's rolling. It's a little bit random, but one game, please. And it's a teddy bear. Let's go. Oh, and here's the monkey round. Okay, so all it means is that assuming I get, you know, the ghost devices within the next like five rounds, is that I'm probably gonna have to wait until probably round 14 to get another shot completing the step after the ghost devices. Which you know it's annoying, but it's fine. It honestly doesn't even matter. Okay, well, here's our max ammo. We didn't get a perk because somehow a monkey just teleported right onto the quick revive machine, but it's fine. Not even gonna question it. See, something I just realized is now that the box has moved, we can actually get fire sails, which will actually be really useful. This means I've got to have one drop first. Yeah, where is the box at? I think that's at spawn, actually. Where is that? No, it's not there. Oh, it's over here. That's why. I always get those two locations mixed up. Yeah, let's just keep hitting it. Hopefully, we can get at least something we can use. The glow, the glow's not bad. Ballistic knife again. Truly game. I, I, I trade that out just so you could give me it back again. And then they're trying to like, on, honestly, game. Actually a treat. Oh, uh, dude, super annoying. I guess I could start working towards getting pack a punch. See, I actually hate maps specifically for the Easter eggs that have really high RNG regarding the box, which is pretty much the entirety of Black Ops 1. Like every single Black Ops 1 Easter egg requires some kind of luck with the box. And I just hate it, bro. Especially ones where they throw in like three different things that you need. I'm looking at this map and I'm looking at Moon. Two of the worst maps for RNG. Like every time I hop on these maps trying to do these Easter eggs, I just suffer. Like it's not a joyful experience. The things I put myself through for content, you know. What do we got? Fire cell. Nice. Oh my god, again, the ballistic knife again. Seriously, game. I don't want the ballistic knife. There are so many guns in this box and the game just keeps... Oh, bro. Okay, alright, that was a bit unexpected. It, but you know what? I'll take it. Now, game, I just need the Reagan or like the Gersh's. Oh, bro, I'm a choice because, alright, that's actually an insult, bro. You know what? At least we got the Thunder Gun. Alright, well, I guess I'll go spend my last like 9,000 points on the box. Actually, scratch that. I'm going to open up this door first because I will be needing that for the step after this Gersh device step. Oh my god, bro, let's go, dude. We got Gersh devices. My luck is turning around, right? You just shit talk the game. And then the game's like, you know what? Here you go. It's everything you'll ever need. I actually love you, game. Okay, alright, actually, game, we, we don't, we're not, we're not friends anymore. That, that's an insult. That's actually wrong, bro. I'll give you like a nice little compliment and you hit me with a teddy. All right, well, either way, now that we've got Gersh's, we can actually start on the first step of the Easter egg. So all I've got to do is throw a Gersh at that, like, power generator thing outside the map. Wait, that can start sucking up. Yeah, there it is. All right, see you later. Uh, big, I was going to call it a washing machine. I, for some reason, I remember people calling it a washing machine. It's never been a washing machine. It's just a big power generator. But in my mind, it will always be a washing machine. So pardon me, I suppose. But let's go ahead and call this lander here since we'll start working towards pack a bunch. It's pretty cool that you can see Griffin Station on the moon over there. I'm sure there's some people that are probably just saying, like, it's just free accidental dots on the moon. But the same little dots can actually be seen on Darice. So I don't think it's a coincidence, boys. I think it is a cheeky little, like, side Easter egg. Towards a 
looking for. Okay, I've not had my Red Bull today, right? Because I'm out. I've got no more Red Bull to go. I'm the resort to like powdered energy drinks. <laughs> it's a little bit depressing. Yeah, let's go ahead and call this one in next. So here it comes. Take this back to spawn. And then the last one we need to do is over by PhD, which, you know, we can just do it anytime. So we're not in a rush to do it or anything like that. But yeah, I'm also thinking I might just try and get jugs since this is actually a good run. Also, there's the box. All right, let's cover up a bunch of points. Since everything we kind of need is in this area. So, oh my God, let's hope I don't die. Oh my God. Okay, this is why we need jugs. Because I actually would have made that if I had jugs. Let's just try and not die here. If I die here and I have to restart the entire recording, I would be very upset. Also, getting this death machine was just one of the worst things I could have done. Oh my God, and it's a fucking monkey round. You know what? Actually, this works because... No, it hasn't worked because I haven't pressed the button yet. Oh my God. Game, I need you to let me go right now. Oh my God, this is not good. Okay, we're going to lose our quick revive, which kind of sucks. But you know what? It just has to be done. It is what it is, as they would say. Let's try not to die here as well. But all I've got to do is just go ahead and press this. And then I'm hoping I didn't leave it too late and the button still spawns. Yeah, here it is. So let's go ahead and press that. Game, please. Game, please let me, please let me, like, press it. I know I messed up. That was really slow. I'm sorry. Oh, I actually cannot even believe it. Is it going to let me press it here, maybe? No, I'm actually such a dumbass. It is unreal. All right, well, a little bit of a thrown away round. How did I forget? I actually cannot even believe myself. Come on, give me the Reagan now. Oh my God, you just ask and you receive. That, you know, that honestly makes up for it. <laughs> okay, so we pretty much got, like, all the RNG aspects out of the way. The only thing that has ruined it now has been me because I messed up, like, a little bit of a goofball. It has been a hot minute since I did this on Black Ops 1, actually. Do I need to press all of the buttons together or do I just need to press one? Okay, I might need to relook that up because that might have just once again been me being a bit of a goofball. Okay, boys, I might have messed up. So with the modern Zombie Chronicles version of this map, you only have to hit one button. On the Black Ops 1 mod, you have to hit all four and I actually forgot about that. So I could have done it last round, but you see, some people, they're just not the smartest. By some people, I just mean me. So I guess what we can do is we can just get like set up, pack punch all of our guns. Then, so we are going to need a pack punch ray gun and the pack punch thunder gun for like the final steps. So I just run up here and press this button. That's going to launch the rocket, you know, open up the pack a punch. You know, what I can do since we got the ray gun is I can go ahead and blow up the rocket like uh, any any second now, game. There we go. Look at that. See, see you later, rocket. <laughs> it's clips through the entire map. Let's go. What it does do is it reveals like this double points, which is quite nice since I could try and get quite a few points with this. Obviously, I'm not going to get like massive amounts of points because neither the ray gun or the thunder gun is very good for that. You know what? It'll still be quite helpful. Like, look at this. I'm pretty much going to be able to get at least one of my guns pack a punch. All right, we'll go ahead and pack a punch the ray gun since pack a punch and the thunder gun pretty much has no difference other than the ammo. So there we go. And I guess I should keep flying through the rounds until we get another monkey round. I actually cannot believe I messed up that bad. Only I can do that. I'm an actual goofball. Right, my guess is we'll probably get a monkey round next round. So as long as I can get myself a pack punch weapon, we could have this Easter egg done by maybe round 18 if we can't save a monkey. Which if I can save a monkey, we could have it finished next round. But like, what is the chances you're going to save a monkey on this map? Like, let's be honest. You know, on the topic of the history of zombies Easter eggs, I'm so happy that they begin to move away from like RNG dependent Easter eggs after this. I say after this, I mean after like <laughs> PO1 to be honest. Like Black Ops 2 still has some RNG dependent stuff, but honestly nowhere near as bad as Black Ops 1. Like people could say like getting the Paralyzer is RNG dependent on Buried, but boys, like Buried has the bank, you know, like you can withdraw as many points as you want. You could have that Easter egg done by what, I don't know, like round three, I think I've had it done before. On this map, you don't have a choice, all right? Like you just gotta hope and pray. So I'm hoping and praying it's gonna be a monkey round. Let's go boys. Honestly, what can I say? I just know things like that, but yeah, let's head down here and we've got to hit this button here. So there's one. Probably could have done this in a better order, but you know what? It is what it is. There's a second one just up here. I'm going entirely off what I've said in a prior video. Oh my God, we're losing jug. That is not good. So what I said is that I have 90 seconds to hit all of the buttons. So here's our third one. Oh my God, I really don't want to lose jug, but I don't think I get much of a choice. Wait, is that our third one? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, well, either way, if I just go ahead and hit this button right here, there we go. They disappear. So that is that step completely. Now I'm just going to make sure they don't steal quick revive because if they steal quick revive, I actually might die. Oh, they can't steal quick revive because it's not a quick revive machine to steal. Actually all planned though. All right, so what that does mean is that I'm going to be able to save a monkey. So I can actually do the next step now, I think. Maybe. I can go give it a try. So all I've got to do is stay on this whole like metal pad thing for 60 seconds, but this thing is not moving. So I might actually have to end the round. Oh, this thing's already started moving. Okay, well, not the best spot or the best time to be trying this step, but you know what? We'll give it a go. We only have to go like a minute, so it's not too crazy. And we do have both the Wonder Weapons. So if I do happen to die here, I'd be very surprised. But then again, it is me. Anything is possible. If I could try and save a zombie, that would be like the ideal situation here. Oh my God, are you actually serious, bro? I made a crawler. Oh, it gets squeakier and scarier by the second. I swear down. If I die, I'm not going to be a happy bunny. Okay, let's just go ahead and throw another Gersh device. That should save me. We're pretty close to being done with the step. Like, really, really close. So there we go. That is going to end the round, which is really just not it. So what I'm going to try and quickly do is go ahead and buy Jug back because I really, really do not want to throw this run. So let's see if I can quickly buy it without dying here. There we go. And now we're pretty much onto the final step because a thing about the Black Ops 1 solo Easter egg mod, or at least the one that I have, is it kind of skips one of the big steps. And by that, I mean, 
it's just like calling Lunar Landers to different areas to spell the word out Lunar. There is another solo Easter egg mod that I've been meaning to install, which adds that step back, but uh, honestly, I kind of forgot to do it. So next time, I promise I'll have that mod on. But for now, we're pretty much on to the final step. So all I've got to do is come over here, throw a ghost device on the floor, right near the ghost device, shoot it with the uh, Zeus cannon. There we go. And blast it with a ray gun. And what should happen is it should start floating up. There it goes. So see you later, Mr. Orb. Can't tell if that's meant to be ghost or not, but either way, he's flying away. And that is pretty much the Ascension Easter egg complete. As you can see, the reward is a death machine. A little bit of a dead reward, but you know what? At least you get something, right? Unlike the Reese. So if I'm not mistaken, on Black Ops 1, you don't even get an achievement for beating this Easter egg. Like, this is literally it. You just get a black and white screen for four seconds and you get a death machine. And, and that's literally it. So I'm just glad that I didn't throw it at the end because that was getting a little bit squeaky with me losing quick revive and jug and all that. So yeah, I'm glad that it only took like 40 minutes as well. Is uh, because trust me, boys, when I've done these Easter eggs, sometimes it has taken longer with how bad my luck is with the box. But we have actually got some decent luck with the box this time. But yeah, so there we go. We pretty much completed like technically the first Easter egg, I guess. After this point, like they pretty much had their foot and down that they were going to do an Easter egg in every single map. So yeah, I mean, that's Ascension complete. So let's go ahead and move on to the next Easter egg for this video. Right then, boys. So the last Easter egg I have for Black Ops 1 that, you know, it'd be stupid if I didn't include is the Easter egg for Moon, right? Now, this is one of the best endings to an Easter egg I think we have out of like the entirety of Call of Duty Zombies. You know, as a little spoiler to anyone who somehow doesn't know, you literally blow up the fucking Earth. Like, you kind of can't get as good as that. But again, however, if you do know anything about the Moon Easter egg, you'll know that it has some of the most RNG BS like mechanics in pretty much any single Easter egg ever. Okay, let me just get out of here. Oh, I should have bought Jug. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? It's fine. Zoom so, yeah, as I was about to say, the RNG on this map is absolutely awful, okay? Like, in terms of what you need. So, I was looking about, and I'm sure I'm going to get a million comments being like, oh, technically, it doesn't count, or something like that. There's a thing called, like, the Speedrunners mod, which basically, like, for practicing Easter eggs and stuff like that, it gives you what is, like, hypothetically the best box look you can get. So, in theory, I shouldn't have to hit the box about a million times and we can actually enjoy my experience. Now, as much as I do like the ending to this Easter egg, I absolutely just hate this Easter egg, and honestly, just Moon in general. Like, look at this. I'm having to fly around the map to get to a zombie. Oh my god, are you actually serious? So, yeah, you know, not a big fan of Moon. I everything goes smoothly, so I'm just going to start making a move. But honestly, I'm going to have to try and, like, remember the steps. I think first step is to do Simon Says. So let me just quickly make my way over the tower. Hopefully, I've got enough points. Pretty sure I do, because it's literally just through this door here. So there we go. And here is the power switch. Here's also the box, so I'll take a hit at that. But right, how fast is this zombie going to be? Uh, no, nah, he's just walking. He's just chilling. All right, let me take our D King over here. Oh my god, there is another zombie. Uh, back away. All right, so let's see what Simon Says. So we've got, we've got yellow, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, yellow, blue, yellow, green. Yellow, blue, yellow, green, yellow. Okay, okay, it's getting a little bit complicated, but I think I remember it. So yellow, blue, yellow, green, yellow, blue. Okay, there we go. Nice. So that's the first time it says done. So what we've got to do now is we need to hack those four green like, panel thingies in like the lab area. I'm not too sure I'm going to have the points. So my big plan is, and it's only going to work if I can find the hacker somewhere down here. Oh, okay. Actually not down here. That is kind of shocking. Well, how much is this door? I think it's like a thousand something. Yeah, 60 points away. Now I do want to be careful in this area because for some reason they decided to put Nova Cools on this map. This map would be so much better without Nova Cruels, honestly. Oh my god, and they teleport, bro. Oh, dude, this map. I genuinely cast on this map. Like, it's just not it. Especially the BO1 version. Like, I feel like I can't ever make a tier list because if I make a tier list, bro, it'll be like the most trigger inducing thing zombies have seen in like the last like 15 years. Is zombies even 15 years old? I don't think it is. It might be actually. I was good, Susie Q. Now, to be honest, I really wish they weren't like completely blocking us there. So, you know, see if I can quickly just sneak my way around them. Very nice. All right, so where is the hacker? Here it is. Okay, so I need to come down here. I need to hack these. So, there we go. Now I need to look around this area these green panels. So here's one of them. Just take a hot second to hack, which hopefully the zombies stay far away, but can't exactly tell them what to do, you know. We live in 2024. I'm sure someone's advocating for zombie free rights. All right, we've got our third one here. So there we go. And the last one should be somewhere down here. Okay, well, it should be, but I can't see it. So it maybe it's up here? I don't know. Oh, here it is. Uh, I'm not a big fan of how close the zombies is, but there we go. Now we got to do is just hit these buttons at the same time. One, two, three, four. Perfect. There we go, boys. Make some big plays. Okay, so I'm pretty sure. Oh my God, I need a helmet. There we go. See, I'm pretty sure we're now onto the parts where we need like the most RNG. So obviously, as I said, the combo on that gives me better RNG because I should enjoy myself. So this should be the wave gun. There we go. There is going to be someone in the comments that's like, well, technically. Whereas it's not a kind of flex thing, right? Like I'm, oh my God, are you actually serious? Yeah, I'm not trying to be like, oh, look at my time on moon or anything like that, right? Like, all I'm trying to do is just have a bit of fun. And there's probably some people that are thinking like, oh, come on, like no one's actually going to comment that. But you'd be surprised, okay? In a video that never got uploaded to the leaderboards, you know, it was just a bit of fun. Going to be all the Easter eggs from World of Wars block of stream 24 hours. The amount of people that commented on the fact that we turned off the fog on transit and how that is cheating was absolutely unreal. So at this point, I feel like I need to like, clarify myself every single time. Okay, let's take another hit at the box. Hopefully it's his ghost devices. I think it will be if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think it just says the right excavator is going off. So that's actually really good. Also, I want to buy this MP5K as all of my guns are just getting me like no points. <laughs> I'm actually struggling.
and I am a brokey. Try to be careful though, because I don't want to die. One silly little down and it's over. There's tunnel 11. Is that the right one? Yeah, it needs to breach tunnel 6. So it actually isn't the right excavator, which is kind of surprising that I thought with the fact that it's meant to have better RNG, it would, you know, activate that one first. But I don't know. Maybe they still wanted to make it a little bit challenging. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> that was good, my guy. Oh my god. I, bro, I hate the Nova Crawls. I'm, oh my god. I'm, I'm genuinely left for words, bro. I hate this map. This is the Easter egg I've been like putting off. Right, I actually just hate Black Hole Swan. I'm not even gonna lie. Alright, well, I'll be back when I'm back. I don't know, boys, so I'm pretty much back to where I was. If not, I'm actually more prepared because I actually bought drug this time. So we can actually do the next step as we need to make our way back to Area 51. And what we need to do is we need to throw a grenade over at these like panel things outside the map. Make them fall over. There we go. And then we need to toss a Gersh device over there to pick them up. It should suck them up. Yeah, I can see them going. Perfect. So now we just need to survive and not die. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna buy speed color as well. Just because why not? Alright, oh my god. Oh, we need to go. Alright, there we go. So now the panels end up here. So now we need to get Shui D devices. And I don't know if it's gonna be my next box hit, but hopefully it is. So now nah, we got the G11, bro. That's actually in it. Hell, you know. Alright, so this might take a few spins. Yeah, we got the org. Okay, so so I guess it's only the wave gunner and the Gersh devices that actually like make a difference with the mod. I didn't realize that. Oh, I think I just heard it say it's gonna take out the biodome as well, which kind of sucks. So yeah, you know, boys, there is still a bit of RNG towards this Easter egg, right? It's not just like being handed to me. Alright, let's take another hit the box. Oh my god, bro, I did not see you. We got the M27 law, yo, I'm not picking that up. Oh, there we go. We got QDs. Now, I don't know if that's just like luck or, or if maybe there was still like some kind of influence towards it. I don't know. But you know what? I got a boy, so I'm happy. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw QEDs at those little panels on the floor. So there we go. Oh, I forgot to get the wire. I need to go get that real quick. I actually cannot remember where this wire is or like where the spawns are. Oh, it's here. Okay, well, I mean, bro, what am I even chatting? Just actually ignore me. You know, I'm, I'm the biggest shit talker there is, boys, on the Call Duty scene. Okay, so let's put these in here. There we go. Now, I actually have no idea how this works. I don't know if you just need to tap it or if you just need to hold it or there's a biodome's just gone off. Right, well, this is working if I just tap it, so I'm just gonna keep tapping it. If I could make a crawler, that would be ideal, but I don't know. On Moon, it's not exactly easy to make crawlers. Oh, and well, I mean, I digress. All right, go, go. I'm spamming, boys. Oh, there we go. No, my Max has said, nah, bro. Right, I'm heading back over. Spamming F. I'm going in. Actually doing some elite hacking right now. All right, come on. Can you two stop flirting back and forth with each other and just hurry up? Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's pick up this. And you know what? I wonder. No, okay. We can't, like, switch souls with Samantha straight away because you still need to wait for Excavator 6 to go off or, like, whatever this one is so we can take out Tunnel 6. You know what I mean? All right, well, let's just go a few rounds. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long for Tunnel 6 to go off. Hopefully, it's not like Tunnel 11 next. I mean, we'll see. Oh, oh Tunnel 11's going off, bro. I fucking called it. I knew it was going to go off. Even with a mod that gives me better RNG, this game still finds a way to fuck me over. Can you believe it? All right, well, you know what? It's fine because at least I know that the next one is pretty much guaranteed to be Tunnel 7. Okay, before I end the round, I'm actually going to let that one land first. I'm pretty sure, like, starting from, like, next round, as long as that goes down, there's a chance that the next excavator will go off. So, yeah, you know, boys, I look big plates. Oh my god. Oh, uh, I just lost Joke. Oh my god. Bro, I didn't even know the astronaut was on the map. Bro stayed hidden and then attacked at, like, the perfect moment. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. That's starting to go now. Okay, so now that Tunnel 11's gone off, can I head back to Area 51 real quick as well? So, I want to buy back Joke. So, there we go. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pack one the AK-74 you. I'm off. See you later, boys. Oh, what I needed? I'm dipping. Where's it got an S? That's a bit random. Oh my god. Okay. I don't like how squeaky this is going. Hey, why can't Tunnel, like, 7 just go off, please? Do me one solid. It's all a man's asking for. I don't ask for a lot, but when I do, it would be nice if you just delivered. I don't know when next, like, excavator is even going to go on. I've been, like, round 14. That would be nice. Maybe even this round. Okay, I'm nice enough. I'll give it a little bit of leeway, you know, with the extra round. Alright, come on, game. I'm going on to round 14 now. Like, surely this is going to go off at some point. Bro, I almost got Gersh devices. My QED. That's actually kind of mad. Maybe I can't really pick them up. Come on, game, bro. Actually, like, how long are you going to make me wait? Because the higher into the rounds I go, the harder these, like, next few steps going to be. Game, I just need you to work in my favor, please. Bro, Gersh is again. Okay, that's going to be due to the mod, like, surely. Oh my god, no, no, I don't want to die again. Alright, we're going on to round 16 now. Alright, going on to round 17. What, what am I even expecting at this point? Who the fuck is this guy, bro? It's the longest name I've ever seen in my life. You know what? I'm switching to the biodome because, oh, it, this has also been breached. I forgot about that. <laughs> Fuck's sake, bro. Literally everything has been breached. Other than the one thing I need. There's no real point in me leaving just the fact they have the AK, so. Oh, bro, it's going off. Thank fuck. It took so long. It was literally like nothing I could do other than just wait. That was depressing. All right, well, now I've got to do some like big brain maneuvers. So let me kill fucking Laura, whatever her name is. All right, so what I gotta do, right, is I gotta get the hacker and I'm gonna need to like go through like the portal thingy. Teleport, that's what it's called. I need to go through there with the hacker, go back to spawn, hack the excavator so I can actually like move around and then we can start the next step. All right, so I just gotta wait for that to hit. Oh, okay, there it goes. So now that that's gone, I need to get myself the hacker real quick. So where is it going off to? Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, then. So let's make a run. Hopefully I don't die. I should be all right. I think you get like just enough health to make it. So there we go. Nice. So all I gotta do now is just not die, head back to spawn. And now I can just quickly hack the excavators and we can finally go back to actually doing stuff in the map. Hallelujah. Okay, so there's this bull thing here now. So I've got a knife around. I follow it all the way back to the MPD. So where is it going? There it is. Now, the only thing I'm worried about, right, is it gets stuck
We're on the move. Sometimes I forget it lands here as well. I can't remember if it happened in the video or not, but I remember searching everywhere until I ended up realizing it was back there. So okay, this one is going to get stuck up there. So there we go. It should be smooth sailing from here because that was the one that I wasn't 100% sure on where it gets stuck out. There it is. So as I said, there we go. It gets put in the uh, MPD thingy. Now we have to fill this up. So I kind of wish we had like the Reagan or something like that, but hopefully we can make this AK-74 work. The thing is, right, it's like a Black Ops 1 guns. Right, they just suck. Like, it's just not it. Like with BO2, right, there are guns that just are good in the 20s, right? Like the A94. Or even the PDW or like the Scorpion Evo. There's a lot of guns, but in this game, bro, you just feel weak all the time. You do not feel like the main character. That's all I'm going to say. Oh shit, okay. Ooh, oh my god, game please. Okay, I think that should nearly be filled up. Okay, I think it is. So can I pull the switch? No, game's not letting me. Let's go. All right, I need to come back to it. I, probably, I hate the anti-grav, honestly. I hate the astronaut. I want to get rid of him. Ooh, that definitely that's going to be kind of big. Okay, can we take out the astronaut? There we go. Nice. At least he's gone. And out the way. Okay, can I pull it now? There we go. Okay, so that's going to bring out some ampha. So there we go. So what happens now? I swear. Yeah, yeah okay, here we go. So we're now going to get like 100 kills, 25 in each of the canisters. So let's try and do that. But we struggled with one canister. So let's see how this one goes. For some reason, it goes into the roof. I, I don't really know why, but it does. I guess it's going to those node thingies there, which is weird because in the BO3 version, it goes straight into the canister. I'm pretty sure there's no like middleman. Yeah, again, this like 90 second depth machine was actually kind of big. The depth machine in Black Ops 1 isn't great, but I'm around 20, like it, it kills, which is good enough for me. Okay, so there's that one filled up. So let's just start filling up this one here. We do have the wave gun in case I need it. So, you know, I'm like underpowered, but at the same time, I'm not. I don't really know how to describe it. I don't feel safe, all right? That's, that's the best way I can kind of say it. God, weak this AK is, bro. It's actually so bad. It says that one done. So we have one more we need to do. Oh my God, of course the astronauts decided to make a big appearance. Oh, what is good, my guy? I can't kill him fast enough. Oh, okay, there we go. So I think all I need to do is put the golden rod in there. Okay, and then we should switch souls. So yeah, there we go, boys. Now we've got all the perks. All right, we're nearly done. Okay, so I think all I need to do is just throw a QED at that. There we go. Now I need to get back the Gersh devices. So I'm pretty sure one hit the box, it should give me them back, maybe. No, we got the Galil. Okay, that's actually just not really it. But why is this like the ramp up real quick? What is going on? All right, come on, game. Give me those Gersh's. As soon as I get them, we can actually just finish it. Oh my god, bro. That's actually an insult. What was the need? The box is back at spawn, so let me head over there real quick. Come on, game. Give me those Gersh's. I actually realized I can actually like take the weapon as well. Since I've got mule kick now. Oh my god, bro. I did not mean to pick these up. The door with CZs on plutonium can sometimes crash the game. So picking those up was actually a big risk, you know. If, it, if my game had crashed there, I would have been like so sad. Bro, are you actually serious or not? Right, you know what? Let's just try and do Simon says for a bit. Blue, yellow, yellow, blue, yellow, yellow, red, blue, yellow, yellow, red. Oh my god. Uh, yellow. Bro, I completely forgot the code here. Is it blue? Oh my god. I can make a crawl like it wouldn't be this bad, but bro just is not dying enough. Plus, I don't even have a more grenades. Okay, blue, yellow, yellow. Bro, I just I hate this map, bro. I'm just launching. Yellow, blue. Oh my god, okay. I managed to get this first one somehow. Oh my god, bro. Like, it's can teleport everywhere. It's just annoying. All right, let's see what we got. We got red, red, yellow, red, 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 yellow, red, 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 yellow, red, yellow, red, red, yellow. Oh my god, bro. Game, if you can't look. Okay, get a what? FPS at 30. All right, we're playing at 30 FPS. We've actually got some 30 FPS gameplay going on right now. Now, the reason I switched into 30 FPS and it's going to look incredibly ugly is because the moon anti gravity is based on FPS. So having it at 30 FPS, it won't just launch me around everywhere. Red, red, yellow, red, yellow, red. Oh my god, dude, I managed to fail. It's like, just get distracted by the zombie hitting me. Oh, bro, I cannot wait to be off this map. Oh my god, there we go. I think I can probably get away with changing it to 60 and it's still kind of working. So blue, yellow, blue, yellow, red, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow, red, yellow, and red again. Is that it? No. Okay, I think this is the final one. So, oh my god, game, please stop launching me around, bro. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow, red, yellow, red, and then blue. Is that it? There we go. Oh my god, thank god. Okay, it should be pretty set from here. All we've got to do, right, is just get those Gersh devices. Of course, the game just wanted to give me the Gersh devices earlier on. And then the second I actually need them, the game's like, yeah, nah, bro, like, you, you've exceeded it. And please just give me the Gersh devices. I'm actually begging, bro. Oh my god. Dude, I just want off this map, like, honestly. You know what, Jake? You know, once it's done, never have to play it again. Well, I mean, I, I will for other videos, but I won't have to play it in a while. That, that's actually another lie, because one of the next videos I want to do regarding these strikes is, you know, it involves this map, so. I mean, please, <laughs> just give me what I need. I swear, I've put, like, over 10,000 points now into this box. Bro, we got the ray gun. Game, I want the Gersh devices. This map is just, like, suffering for me. Actual suffering. Like, I genuinely don't think people understand how much I dislike Black Ops 1. Bro, actually, how have I nearly spent all of my points and I've not had the Gersh devices? Bro, how does this happen? Better RNG my ass, bro. I've been scammed. Or maybe I just, like, don't watch, all right? Maybe that's the secret, all right? If I come now, it's going to be the Gersh devices? No, it's going to be the fucking Commando. Oh, last hit the box. Let's hope to God that it's going to be Gersh devices, because if it's not, I actually am going to cry. Well, there it is. The M27 law. 
bro? What is this guy doing, bro? What are you doing? I, I left speechless, bro. Actually speechless. Oh my god, are you actually serious? Game, give me that max ammo, please. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna die. I'm not, I'm a pro. Okay, my plan is, right, so I'm gonna throw QEDs. Oh my god, bro, it's D-Anthony, the king from Little of the Dead. Yeah, I'm gonna throw QEDs, and hopefully I can get lucky again and get the Earth devices from it. Okay, I'm fucking very lucky here. I can even pick it up. Literally, a carpenter is what I'm left with. All right, I'm gonna try and gather up as many points as I can for our head back. All right, come on, game. I just need it. I need it right now. Get out, bro. This little poopy sniper rifle. Oh, game, please. Just throw him on a bone, like, honestly. Oh my god, let's go. Oh my god, finally. Holy shit. Look, way longer than it ever should have. That's just typical moon gameplay right now. This is an average moon experience right now, honestly. Oh my god, I think I missed as well. Okay, let me just not mess up here. Okay, is that gonna get it? Okay, there we go. Suck it in the ball. That's pretty much the end of the Easter egg. Thank the lord. This Easter egg just sucks, bro. All right, well, there go the rockets. <laughs> Look at the way they play about, bro. Oh, there it goes. And they're about to hit any second now. Okay, let me see the earth explode. Come on. Oh, and there it goes. Just blowing up. And that's it. That's that's the reward, boys. It's that site right there. It is one of the cooler endings in an Easter egg. But my god, bro. Like, the steps you have to do to get to this point is just the worst. I hate it. But thankfully, that is moon done. The end of Black Ops 1. One of the most infamous Easter egg endings ever. What led to the beginning of BO2. As much of a pain as it was, it would have been wrong to have not included a moon on this list. Also, the start of Ricked off and being in control, as you can see from the eyes. So, oh my god. I'm just glad it's done. So, that's enough of moon. I'm literally diving off the map. Like, see you later, bro. <laughs> like, I'm actually gone. Yeah, that's our final Black Ops 1 Easter egg. So yeah, I mean, with that Easter egg out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to our next Easter egg for this video. Right then, so doing a big leap all the way over the Black Ops 2. So you might be wondering, like, Jake, why are you starting a mob of the dead? Like, come on. So the reason is, is because Transit and Die Rise, let's be honest, like, what what, what do they hold? Outside of Transit just being, like, start of BO2, there's nothing really to it, okay? Well, mob of the dead, this is the first map, I'm pretty sure, that actually have an ending. It's actually one of the only Easter eggs that have an ending. But to me, it's also one of the only times that instead of trying to do just random convoluted Easter eggs, steps, whatever. They try to tell more of a story through the Easter egg rather than like, I guess like a completionist thing. It's a bit hard to describe, but I do feel like this Easter egg alone impacted like the way Origins went as like an Easter egg, for example, or something like that. You know, maybe I'm just completely chatting on my ass. I don't know. But yeah, right, I think Mob of the Dead deserves to be on this list. So let's make a start on this egg. What I'm going to quickly do is fill up. I actually can't remember his name now. It's just the, the three dogs. Do they have a name? I don't even know if they have a name. I think I've, why am I not acting like they have a name? It's just the three dogs. But yeah, we'll start feeding these up as this Easter egg is actually really easy. All you have to do is just take the plane like three times to the bridge. You collect like some spoons, I'm pretty sure, and then you just collect some like cassettes. I'm actually pretty sure that's the whole Easter egg. Like it's super easy. The Mob of the Dead is not an easy map by any means, so we could still struggle. All right, do I want to buy this B23R? You know what? Sure. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the only map where it costs 900 points. I swear on every other map, it costs a thousand. I don't know why they decided to increase the price of it by a hundred. It is one map alone, but there we go. It actually, it might be lower on Origins. Actually, I'm not too sure. Oh, but there you go. There's the first dog done. So in no time, I didn't even realize he was like near completion. Okay, well, either way, now I'm in afterlife. I want to try and open up some parts around the map. So let's do this. Also hop up here and get the key. I do need to be careful here because I could die. So I just need to hop up here. Okay, I do need to be quick. I'm actually getting really low on health. So go ahead and revive myself. So there we go. All right, let's head down here. Let's start filling up this dog. To be honest, I kind of messed up because I needed to pick up the key before I left. But you know what? It is fine. Let's go ahead and open up this door here. Also, this is like one of the best little glitches on this game. Just being able to open up doors for free and mother the dead. Is it a little bit cheaty? Yeah, but the thing is, is once you do it once, like you just can't play mob of the dead without doing it it's really weird okay also we're about to die um ooh, quickly i need to get back to my body quickly revive myself that was a bit too close for me all right well, let's start filling up this dog so there we go the real question is do i want to pick up jug before i leave i mean jug would be really nice especially on a map this close quarter the thing is though once i do it i'll open up doors for free so i've got to think this out let me go ahead and open up this door for free so oh i get it there we go nice so i've done that and you know what i'll also go ahead and open up this door for free as well let's go ahead and shock the jug machine the thing is i'm gonna have to come all the way back down here as well later on just so i can actually like pick up all the parts it says that dog done. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and buy all the doors back up to the top. I'm not going to take the gondola. I really should have picked up that key. I actually messed up not picking it up. Oh my God, bro, this door costs 2,000 points. Okay, well, there we go. So I can come up here and quickly just grab this. And now we can actually start collecting all the parts. So we'll do this one down here first, just because, you know, why not? I guess we can start going from there. So go into afterlife, go ahead and zap that. And what we can do down here is we can start up a cheeky little trial. And honestly, the way I've gone about it this time around compared to like how I usually do it is a really weird way because usually what I'll do is I'll train up a bunch of zombies, pick up the double points out there and get like a load of points straight off the bat. Bro, I just said like, nah, I'm not doing it that way today. Let's see, it hasn't really made too much of a difference. So I guess it's whatever. See boys, you don't have to min-max every little thing. I will try and get that double point though, because that would be really useful. Especially if I open up doors since I can't do the free door glitch anymore. So, oh my, look at these points, boys. We're going in. And I ran out of ammo, game gave me a max ammo. The game just wants me to like, pop off today. Get some extra points for M1911, because you know, why not? Oh yeah, we're stacked up now. Look at that, 6,000 points. With the Elon Musk of the zombies community, I'm actually like, just loaded. I didn't really know where to go from that. I was just like, yeah, call me rich, because I'm rich. Yeah, I do need to open up to the ones office so just try and end the round because right now
now we pretty much have like majority of the parts. We just need the afterlife and the key to like pick them up. So like, for example, like, look at this. I already have this part all ready to pick up. I just need the key for it. So this is not the best spot for me. I'm not even gonna lie to you, Chief. We did get an L out of the box though. I mean, okay, guess I'll take it. See, I really don't like LMGs and zombies. They just take too long to reload. Like you walk really slow. I'm not a fan. I might actually trade it out. Oh, I'll trade out those B2 for a The Regal Mark too. You know what, boys? I'm, I'm happy. All right, so I do need to end the round again. I need to get an afterlife so I can do this whole bit here. So let me just head down here and go ahead and activate that. To activate, I mean open, bro. I actually cannot speak today. Like my English skills are just like zero. They're non-existent. All right, either way, let's just go into afterlife. All right, what numbers have we got? We've got two, one, and five. And not a bad code. So two, one, and there's five. So let's quickly revive ourselves. Now we just need to make our way all the way to the bottom. Hopefully without dying. But again, I don't have a single revive left. I mean, this Mark II is pretty good. So let's head in here. Let's go ahead and open up this door. Pick up the part. There we go. We're kind of snacking. We can actually pick up another part just by coming over here. So if I open up this gate here, we can pick up another part. So there we go. You know what? We actually have all the parts pretty much ready because we need to head back and pick up the part in the showers. And the last part is near the roof. So we're actually kind of just ready to go. And I'm just going to go like pretty much as soon as I can. I'm not going to bother like wasting time getting set up or anything like that because the sooner I go the first time, the sooner the fuel canisters will spawn. And yeah, I could have this done honestly by like round 11 or 12. So let me just quickly head in here and pick up these. And our final part is actually right here. So what I might do is just quickly end the round and fill up this last dog. So there we go. Let's get starting this all, my boy. Now this spot does get real squeaky real fast. So I do have to be careful. I probably won't bother like training them up or anything like that. I'll just like kill them as they come just to make sure I don't die. That insta is actually really big. Okay, there we go. He's gone. Oh my God, I actually need to open up to the roof. I forgot about that. All right, let's do that real quick. Quickly zap that. Okay, now we can just go, right? I'm going straight to the bridge. I'm not playing around. I'm not messing about. I'm a man on a mission. I've got places to be. So let's go ahead and craft up the plane and let's get out of here. So I'm not too sure if I can return without ending the round. I'll have to see. I think all you got to do is kill a Brutus though. I'm honestly not 100% sure. We'll try anyways, but yeah, here I am. Let's not pack up into Rager Mark 2 just because why not? Oh, okay, so here's Brutus. He's dead. Now game, are you going to just let me go? Or do I need to end the round? Okay, nice. Okay, we can just leave. So that means that next round, I can pick up all the fuel canisters and come back to the bridge on the same round. So perfect. So far, it's going pretty well. Also, I can quickly come in here and just pick up the Hell's Retriever. So there we go. All right, where's the last zombie at? Is this him? Okay, nice. There we go. This is the one map I wish stamina was actually on because there is so much running you have to like do. It does get a little bit annoying. Okay, well, here's our second canister, anyways. Here's our third one. Oh, bro, there's a fucking Brutus. Yo, what is good, my guy? I'll see you later. Rega Mark 2 just collapsed him up. Okay, I'm hoping our nuke doesn't end the round. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up our third one. Let's say third one. I mean, that's our fourth one. Silly Billy moment, but I'm also going to pick up Quick Revive. Silly Billy moment, but I'm also going to go ahead and pick up Speed Cola. Then I'm just going to get our final fuel canister at the top of the map. And yeah, you know, we'll just go back to the bridge. Actually, too easy. So here we go. Quickly refuel the plane, then we're off. Bro, if you don't do this on Mobile of the Dead, like, are you even an OG? Like, come on. All right, well, here we are. How long have I been recording for? We're going for 25 minutes. It's actually not too bad. We could be done with this Easter egg in like the next 15, maybe 20 minutes if I'm really slow. Okay, let's get out of here, boys. Okay, can I throw this to the poster now? Okay, well, I just completely missed. So let's quickly try that again. Okay, we can. So let me just go into Afterlife real quick. Zap with a spoon. So apparently, impossible to zap. Hello, there we go. I don't know why you have to zap the spoon. I don't know why it's like so crucial to the lot of this map, but you know, uh, it is. So let's just run around the map again, picking up all of those fuel canisters. Oh my god. Oh, uh, game. Oh, dude. What do you mean, bro? The L site is actually booty cheeks. I hate that gun. Okay, let's try and not die here. I haven't got any more Afterlife, so I'll die here. It is game over. Anyway, let's pick up this part here. Now, the last two we need to pick up is in the showers and by the roof. So I'll do big new. Let's pick up this and our final fuel canister. So I'm not gonna lie, if I didn't down there, I probably could have completed the Easter egg this round, but I'm a little bit of a silly billy, so I took that cheeky little down. But next round, all we've got to do is input four numbers into that number pad thing, and then that's it. Or at least for all like the kind of like big steps. After that, we just need to follow the cassettes around the map, make our way back with the plane, and then, you know, end it from there. So very, very nice. All right, come on, Brewers. This is your time. You're gonna prove everyone at home that you're him. You know, you're the man. You're unkillable. You're, you're the warden of this prison. So, you know, I'm here. I'm standing in the open. Right? I'm ready for you, Brewers. You know, in the least gay way, I'm ready to get clapped right now. This is your time to shine. Come on. All right, here he is. He's gonna make his way over. So look at that authority. Right? He's storming his way over to me, ready to come clap me, and I'm gonna press L2. I press L2. Oh, bro, there's a second one. Yo, who the fuck are you? I might, like, actually be having a stroke. Like, I don't know what's going on. I, I keep replacing words with other words. You know what? If I'm dying, that's a problem for, you know, future Jake. Okay. Right now, I wanna head all the way down to the number pad so I can put in those numbers. Actually, wait. Do I need to pick up the spoon from the cafeteria first? I might need to do that real quick. Gombi, do you mind actually moving? Thank you. There we go. So we should now have the spoon, which means, yeah, we should now be on the number pad step. So let me make my way all the way down there. And I'm actually going to have to relook up the numbers because I do not remember them. You'd think for the amount of times I've had to do this Easter egg on this channel, I'd have them all memorized, but I really just don't. Oh my God, I swear to God, game, if I die here, I will not be happy. There will be an angry tweet sent to Treyarch. Oh my God, boys, are you actually serious right now? Move out my way. All right, so I'm pretty sure one of them is just like, what, what is going on? Hello? Uh, game, are you actually good or what is happening here? Has the game glitched or something? <laughs> what is happening, b
Let me just quickly look this up and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I might need to get the free Bundaga. I always forget about that step since it just seems really pointless, but whatever. And hopefully that will fix it. If it doesn't, I, I don't know what to say. But yeah, we might as well try this real quick. So let's pick that up. Because usually, right, like you can still use the numpad even if you weren't doing Easter egg, if you know what I mean. So I actually have no idea. It only takes like two seconds anyways to get the free Blunder Guard. So it's not actually that big of a problem. Okay, wait, no, there is one right here. Can they try and get this on the way up maybe? I get it? I actually don't know. I might have to come back and get it. There is a cheeky little speedrunner skip though, as if I just throw my house retriever in that corner, it should pick up the one from the roof. There we go. Let's head down here and grab that. And I'm pretty sure the last one's in the warden's office. So we'll go ahead and pick that one up. And if it doesn't spawn, it's because of the fact that I didn't get the one while going up the gondola. So let's see if I managed to do some like trick shot shit. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I actually did get it, bro. So what an actual pro. An actual king. Yeah, now that I've done that, we should be able to interact with the numpad. Okay, yeah, all three of them are flickering now. So I don't know what was going on with that. You know what? It's fine. Actually, was all three of them flickering before? I actually can't remember. It doesn't even matter. Let's just try it. No point doing some game theory. Let's just like actually test it. So is it working? No, it's still not working. What is going on? Um, this is the first time I've ever encountered a glitch like this. This is really weird. Like, have I just done something wrong or is that an actual bug? Okay, I'll be honest, I'm actually stumped. Like, I've looked online. There was one guy who seemed to be having a similar issue where he said he couldn't use anything but the third number. I don't know if that's the same what's going on here, but I literally just cannot use it. If I had to guess, right, like an actual little theory on what's going on, I would have said that it was still ticking down from when I got the plane part there. And I guess it just never registered that it finished or I don't know. So it's not letting anyone interact with it. That, that would be my theory. Obviously, I've got all the requirements. I can try it again just in case, but yeah, I think we might be kind of stuck here. Yeah, it just is not working. So I guess I'm kind of stuck here. That really does suck. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do this real quick. You know what, boys? Right, here it is, boys. Look, right, it's definitely me doing it. Well, I mean, it is me doing it. Right, it's definitely me in game right now doing it. So as you can see, I entered in all of the numbers. Uh, I'm messing around my FPS for some reason. Don't worry about that. Picking up all the cassettes. Right, it's going to skip forward because it's a little bit boring. Oh, and there we go. Look at that, boys. I'm hopping on the plane. Me and R forward out here, you know, we're making some big moves. So I revive myself, you know, revive R forward because, you know, we go way back. Uh, and there we go. Uh, that is the end of the Easter egg. Uh, I don't know what happened with my game, but uh, we're just going to, you know, pretend I just did it. That is Mob of the Dead. Truly is a historical event in all of Call of Duty Zombies Easter eggs because I've never seen a glitch like that happen ever. So, yeah, you know, without wasting any more time on this absolute just bugged map, <laughs> let's just go ahead and move on to our next Easter egg for this video. All right, then, boys. So next up, I feel like Buried has to be on here, mainly because this is the map with the super Easter egg, you know, the ending. So that is the plan. We're going to do the Easter egg, then we're going to do the super Easter egg cutscene, and, you know, we'll be on our way. So, let's see, having the super Easter egg on this map is, without a doubt, one of the coolest things to come out of Black Ops 2. And it's something that actually still follows into modern day zombies, like with, well, I'll say modern day zombies, uh, like not Modern Warfare 3. Pretty much like Cold War, right? Like, there's technically a super Easter egg for that, even though it's nowhere near as good as this map. The reward is better, but in terms of like the actual kind of super Easter egg cutscene or like the process of it, it's a little bit boring. So, Black Ops 3 technically also had a super Easter egg, Te like, I guess technically. But to be honest, in my opinion, Black Ops 2 did it best. Like, two different cutscenes, two different routes you could go down. Like, honestly, it was just like going, bro. So, yeah, you know, enough of me bumming off this map. Let's actually get into the Easter egg. So, I am doing the Maxis side because it is the canon route. However, this side is actually so annoying. The only good side that the Maxis side does is the transit Easter egg. Outside of that, like the Maxis side of the buried and die rise Easter egg just suck, bro. Like, they're actually just not it. Like, the Richthofen side is way better, in my opinion. Actually, that's kind of a lie at the same time because Maxis is better if you're doing co op for like buried at least. But the Richthofen side is better, in my opinion, for solo because you don't have to carry around like two buildables, which you're about to see what I mean by that. Yeah, so first of all, let's go ahead and free my boy. He's locked up in the cage. Like, what is good, my guy? You're not a little monkey. Let's get you out of here. Give him some booze. Also, I just realized what I said could be actually like severely taken out of context. You can put any any animal in that jail cell. All right, I didn't say monkeys for, for a specific reason. Okay, let's... Just... <laughs> oh my God, Jake. I'm, I'm getting canceled one day. I didn't mean it like that, boys. Like, even the zombies are like, bro, what are you saying? All right, well, either way, before I say anything worse, let's go ahead, open up this, turn on the power. To be honest, I don't even think you have to turn on the power at all for this Easter egg. Like, there was a point where I honestly forgot to even do it. Yeah, there's that one anyways. And we also need to open up into the saloon. So I can start getting myself the booze and stuff like that. So we'll open up that just because, you know, why not? Yeah, I guess next up, let's go ahead and start building ourselves the subsurface resonator and the turbine. As the kind of whole first step of this is you need to destroy the orbs around the map. If you do the rick top inside, all you really have to do is just charge them up using the paralyzer. But the max side, you have to destroy it. And again, this wouldn't be too bad if it was two player. But on solo, you've got to continuously run back and forward, get in the parts, placing them down. And you have to do that for four different locations, which is really annoying. You know what, boys? It's what we got to do. So okay, where is this last part? Is this it? Okay, I think this is it. Oh, so we are on round five, right? We're kind of going a bit high in the rounds here. Yeah, let's go ahead and build that. So there we go. That's a subsurface resonator done. So next up, we need to build a turbine. Could have given Leroy some candy and he would just done it for me. But at this point, it, you know, what's done is done. So if possible, I kind of want to try
try and make ruler if I can. Yeah, I'm not making anything with an insta-kill. Okay, so now that I've got the turbine, we need to make a way to all of these orbs. So there's one just here. So let's go ahead and place that down. Put the subsurface resonator and then place that down there. And that should break the orb. So there we go. Now we've got to do it in a few more spots. And one of them is behind the witch's house. So I'm going to have to make my way over there. Hopefully that zombie doesn't break the turbine. If he does, I actually might get a little bit angry. And you don't want to see me angry, okay? Okay, he didn't break it. Nice. So let's go ahead and break this one as well. I don't like that zombies are spawning right here. That is a little bit annoying. But you know what? It is what it is. So the next one is right here. This is what I mean by it gets really annoying because I've got to go all the way back up there to get the subsurface resonator. I mean, to be fair, like once you've done it, like it's not too bad. This Easter egg specifically on solo. And before anyone says it, yes, I know you're not meant to be doing this on solo. So this isn't exactly like Treyarch's fault or anything like that. But yeah, a lot of this Easter egg is just running back and forth, especially for a step you'll see later on. That one gets really annoying because we need to break this open. Now I need to make my way through the witch's house. So let's just try not lose all my points here. Even though, to be fair, I don't really need my points or anything, but I'd still like to keep them. So just gotta be careful, not rush around corners too fast. So one probably gonna come from here. There we go. And there we go. So done. Go ahead and place that down there. And I'm just gonna run back through it again just to get the subsurface resonator. So let's grab this. All right. So if I just place that down there, it should be that step complete. So there we go. Oh, bro. And we get Mule Kicks off free perk. What an actual L. <laughs> oh my god. I was gonna say, what is she doing? She's running into a wall. Well, next up on the things I need to do, anyways, is that I need to build the noose. So our first part is just here. And we're just to build this right here. Oh my god, I just realized we need to get in there, don't we? All right, we'll get that part last. Give ourselves another part, which is right here. So let's add that here. And then there's two more parts we need to get, but I need to get booze. Actually out of money, though. Uh, I don't see any. So unless I've got stuff in my bank, we'll probably have to go to the next round. So let's just have a quick little look here. No, it's not looking like I've got anything. Then again, it's not even letting me interact with this side either. So I don't know, sometimes the bank just like bugs out for me. I don't really get like why it happens. But yeah, it do be like that sometimes. All right, we've got another part right here. And then I'll try the bank again. But if not, I'll just go ahead and end the round. It's not like the end of the world. Let's add this piece on here. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna end the round. Where you are, zombie? Come on, let's square up, little boy. Bro, game, are you telling me everywhere the booze spawned, it spawned all the way down here? So I was just waiting over there like a little bit of a gim. Yeah, look, it's right here. I think she got scammed. Oh, Leroy, where are you, Amber? Okay, I could do with a weapon because I don't think this M1911 is gonna do it. So let me go ahead and buy the MP5. Oh, we got mule kick dummy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now, you might be thinking, oh, what's the issue with that, Jake? You see, if I down now, I'm gonna lose his MP5. So let's just hope I don't down. But let's go ahead and get Leroy to bash open that kind of barricade area there. And if we pick up this here, that should be the final part of the news. So let's just quickly add this on here before all the zombies come over to me. And there we go. Right, we're technically onto the next step. So I've got to get a grenade. And I need to throw this lantern right here and pick it up. But I actually can't remember how you fill it up on this. I think it's kills by Leroy. Oh my god, I'm down. Oh, there goes my gun, which isn't good, but I suppose we just move. So where is Leroy? Here he is. So I'm gonna give candy to Leroy. And he'll just start beating up all the zombies. And I think that fills it up. Yeah, I think it is. But it's different on the Rick Toppen side. I go on Leroy. Keep getting those kills. I think he might be done actually, because I can hear Max is talking. I mean, if it lets me add it onto here, then we're done. No, we're not. Okay, Leroy, where you at? Leroy, where are you going, bro? I'm going to keep getting some kills. Is that him done? He's, he's just said, like, yeah, I'm done. God, not having quick revive is actually scary. Okay, I can add this on now. So there's that. Yeah, I just don't have any money in the bank, which kind of sucks because what I need now is to get the time bombs and I also need to get the galvan knuckles. So I'm going to have to save up quite a bit of points. Oh, we got the Rager Mark too. I guess I'll take that. I don't think the time bomb is going to be too difficult to get. So I'm going to give me the time bombs. We got the Galil. But we did get the better box look on the perk. So that could be big. Oh, actually, what happened? That is a little bit annoying since I just spent the last 30 minutes getting out of cell. But I guess I'll be back once I'm back in the same spot. That was really annoying. Okay, so I'm pretty much back to where I was. If not, I'm actually more set up as I've got the galvan knuckles. Oh my god, are you actually serious, bro? The second I say that I'm more set up, I was about to say I also have the time bombs. Bro, I swear to God, if I die here, I'm not gonna be happy. Let's just like not be an idiot. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to come up here. I need to decipher this. So let me just do that real quick. So I need to hit round longer. And I believe that last one's bone. What does that mean? You might be asking. Well, just don't worry about it because it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Basically, that is the three signs that I need to hit up in the like kind of caves area. So first things first, I want to get down to one zombie because if I go up there mid round, I'd actually just die. Could really do it by a jug as well. Come on, Leroy, don't let me down. Oh, look at that. He never misses. One absolute king. Okay, so quickly by jug. I feel a little bit more secure now. Bro, two hit downs, bro. They're, they're dangerous. Actually deadly, but yeah, if I remember correctly, I need to place down time bomb now. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully I'm not wrong, but let's go ahead and knife all these signs. So there's longer. Make my way up here. We can also buy ourselves back quick revive. So there we go. Here's ground. And I think bone is just down here. Yeah, here it is. So go ahead and knife that. And now what I've got to do is I need to follow this all the way back to the noose. Then pretty much what I've got to do is that once I've done it once, I need to go back in time and do it again. Then that should complete the step. I remember doing this when I was still like quite unfamiliar with the buried Easter egg. And there was a point where we didn't place down the time bomb and it was actually heartbreaking because it's not stated until after that you need to place a time bomb down. So it can easily screw you over. But there you go. There's the first one. So I just go back in time real quick and knife the same three signs. So here's dry. No, it wasn't dry, was it? It was bone. It was longer. Bone and ground. Yeah. So it's not 
not mess that up. We'll hit ground and let's hit bone. And there we go. So let's just follow this again, take it back to the noose and then yeah, be done with this step. I always have a soft spot for buried. Like it was probably one of my favorite maps for a while because it was one of the first maps that I hit like round 40 on. I've told the story a few times actually on this channel, but hitting one's never heard it. I hit round 40. I was really impressed with myself. So I sent a picture of it to my dad. I don't know why. It's just like a core memory. All right, well, either way, here's a second orb thingy going into the guillotine. Keep going on a guillotine. It's not, it's a noose. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're actually onto like the last step now. Oh, well, I mean like one of the last steps. We've got like two left. So, okay, yeah. So what we got to do now, by the way, this is like the main reason why this just sucks on solo. So basically we need to come in here and interact with this. Then this is going to start putting lights on this little board. And each one of these lights correspond to a bell somewhere in the main map. But this one here is in the candy shop. And pretty much you've got to run in here, look at the light, run back to the main map, hit the corresponding bell and repeat it nine times. It is actually so annoying. But you know what it is, what it is, what you've got to do. This is how they designed the step. And you know, the mod was created. So yeah, as I said, it's in the candy shop top left. So it's literally just this one right here. So hit that. Let's run back in here and see which light is next. So this time it is port room. For this step, by the way, I'm using an actually like booted guide by a guy named Stickman Guides. Whenever I have to do this, all right, on my own, specifically for like transit, buried and die rise, this guy is the guy, right? Because he goes over how to do it with the mod. And even without a mod, like he goes into great detail on like the best way to do it on co-op. Actually a king, bro. But yeah, we got courtroom eight. So he says it's just this one right here. So hit that. And next up is in the barn. So it should be just this one right here. Okay, next up is back in the candy shop. So I'm pretty sure it's this one. I don't even know how many I've done. I've done a few now. It just takes so long running back in and out. And I've got to deal with the witches as well. That's super annoying. Okay, so what we got next? Back in the courtroom. How many have I got left? I got five left. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit this one here. By the way, if I fail even one of these, I have to redo the entire thing, which is like just like not it. So let's make sure we don't fail this. So we're back up in the barn. Let's go ahead and make this jump. Maybe there we go. Nice. This bell right here. Three more left to go. But what is nice is I only have to do it here, then one more time because I can just figure out what the last one is without having to check it. So what do we got? And the shop. So I'm pretty sure it's this one. And then this should be the final one. Or like the final time I actually have to come in here. And we're nearly done. We're actually getting really close now. So what do we got? We got courtroom and then barn. So let's just hit this one here. And I believe the last one we need to hit is just here. So there we go. Okay, so now we're onto the final step, which is the most infamous step, I think, out of this entire Easter egg, which is the sharpshooter step. So let me see if I can make a crawler real quick. Of course, he decided he wanted to like stumble or something. I don't know what happened there, but let me get a crawler. No. Let's try it again. Okay, perfect. Let's kill him. Pick up some candy. Try and get Leroy over here because we can have Leroy just hold this last one before us while we do the steps so we can like focus up because the way this mod works is I need to hit all of my targets in order to complete the Easter egg because obviously usually you'd have all four people in position hitting all the targets but kind of impossible on solo so this is the best we've got so Leroy make your way in here please there we go let's go ahead and give him some candy he's gonna pick up this little baby I'm sure a little cry baby but yeah if I head over here I can go ahead and make a wish not that type of wish all right I'm not I'm not I'm not dying but yeah, I'm gonna try and get Leroy to move out of the way because I don't want to accidentally shoot him now it has been a while since I've done this so hopefully I haven't forgotten where all of the targets are but we'll just you know give it a go so hit that one there one in there there's that one get this guy up here that one's a little bit tricky but you no know, we hit those oh my god that was a little bit close i think two of them were gonna pop up but that guy get that guy bam bam and bam this guy up there that guy there this guy in the window is that it no is it this guy in the window is that it i think we might have hit all our targets um oh yeah there we go jeez i thought we failed it for a second but there we go boys that is the very easter egg look at that gold perks took way too long with the fact that i died in my first attempt but you know what it's fine we make up for it so obviously all the lights are on but i believe if i walk in here yeah this button was open not the way you're meant to do it obviously the way you're meant to do it is by doing all of the maxis easter eggs for buried transit and die rise but yeah for some reason with this mod you only have to do buried so go ahead and press that and here it is boys this is the ending cutscene so turn on my voice volume is there even going to be any dialogue because last time i remember doing the maxis side there was just no dialogue whatsoever honestly I i'm not hearing anything I'm just in a zombie like crying yeah okay there's just there's nothing but dude, this is such a cool like kind of way to round off this kind of story black ops 2 honestly i really wish that in the next trio game you have some kind of super easter egg like this it'd be really cool uh, I just don't think it will ever happen. Unfortunately, I think it'll be an exclusive thing to Black Ops 2. What is it? What, what is going on there, bro? But yeah, I mean like this type of super Easter egg, right? Like not like the Black Ops 3 one or Black Ops Cold War one or anything like that. I'm also pretty sure the eyes should be, yeah, that they're yellow now, which I don't know why they look way cooler in Black Ops 2 compared to like Black Ops 1. They glow a lot more, which is like really dope. But yeah, I mean, that's going to be it for Barry. Truly a moment in history where people got to decide, you know, which ending they wanted to get. This is the kind of one, and I won't lie, is the less cool one in my opinion, because at least with the Richtofen one, you actually get like a really good reward. You get like four good mule kick and like an infinite fire cell for the rest of the game like the ricked off on one is just so much better a stoolinger 
Stulinger fuses with like Richtofen. Or well, I mean, it's the other way around. Richtofen fuses with Stulinger. But yeah, honestly, it's just such a cool thing that's in Black Ops 2. So yeah, I mean, that's going to be buried complete. So let's just go ahead and move on to the next Easter egg for this video. All right, boys. So finishing up Black Ops 2, you probably saw it coming, but Origins has to be on here. All right. Now, obviously, you know, this is the last Black Ops 2 map. So it kind of just feels right to have it on here. But at the same time, all right, outside of Easter eggs, this map has probably inspired, right? Like the format of just like multiple other maps, right? Like the Rising Drag kind of uses the Origins formula. D Machine uses it. Plenty of like non track maps do it. This map honestly just has like one of the perfect formulas. But when it comes to Easter eggs and actual like story lore, this is the Easter egg that brought us. I'm pretty sure it's the Primus crew because Ormus is like, like the moon lot. I'm pretty sure, but I might be wrong here. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, so in terms of like story, it's kind of big. Plus, like honestly, at this point, who doesn't know the Origins Easter egg? You know, like it is actually infamous. I'm pretty sure like even XQC tried to play this map and, and actually failed. Like, we called the Type 25 the Dempsey. Like, come on. So the only thing about this Easter egg, right, is specifically on Black Ops 2. That's actually a really unfortunate down there. This Easter egg is just extremely hard, especially on solo, because I'm pretty sure this Easter egg wasn't exactly meant to be beaten on solo. Oh my god, bro, it is getting like squeaky. Why is it getting so like chaotic right now? Like, what is going on? But yeah, you'll see what I mean throughout this game. How this Easter egg doesn't really work on solo, but it is possible, all right? I've done it before. And so is like <laughs> millions of other people. Okay, so set this one to down. Now, what is nice, right, about Origins on Black Ops 2 is there is a lot of like kind of glitches, to be honest. They're not exactly, you know, intended to be in the game. There's a few glitches. There is a few just like cheeky little tactics, like something you can do. Do, which you just saw me do there is you can actually just start turning all of the dials for the lightness up upgrade like straight away so that when you're doing the upgrade you don't have to run around the map just do the first puzzle and then you know be on your way okay i'm getting pretty high into the rounds here i do have a lot of points which is good I'm waiting for it to snow but it is just not turning all right let's go ahead and quickly activate generator three i might also take a hit at the box just so i can try and have like a good weapon bro this m14 it just ain't gonna cut it so let's see what i can get there is some cool weapons on this version of origins of course i get some little like poopy shotgun oh bro that's actually huge okay this is the foot so you know shoot it open real quick that's actually perfect because what that means is we can get ourselves uh, apart from the wind stuff, really early on. So that's good. Finally, my luck is changing. It's very risky, but I'm pretty sure the shield pipes on here. So there we go. Yeah, this actually might not have been a good idea. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have messed up so bad. Oh, get me out of here. <laughs> That? Should I have lived there? I honestly don't think I should have, but I'm gonna take it. Alright, but I've got like 6,000 points. Honestly, could I make it to that robot? You know what? I'm gonna try. I won't lie, it kind of has to be foot closest to me for this to work, but uh, maybe not actually. If I can see it quick enough, yeah, so it's this one over here. Okay, never mind. I can actually grab this part as well. Oh, boys, we're on it. So let's get in the foot. Pick up our part. There we go, boys. We've got two parts ready for the wind stuff, which is really good because the wind stuff is really RNG dependent. So that's just like really good. Okay, let's try and do Gen 4 real quick. My god, dude, there's so many zombies. Alright, we're good. Yeah, I also want to build the shield because it's just extra protection. Also, this double points is actually huge bro okay it would have been bigger if i actually had some ammo okay i don't have it okay hold on bro i couldn't even speak english for a second i was actually scared but let me go ahead and buy some jug so at least then i'm not a two shot i'm gonna need to try and get myself a better weapon i assume because bro, this bowser and m14 is not cutting it all right so let's head up here i can actually do quite a bit this round so uh, i'm not gonna end the round uh, anytime soon i don't think okay let's activate generate six grab us the part here for the fire staff oh my god bro that what is the chances like my luck is actually unreal about time i'm getting some good luck in this video let's see i'm still like haunted after moon which foot is it though i don't think it's this one so i need to try and quickly head down here and get it Ooh, i'm hoping i didn't leave it too late it has to be this foot by the way oh dude this oh bro like oh i'm an idiot i'm actually an idiot that sucks i just couldn't see the foot i was like i don't remember to do that you know what? It, it's fine would have been nice to have gotten that part you know just out of the way but what can you do boys so let me grab the maxis drone part here and i suppose we'll start working on the lightning stuff pieces but some other zombie died like how did he die okay so let's quickly make this jump here there we go so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head all the way back all the way to gem five so i can go ahead and buy myself stamina because if I have stamina up, I can get the last two parts in one tank run. Also, we can shoot down the plane there. Yeah, it just saves me having to do like multiple tank journeys. Currently, we're actually pretty stacked up on staff parts. So we're not doing too bad. Because the longest part of this Easter egg is like getting all the staffs and upgrading them and stuff like that. So honestly, we're really not doing too bad. So here we go. Let's buy stamina up. Let's also change this to down. And we can grab the disc, which I need to be doing more of. Completely forgot about the fire disc, to be honest. Yeah, so let's take the tank. Bro, how did the round end again? Are you actually serious? This is like the worst time it could have done that. Okay, so this really isn't good because now the panzer's here. So this could cause a few issues. Also, I need to. No, bro. Oh my god. Okay, I'm so dumb. I panic. Bro, it, how has it gone so poorly in the last span of like four <laughs> seconds, bro? All right, you know what? Let's just focus up. Just grab our last part. We'll come back for that, you know, lightning stuff part. It's not really the problem. I'm just glad I didn't get ran over by the tank to this. Yeah, let's just quickly grab this. Let's try and get caught by the zombies here. Oh my god, here's the panzer. Ooh, bro. Oh my god. Bro, what? I, I am actually in shock, bro, of what is going on in this game of Origins. Nothing is going my way at the moment. Okay, I actually do need to like focus up though. So let's rebuy back jug. And I want to build the shield, but bro, every single time I try and hold the zombie. 
the round just ends. So it's like, I'm really getting the most amount of opportunities here, but there we go. We got it anyways. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back down to where like the tank station is. Pull the tank, take the tank so I can just get the final part of the light and stuff, just because, you know, I might as well just get it out of the way now. Also, I didn't get the fire stuff part from the, from the panzer. So where is that? <laughs> like, oh, bro, this is not gone my way. Okay, let me just call the tank. Have that on its way. Oh, bro, the Gen 6 robot's coming. Oh, I'm not making it to that, am I? Actually, it depends. Is it the right foot? Oh, God, it actually is. Bro, but getting stuff like that actually helps so much. Okay, we can actually get this uh, last piece as well. Oh, very nice, boys. We're back on track. How does he do it? Absolute monster. All right, so there we go. Now let's grab our final wind stuff piece, which is really nice. It is the fire stuff piece still here. Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. So we can go ahead and grab that as well. There's all the fire stuff pieces. Change this to right. And then we can change this to up. And I think that's all of the dial locations that we need to change. So when we do the lightning stuff upgrade, it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, is there anything else I can do? I've only got the excavation site open or anything like that. Okay, can I take this for free or is it going to cost 500 points? You know, we can just activate it. Okay, so we'll also grab ourselves the last lightning stuff piece. And I'm pretty sure from there, like that's literally all we can do. We're going to have to like end the round. So, I mean, that's fine. So let's make the jump. There we go. And there we go. So I think next round as well will probably be a snow round because we haven't had one in ages or literally no snow. That is crazy. So I have like no ammo, <laughs> which isn't good. All right, let's just grab us some ammo. Okay, that is kind of an unlucky nuke. I'm not even going to lie. Unless there's enough points to open up to the excavator site. I think it might be. Oh, boy, it's perfect. All right, so we can actually work on quite a bit this round as well because we can pretty much like upgrade two staffs, which is kind of big. Also, where is this black disc at? I just can't find it. Oh, it's here, bro. I literally checked that and I didn't see it. Okay, I'm actually blind. All right, so let's grab the gramophone, paste it down. Now, which one am I going to upgrade first? I could do the lightning stuff because all we have to do is just the puzzle. So it'll take like two seconds. Yes, let's grab that. Uh, and you know what? While I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the wind stuff one. I won't do the wind upgrade just yet, I don't think. Actually, I could. No, okay, bro. This is genius. You're not even ready for these big brain players. Okay, let's grab the wind stone. Make our way out of here. And here's my plan, right? So basically, I'm going to go build it real quick. Then I'm going to take that stuff into the lightning like portal area, grab the stone for the lightning stuff, and then do the puzzle for the wind stuff. Then when I come out, I can just quickly finish up that upgrade, build the lightning stone, and I can kind of rinse and repeat it like the, uh, the other staffs. Oh, it's, it's too genius. All right, like honestly, my, try, try to keep up. Honestly, just try to keep up. <laughs> okay, then, so let's just build the wind staff. I'm gonna try out the Mauser because if I wanted to get like the Boom Hilda, I can just quickly dig one up. So there's no real reason to hold on to it. I'm just gonna squirt, like twirl my staff around. You know how it is. Okay, so let's enter into the lightning staff portal. Somehow the zombie hasn't died this time around, which is actually amazing. So let's go ahead and shoot these. So you just set that one first, and it's that one, and it's the LL one. Oh wait, no, I'm I'm, I'm stupid. They just ignore me. That one's the LL one. Then it's that one. Then it's that one. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so let me just start the upgrade. So let me shoot that there. I'm not too sure if you can hit this one in Black Ops 2. Can't remember which game this trick works in. Uh, can't remember. Is that gonna... Okay, I might need to head over there. I know you can do that in one of the games and it will just shoot you straight towards the excavation site, which is really nice. Saves you have to run all the way up to Gen 6, but you know what? It is what it is. Not even that big of a deal. So shoot that one there. Oh, no, it did work. Oh, well, there you go. What am I waffling on about? Okay, so if I just shoot that, that's gonna send off that orb thing to the crazy place, plus we can build the lightning staff. So one thing I didn't think about is that I need to place the staff in the crazy place. So might need to go ahead and run and do that real quick. But you know what? I suppose what I can do is I can go all the way down to the fire stuff portal real quick, grab the stone, place this staff into its sort of podium, then I should never have to go back down to the fire staff area because having to go all the way down there is honestly the worst. Like, I like the fire staff, but bro, I hate having to come all the way down here. Especially, bro, right? When you come all the way down here and your friends haven't even picked up the gramophone and you have to go all the way back because they're too lazy to go pick it up. Bro, I'm so dumb. I literally forgot to put the wind staff down. Genuinely speechless. Only I can do that. See, when I play Origins, right, especially on solo, and I'm having to sit here and run across the entire map like multiple times, placing my staff down, picking it up, grabbing gems so he's doing upgrades or it's actually mind numbing you know like i do actually like this map and i do like the easter egg but by god doing it on solo it's something else you know i remember back in the day the smith plays was like if you could beat the origins easter egg on solo that's how you know you're like a true zombies player like a true zombies god so i remember right like when i started my channel i wrote down like a list of ideas and one of them was literally just to beat this easter egg on solo but those were the days i haven't figured about this for a while like i do miss the days when i started doing youtube and honestly i could just post whatever i felt like posting Okay, let's pick up the lion staff. We'll also build the fire staff while I'm here. I guess I'll head over to the ice staff portal and grab the gemstone there. Okay, so pick up the ice staff one. Then we'll quickly head over here and we'll do the lightning staff code. So it is a one, three, and then six. Three, five, seven, two, five, and six. No, it was two, four, six. Okay, I, I can't I can't read, boys. You know what? It's done. Okay, look at that, boys. We can just immediately go down there and just upgrade the lightning staff. Actually, on it, kind of where we stop. But after this, like, kind of have to go through the rounds. There's not really a whole lot we can do, to be honest. So Oh, let me shoot the orb there. All right, let's place that in there. And I guess we'll just end the round. You know what? I'm just going to leave the gramophone there from now on. Is it snowing? Oh my god, boys. It's actually finally snowing, you know? It looks so long. You know what? At least that means, right? And start collecting all of the ice stuff parts. So let's try not die here first. Holy. To be fair, if I can grab me all of the ice stuff parts really quick, I could go and get the fire stuff and start working on that upgrade. I'm actually, I'm min maxing it, you know? Okay, so grab the part here. Where is the dig spot? Actually, non existent.
Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, and there we go. Oh, and we got the golden shovel points. Look at that. That's actually pretty good. Especially for a step later on when we need to get zombie blood. So I'm pretty sure the golden shovel gives me like an improved chance of getting zombie blood. So very nice. All right, so let me build the ice staff real quick. I'm gonna grab the fire staff. And I'm gonna try and do the first step now if I can. I gotta try and get out of here first. Oh, I mean, I guess I'll pick up the maxes during pizza while I'm here. Right, we're making it out. We're making it out. Okay, so now that I'm here, let's just start getting kills in this area. So there we go. What's good, right, is that this is gonna start building up the staffs as well. So we're kind of like then two birds with one stone here. Oh, okay, there's the wind staff upgraded. Oh, hopefully they count. I don't think there are only a few of them did. Oh, did it? Okay, is it done? It might be done actually. Yeah, okay, it is. Okay, nice. So let me head out through not the wind staff. I want to go out the ice staff. Oh, so we did lightning staff, which is quite nice as well. Actually, on the move. Bro, how's the round? That literally just went through the portal. Okay, so we've got, we've got five, seven, three, and then blood. Okay, seven, five, three, and I believe it's just that. Okay, nice. Also, I think there's a panzer, so we do need to be careful about. I'm not even scared of it. I've got the fire staff. Do you know me? Do you want to pack one to the SCG? Eh, no, I'm all right. I think I'm going to do the Mauser once I do the ice staff. So I need some kind of bullet weapon. Oh, here's the panzer. Okay, is it hit that? Just quickly do the orb. <laughs> literally, while I'm getting chased down by a panzer, you know? Okay, I am going to have to kill this panzer though before I go back to the crazy place, or he will just be waiting for me. Like, he will have popped the Viagra and will be waiting for me right outside of the cave, so I am not playing around. All right, so where you at, though, boy? We get messed up. Okay, look at him all the way over there, bro. Taking his time. All right, he should be dead. Oh, bro, bro's grappling me. All right, I think that's pretty much the end of the round, so I'm going to quickly go place the fire staff in. Then we'll do the upgrade for the ice staff. Bro, how did the round end again? It's actually so annoying. Okay, so place that down there. Now, I am a little bit worried about the ice staff, right? Because the ice staff, unupgraded, and even upgraded for that matter with the single shot, just is not it. Like, like truly, right? If there's things that just aren't in this world, the unupgraded ice staff is one of them. It honestly might be the main thing. Like, it sucks. So, honestly, I might need to back rinse the STG after all. Plus, we can get double tap now, which is quite nice. That'll be a massive help. Yeah, I am getting chased down by about a million zombies, though. But <laughs> why is there so many? Okay, so pick up the ice staff. Again, this is the end of the round, but the thing is, I feel like the second I go through that portal, the round's just gonna end, which is like super annoying. Like, it's just progressing rounds for no reason. All right, well, I mean, we're about to find out if the round's gonna end, so here I go. Oh, it didn't end this time. Okay, well, that's nice. So, let's just quickly solve this puzzle here. So it's that one, that one, that one's that one there. Then we've got little dot, got the L, and then the final one has to be that one. So, there we go. And you know what? What I'm about to do might seem a little bit bonkers, you know, a little bit bizarre, but I'm gonna head out of the fire staff pool so I can shoot the gray site there just straight away. I know that you're able to like shoot all of them from the excavation site, but boys, I just am not that skilled. Like, I don't know who you think I am, but I'm just not him. Also, while I'm here, I'm gonna pick up speed cola. I keep zoning out. I was meant to get double tap. Okay, oh my god. Actual silly Billy moment. Also, I've just hit the hour mark on my recording. Boys, we're literally like <laughs> barely done. We've got quite a while left to go. Okay, so let's shoot that. There we go. Okay, so our next one is right there. So go ahead and shoot that. And boys, could I be him? Is that a dare? Is that something I managed to hit? I don't know. Bro, where am I even shooting? Is that See if I can hit it all the way back here. Uh, no. Okay, I can't. How do speedruns do it? I honestly don't know. Okay, well, I mean, there we go. Okay, so just shoot the orb. And then finally, that is pretty much every single staff upgraded. It's taken a way too long. Okay, so if I just head back in here, I can quickly place the ice staff down through the wall, of course, you know. And then I'm going to pick up the fire staff since. Oh, wait, no, I can't even pick it up because it's not even fully really charged. Okay. Well, I don't really want to pick up any of the other staffs right now. So I might just try and risk it and fill this one up as fast as possible because the fire staff's pretty much going to be my main staff and the less staffs I pick up the less I'm gonna to have to run back and forth throughout the crazy place to put them back into their pedestals so oh my god bro are they actually serious well I mean to be fair literally is there is nothing at gen 1 for me I think I need all the generators on for like the next step so game if you could hurry up that would be really nice okay well there's the fire staff so now I just need to quickly try and fill up the ice staff oh it's just not happening okay I'll just reactivate all the generators later on this zombie blood really isn't that helpful to be honest well it really didn't fill it up that is kind of cringe oh wait we got a nuke so that means they stopped uh, destroying all the generators oh my god actually actually perfect timing I knew what I was doing. Okay, so there we go. So I guess I'll quickly go activate Gen 1 again, since we kind of need it for the next step. Now we can finally actually start on some Easter egg steps. Hook long enough, but we're finally there. So let me just activate this real quick. So there we go. Let's also build the Maxis drone real quick. And I might as well like trigger the start of the next step, since it's not really going to hurt me. Basically, what I've got to do is I need to come all the way down here. And if you know anything about the Black Ops 2 version of Origins and the Easter egg, you know this cheeky little trick where all you got to do is place stuff in there, pick it back up, place it down again, pick it back up, place it down again, pick it back up. And I think you just have to place it down one more time. And then there we go. So that's pretty much that step complete. What you're meant to do is place all four of the staffs in like the different robots. It is such a pain in the ass, especially on solo. And that glitch there is honestly what makes like the BO2 version of Origins a little bit better than the BO3 version. Plus for this next trick I'm about to show you. But yeah, super helpful. Like that's going to be like a, a massive like 40 minute time save, honestly, bro. Especially if you get really bad luck. So next up, I need to get myself G-Strikes. Now, you might be thinking, Jake, you've left it a little bit late. Like surely. Round 15, you have to get melee kills? Like bro, like come on. You're going to really struggle here. But don't be silly as there is another cheeky little trick that you can do. So what I need to do is gather up a bunch of zombies real quick. So pretty much like whatever's left of the round. I think this might be it. So then you got to come over here, shoot down an upgraded shot from the like either one of your staffs and then pull out the shield. And then every kill it gets will count as a melee kill. And it makes filling it up super easy. Once I learned about this trick
could not stop me on this step of the Easter egg. It was, it was just over from that. Okay, let me try it again real quick. So shoot on the shots and pull up the shield. There we go. Now, is that it done? It is nice. Okay, so I'm going to start making a move and taking this back to gen like two. Now we pretty much just repeat the same thing. It is just that easy. But where am I? Bro, why have I gone to gen one? I'm actually like on a different planet, I swear. Bro, the persona music I have on the background, it's actually elevating me. It's like a new plane. Okay, so let's just do this again. All these cheeky kills. So make sure my shield don't break because if the shield breaks, I'm going to have to run all the way back up and get a new one. Oh, never mind. We got G strikes. Okay, that was actually super quick. Holy. All right, actually perfect. So next up, we're onto one of the most annoying steps in this entire Easter egg, especially for solo. So basically, we need to try and get one of the feet to be this robot here. So obviously it's not that foot. Is it this foot? No, it's not this foot either. So pretty much what we've got to do is we need to press a button in the robot and then do some like actual pixel perfect timing. Come outside of the robot, throw a G strike pretty much over the fence, land on that little crater outside the map, and blow it open. Like it's actually ridiculous, but I have done it before. But it just takes like a lot of just precision, bro. I'm going to plan it out, right? So my plan is, is I'm going to jump out, I'm going to run over here and I'm going to throw it over this little fence bit here. That's the plan. All right, here come the robots again. Bro, it's neither of the foot. Are you serious? Again, this is like why it's super annoying is you've just got to get really lucky and hope that it's one of those two feet there. Oh, okay. This is the foot. Right, the round might end. But you know what? It'll be worth it. Let's go. So it was all my music. It was everything going on that I need to be on the listen. Basically, I need to press this button after he says zero. Because again, that's how pixel perfect it is, right? You have to get pulled out of the robot, right? You can't just leave on your own. It's actually quicker to get pulled out. So here you go. Bro's counting down. Three, two, one. And press it. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think we might have had it. I need to reposition myself. So I'm, you know, actually facing towards the thing. Oh my God. Let's toss one over there. Did it land? Oh my God, I missed it. Are you actually serious? Okay, well, I'd... oh bro, I don't think we got it. I mean, I could hope that maybe that will hit, but I don't think we did, boys. That is actually really unfortunate. Oh, oh, I'm actually a god, bro. Can this man be stopped? Didn't even hit it. Still gets the dub. What an absolute monster. I'm the monster under your bed, bro. Like, I'm the one who tickle your feet. Like, it's actually unreal, bro. How much of a little demon I am. <laughs> bro, what's that even mean, bro? All right, well, basically, all we gotta do now is just fight off like a billion panzers. Which, you know, it sounds difficult, but I mean, I've got the fire staff upgraded. Literally domes them. I could still die, though, so I'm not gonna get too cocky. In the Black Ops 3 version of this, bro, they're actual cakewalks. But in BO2, they are still a bit beefy. I'm not even gonna lie. But this upgraded fire staff seems to be taking them all out. So there we go. So yeah, nice. Okay, so what we gotta do now is we need to get a zombie blood so that we can shoot the plane out of the sky and then kill the zombie that's like roaming around. Now, I am a little bit worried because I have had my game glitch here before where like, you know, you'll shoot the plane out of the sky and then the zombie will just never appear. But you know what? It's only ever happened to me once. So the chance of it happening again is, is pretty rare. So I think we'll be all right. So we need to look for some dig sites. There is a way to spawn in a zombie blood, but it means I gotta go back and get the ice stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna bother getting the ice stuff or anything like that. I'm just gonna end the round and we're gonna start filling up these soul boxes because I do need to do that at some point. Okay, so there's one of them. All right, let's start on this one next. Oh, bro, we've got a zombie blood. Uh, okay, where is the plane? This is like really bad timing, but okay, there's the plane. Okay, so shoot that. Okay, so where is the zombie? I think that's him there. Is him? No. Oh, is that him? Come on. Yeah, bro, we got him. Nice. Oh, bro, it's actually hype, you know? Okay, so we're actually on to like the last two steps. It's kind of big. So all we gotta do is just fill up the last few soul boxes, get ourselves the Thunder Fist, get some kills in the like dig site area, and get like 100 kills in the crazy place, and then we're actually done. So there's our second box done. Third one is just over here. Oh, bro, we got another zombie blood. Okay, not the best thing in the world because we are trying to fill up this uh, soul chest before the giant comes and steps on it, but we should be good. Oh, okay, so there we go. That's the third one done. So you have one more. Oh, okay, there we go. And there is the Thunder Fist. So we are around 21, so this next step might be a little bit difficult, but I believe. Call me Parappa the Rapper, you gotta believe. All right, so there we go. We got our Thunder Fist. And this is it, right? This is the final stretch. So here we go. So all we gotta do is knock the white off these zombies. That sounds slightly racist. Okay, my big man, right? So I'm gonna throw G Strike. It's gonna make all the zombies go. Bro, game, actually, what do you even mean? Like, actually, what do you even mean, bro? They just said, nah, fuck the rules. Bro, game, are you actually for real right now? Yes, yeah, so now they're going for the G-Strikes. Okay, I'm sure they are. Oh my god, we got in this go. I really don't like the situation we're in, though, because we don't have any quick revives left. So one more down, and it's pretty much over for us. Oh, we got the Thunder Fist. Game, oh, for G-Strike, please. Game, I need this to work. Oh my god, bro, we? Bro, how does he do it? How does he do it? Okay, first of all, I need my jug back. Could have really done with double tap back, but I mean, that just ain't gonna happen anymore. Oh my god, we're actually so close, bro. <laughs> if I die, I might actually cry. Okay, my jug. So at least we're not a two shot anymore. I mean, I could go hit the Wonder Fizz and see what I could get. If I did get a double tap, that would be a massive. I don't know where the Wonder Fizz is. It might be at Gen 2, actually. What are they doing up there? Goofballs. Get down. No, it's not. Where is it? It might be at Gen 5. Yeah, I think it is. All right, so let's, okay, so let's start hitting the Wonder Fizz. I'll also buy myself back stamina. Well, what do we got? Headshot? That's just not what I want, game. But <laughs> actually, just not it, bro. Electric Cherry. I actually will take that. And game, come on. All I want is just double tap. Bro, Mule Cake. That actually, what a joke. Oh my god. Are you sick? There's a Panzer now. Little Pansy Panzer boy. Bro has had all day the pop up. Okay, yeah, she dropped a nuke. That's quite nice. Right, come on, game. Give me double tap. Bro, give me the teddy bear. Okay. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I genuinely don't know. <laughs> I think I'm actually 
lost. Oh my god, bro, hold up. Uh, I do not like this area. Ideally, I want to try and get down to one last guy. Bro, we got the golden helmet, so at least there's that. Uh, I'll grab myself the max ammo so I can get me back some G-strikes. Oh, and the zone blood. Okay, let me just grab the max drone. Oh, bro, we've got a of red dicks. What? what? I didn't even dig it up. That's actually really sad, you know. <laughs> like, if I had grabbed that, I'd had a fifth perk to go into this with. That would have been really nice. Oh, well, because I'm stuck getting mule kick for like a millionth time. Oh, we do have a second pack of winter weapon, actually. Uh, do I want to go grab that before I go into this just so I have two weapons? I don't even know, bro. Oh, we got double tap back. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, let me head down here. Let me do a bit of setup, all right? Oh, well, I mean, never mind. The round just ended, so I guess fuck me. All right, let me place my staff down. Now it's just gotta get try and get those. Now we just gotta try and get those hundred kills. So God, I actually hate this part of the Easter egg because it's just so like nerve wracking, especially on solo. Let's keep getting kills. Keep getting kills. Oh, big insta kill, bro. Bro, I'm actually focusing up so hard right now. There's just no commentary. Oh my God, Anna zombie blood. Let me see if I can quickly end the round. Okay, this could be massive. Let me just grab it. He's trying to get me some ammo back as well. So why is the SCG wall by in here? I know there is one. Oh my God, bro, these walls are messing me over. Okay, well there it is. Didn't really get to use much of this zombie blood to be honest, but we literally need like 30 kills. So let me throw down a G strike real quick. So all the zombies stay away from me and over there. Oh my god, we're actually so close. Oh my god, it's a nuke. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Bro. Nah. Bro, how did I survive that? Okay, we did it. Uh, where's that nuke? Grab it, grab it, grab it. Bro, how did I live that? That's actually wild, bro. Okay, send up Maxis. Maxis, just go. Just go, Maxis. It's all right. They're, they're all dying. You don't, you're not helping, Maxis. Okay, he's going. Okay, so I'm gonna throw a G strike real quick and I'm gonna hit this. Bro, game, please. Game, just, just let me hit it. Oh my god, why has it got me so buggy? Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh, let's go, bro. I've literally beat this Easter egg so many times, but whenever I beat it on solo, I just get so giddy. Oh my god, dude, that was so nerve wracking at the end. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I'm actually so happy we did that. An hour and 42 that took me. That took actually forever, but right, you know what? I don't even care. So, that is Origins, the start of the Primus crew, literally what basically starts the entire storyline throughout all of Black Ops 3 and half of like Black Ops 4. Truly an Easter egg to remembered in all the history throughout Call of Duty Zombies. So, oh my god, bro. Okay, that is Origins complete. Actual some squeaky bone time, but let's just go ahead and move on to our next Easter egg for this video. Right then, boys. So, moving on to our next game, we have Black Ops 3. Now, there isn't anything like too crazy about the rising drag, but I still wanted to put it on this list because I feel like it's the Easter egg that everyone kind of goes back to Black Ops 3 for. I don't know, it's just like a really important map for like Easter eggs. I don't know. The way this map plays kind of influences every other Easter egg after this in a way. It's a little bit hard to describe, but I guess you could also say this has the first boss fight. It all really depends on if you consider like the Shadow Man an actual boss fight. Like, yeah, the Shadow Man is a boss fight, but it's like not really the best. This is the first one where it's got like stages. I don't know, maybe I'm just waffling, but I wanted to include this map anyways because I feel like it'd be wrong to make a history of Easter eggs video without the Rising Drake. So yeah, we got really lucky though with the Gobblegums. I was shopping free at first and we immediately got Pokeholics. Now we just got to fill up all the dragons. Now the thing about this Easter egg is honestly, I've done it so much. It's actually boring. Like to me, the Rising Drake isn't actually that fun to play anymore because during the wait between Zetsubo and Goro Krovi, bro, no one wanted to play Zetsubo. So you just had like basically two DLC periods of playing just the Rising Drake. So to me, I've overplayed this map to absolute shit. So I'm not, you know, the biggest fan of it anymore, but I can't deny that it is a good map. It's pretty much just Origins 2. Which I guess, I mean, you can't really go wrong with. But yeah, I mean, Shadows will always hold my heart on this game. So something that is actually quite interesting about this Easter egg is I'm pretty sure you're able to do it on round one. If I'm not mistaken, like getting kills with that trap there doesn't actually like kill the zombies and not let them respawn anymore. Apparently it duplicates them, if I'm remembering correctly. And I'm pretty sure that's the only map on Black Ops 3 that you can do that on. I'm not really too sure how many zombies it takes to fill up a dragon. I mean, I suppose we're about to find out. Because literally all of my kills have gone towards the dragons. So as soon as this one's finished, which I think would be right now. Yeah, okay, so there we go. So it's eight zombies each. It's what it takes to fill up the dragons. For some reason, it feels like more. So I think I just need this one last kill. Then that dragon should be complete. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. So it is actually eight kills. I did not realize that. You know what? It's fine. Let's go ahead and pick up our Wrath of the Ancients. Now you might be wondering, Jake, which bow are you going for? Now, like pretty much every single Dragon Dragon Easter egg that anyone ever posts on solo, I'm going to go for the Lightning Bow. Mainly because it's just the easiest. Actually, well, I mean, then again, the Wolf Bow is also really easy. I also hate making this shot. This shot is so annoying to hit. Okay, then I've got to try and remember this cheeky little skip here. So if I stand next to, I think it's this rock. Aim like here, maybe? I can't remember exactly where I need to aim, but... Oh, okay, I hit it. Nice, so that saves me having to go all the way down to the rocket testing pad. Or site, sorry. Just hit that one bonfire, and then have to come all the way back up to do another step. So, very, very nice little skip there. For anyone who doesn't know it, now you do, you know? I'm gonna mark my videos as educational. So, next up, I just need to come down here, turn on the anti-grav, and hit all of these symbols on the wall. So, the second one is our third one. Our fourth one, and our final one, I believe, is just here. So, there we go. Also, pick up the shield part, and I'll honestly probably not even build a shield. I don't know what it is about the shield, but I just always forget to build it. Like in every single game it's on. Yeah, either way, now what we gotta do is just fill up all of these urns here with zombie souls and then shoot the bonfires again. And that's pretty much the lightning bow in a nutshell. So get the electric spark on our bow. And I just need to hit that first try. Watch this, boys. There it is. Oh my god, I actually hit it. That, that should not have hit, you know. Yeah, well, either way, technically I need to go back, but I'm actually gonna sit here for a little bit to get the Ragn
dislike the Horizon Dragon Heat Strike because I just hate waiting. But I mean, to be fair, we actually didn't have to wait that long. But usually it takes like forever, you know. But maybe that's just me. I'm just impatient like that. Either way, now we just got to wait versus a little like control panel thing here. And that'll be our second Ragnarok piece. And the only one we're going to be missing is from the Panzer. So, so far, we're not actually doing too bad. We're kind of speeding through this. So, there you go. There's our second uh, Ragnarok piece. I actually forgot the name of it for a second there. And let's actually dip out of here. So, let's do our next urn. I don't think these take super long to fill up. I mean, that, look at that. It's already done. I'm actually a speedrunner, boys. What can I say? Okay. And I, oh my god, dude. It's time to remember stuff about this Easter egg that I'm not a fan of. Okay, let's try it this again. Is that going to hit? It actually missed. Are you serious? Okay, that one hit. There we go. All right, so next up, you have to fill this one here. My game is actually dying. All right, there we go. So if I just take this little pad over here and hit that there, there we go. Just interact with this with my broken arrow. Literally, I've just done a tutorial on how to get the lightning bow in about four seconds. All right, well, either way, let's just head back down to the pyramid area. Just place the bow in there. Now, all we've got to do is just fill this up. And then we're pretty much like ready to start the actual Easter egg. Okay, so there we go. So if I just pick this up, the game will let me. There we go. Just got to place it back down. Make my way back up to the Wrath of the Ancients to get the unupgraded bow first. For some reason, the first step is to get an upgraded bow <laughs> and then immediately get rid of it. You know, like you do, but it's got to shoot all of these little orb thingies up here. So just that one back there and there we go. So now we're on the hunt. As we pretty much need to find like three wisps around the map. So where are they? This Easter egg is actually quite short, like now that I think about it, which is probably why it's a lot of people's like first Easter eggs. Because it gets them used to like boss fights and a few kind of like tedious steps. But yeah, this Easter egg is like really easy. But then again, I suppose so is Origins in a way. Like as long as you know how to upgrade all of the staffs and stuff like that, Origins Easter egg is not that hard. Like on solo, it's, it's a different story, but it's honestly not that bad. What is a bit wacky is where is this wisp? Like, I literally can't find it. I don't think it despawned or anything like that. So bro, where is it? It actually said, nah, I'm not even showing up for you. Bro, th that is ridiculous. I actually can't even believe that just failed me. All right, well, I need to end the round. So where is the zombie? I actually nowhere to be seen. Oh my God, here he is. Bro, just pop up behind me. All right, game, am I going to start looking for it or? I didn't hear the noise. I'm just going to go on the look anyways. Oh, there it is. All right, so I need to find the second one. Oh, here it is. Okay, so, just, okay, so we just need to find one more and we're all good to go. Okay, here it is. I'm pretty sure it's one more. It could be two. I could be yapping right now. I think it was just one more anyways. No, okay, there is four. I actually could not remember, but here we go. I feel like there's always one in that globe location. Like whenever I do this step, there's always at least one. But either way, there we go. We can now go back in time to go like do some things. So let's hop in here, go back in time. Now the thing I've got to do is I gotta make sure I do not end the round. So basically, I need to pick this up. I'm gonna spam around the room pressing F, you know, just in case there's something else I need to pick up. Okay, then I'm just gonna grab this little hoe that he puts in. So what do we got? We got lightning, D lightning. Okay, pretty easy code to remember. Okay, now I just gotta make sure I do not end the round here. Obviously, we got a panzer, which I gotta try and clap. Okay, there we go. So pick up the Ragnarok PC drops real quick. There we go. Let me get out of here. So far, this is actually going all right. Like, I've not actually had too many hiccups. The only issue we had was with the Wisp at the start because I checked literally every single location and it didn't show up. But you know what? It's in the past. Not even a problem. So let's come over here and put that in there. I'm not sure if I need to change the thing over. I don't think I do. So just put in Lightning, E, then Lightning. It should be that done. Oh my God, it was wrong. So I have to change it, don't I? But I'm going to take a second because the amount of anger about to emanate from my body is actually unreal, bro. I just don't like this Easter egg. I don't like it at all. It's boring and it's annoying and it's tedious. I just don't like it. I don't really like this map. That's it. I'm saying it. I'm going to be the one to say it. Yeah, it's because I need to change it to protect. And now it means I've got to look for all these wisps again. So isn't that a joy? You know what? It's fine. I'm not even going to rage. I'm not even going to rage. There's no need. All right, let's just find the last three wisps. And, you know, we can be on our way. Okay, so here it is. Okay, our third one was up there. It's completely unrelated, by the way, but the song Stacy's Mom is a real toe tapper, you know? It's been on my playlist for as long as I can remember. And I just feel like people need to, you know, go listen to it. That's the song that's going to get me through this Easter egg. All right, well, either way, we can go back in time again. This time, I'm not going to mess it up because I'm actually going to change the protect. Why you even need to change that is just beyond me. Like, it could have just been a simple, you know, just put in the code and be on your way because it's just, there's just no need. Actually, no need. You know, I'm also going to pick up a gobble gum. What we got? We got ethereal enhancement. Wow, truly just what I needed. Yeah, I don't think I need to pick up anything else. Okay, so we've got D lightning lightning. Right, what, what is going on here? Is there still going to be a panzer or I'm actually so confused? Is there going to be a panzer that pops up? <laughs> no, I think bro died. Oh, that's an L, bro. That's my bad. Okay, so let's put this in here. Change this protect this time. And let me just put in the code. I'm pretty sure it was just D lightning lightning. So there we go. Is that going to be right? I, I want to say we actually did it this time. Yeah, I heard the noise. Okay, we're all good. Okay, let me pick up these. One of them in here. And then the other just in here. And now we need to play a lovely game of Simon Says. Well, I won't lie. This could immediately fuck me over. So E squid a lightning circle. Also, that is a squid. I don't care what anyone says. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Okay, first of all, I've messed up in many ways because. Okay, bro. What? Is this game serious or not? Uh, please let me get out of here. But yeah, okay. I messed up in many ways, right? One, because I down. Two, because I need to change it back to the story because, of course, you know, that's my bad. Oh, okay. I got my puck colleague back. Oh my god, please stop. Okay, we're good. I need to get my bow back. So there we go. Now, you know what? Just to get it out of the way now, I'm going to do the second lot of wisps. So here's our first one. Uh, if I just do it now, it says we have to do it later. So let me also just change this to destroy real quick and hit this. Put that one there. And I'm guaranteeing you now the last one's going to be a globe. If it's not, I'll genuinely be surprised. Uh, I, I actually guess it's not. Bro,
beyond me. Right, you know what? You know what? It's honestly fine. Let's start this. So we got Circle Lightning, Squid D. So lightning, Lightning, Lightning again. Okay, game, come on. You can give me something else. It's squid, Lightning, <laughs> Squid. Oh my god, game. You're really challenging me right now. D or oh shit. Uh, I think it was, it was this one, yeah. It actually did trip me up there, but we did it. Okay, so I'll know I've done it right if, yeah, okay, that like uh, whole thing there is glowing. So that means I did that one correctly. Now I like doing that one first because if the rocket test site goes off and you fail it because of that, it resets both of them. So if you just do that one down there first, it means that you can do this one without having to worry about the rocket test site going off. So E circle squid lightning. So lightning, E, E, squid, E, circle, squid. Oh my God, it's a fucking panzer, isn't there? Circle. Bro, there's a panzer. Go actually back away, little homeboy. You're not him. Actually what I thought. Okay, I'm just going to quickly head over here. Press this button. Uh, that's going to have Dempsey come down from the sky. But, you know, I'm honestly not going to worry about Dempsey because I just don't care. Instead, I'm going to have a look around for these wisps. As I think I've still got this round to do it. I don't think I failed it yet. I mean, we're about to find out. Oh my God. Oh, don't die. Oh, good. Okay, there it is. Yeah, nice. So I can still do it this round. Let's go. Okay, it's our second one. Bro, I've seen some actual horrific YouTube shorts in the last, like, week. There's this, like, YouTube short series that I've been, like, watching. And it's called The Hunger Games. And it's basically, like, all of these, like, TikTok games that people do. But they do it with, like, kids from Africa. Bro, it is actually horrendous, bro, what they can get away with. And in case you, like, don't know what I mean by, like, TikTok games. Like, do you know that TikTok game where basically, like, a couple or whatever get, and, like, a bunch of fast food or whatever. And they'll do, like, a bottle flip to see who can eat next. So, like, you eat until, like, the other person hits the bottle flip. You, you know what I mean, right? They were doing that with a bunch of, like, little African kids. Bro, I was actually, like, I was in shock, bro. See, a part of me is glad, like, videos like that exist, though, because it does call out some of the things that people do. Like, bro, how are you going to make a bunch of kids like that <laughs> fight for food? Like, that's, that's wild. Okay, where is our last one? It might be by the power or it could be by the globe. I think that's the only two I haven't checked. Well, no, we did power, didn't we? I think it must be a globe then. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, go ahead and hit that. So, I'm pretty sure we can go back in time now. So, let's just head back in time real quick. Uh, now, all we got to do is come over here and interact with this. And then that's going to open up this little, like, stone tablet thingy which we need to pick up. Okay, so, I want to say, okay, so now that we've done that, we're pretty much coming up to the end of the Easter egg, to be honest with you. Like, in terms of things we've got left, it's literally, like, all soul boxes, pretty much. And then that's it. So, let me just come over to where Dempsey crashed down. Got the golden rod. Take my way down here and put it in there. That's going to spawn in a keeper. All right, my boy's on the move. Okay, so, all I've got to do is just get a bunch of kills with my bow. And then we're pretty much at the boss fight. Just hopefully his keeper doesn't take too long taking all the souls. Bro, what is his pose? Okay, I think next round he'll probably start moving. Okay, something I noticed about the keeper is that he doesn't seem to move like mid round. He just hogs up all of the souls and just leaves at like the worst moment. Like sometimes he'll take a load of souls like this or he'll take like 10 and then just go. I, I, honestly, random. Yeah, like look at this, right? Right, like round ended, he's on the move. Okay, so this one's up next. I am running kind of low on ammo, which could be a bit of an issue, but we might be alright as long as I like train up a bunch of zombies. Okay, if I had to take a guess, I think he's probably filled up with souls. So I'm just going to end the round using like normal weapons because I don't want to waste all of my ammo. My bow. Yeah, look at this. He's already on the move. Okay, I think one more shot should do it. All right, so once again, let's just end the round using just like normal weapons. See, if I could get a max... Oh, bro, bro literally speaking of the devil. Okay, so he's on the move. So I think he's going to his final location now. Okay, so I need to put the tablet in here and we just need a few more kills. Okay, there is a panzer though. Isn't the greatest. Oh my God, bro, he's messing me up. What, bro? Why did my screen go black and white there for a second? That was random. I've never seen that happen before. Okay, so there we go. He's all filled up now. I mean, also by this KRM. Now, I'm not too sure if I need to lead him all the way down to the pyramid or not, or if I can just like run away, but I'll just lead him down there. Oh, bro, of course the pac at the rocket pad as well. Okay, so there we go. Just let that do what it needs to do. We'll also just build the Ragnaroks real quick since I need those. Also make the shield just because like, why not? I'm also going to hit the box for a bit. Oh, bro, we got the ray gun. Not quite what I want though. What I'm looking for right now is the XM53. I know some people would be like, bro, what are you even on about? Like the XM53 is some like, back out weapon. But nah, all right. On the boss fight for the Rising Drag, it goes so unbelievably hard. Of course, the one time I actually won it, I'm just not going to get it. Okay, let me get Teddy Bear. Are you actually serious? I mean, I suppose the bow would work. Oh, this isn't a good spot for me. And when we're all good, the bow is literally overpowered. Oh my god, the box is all the way down there. Okay, it's not too bad actually because I can hit the box. If I don't get the XM53, I'll just pack a bunch of more weapons and then we'll just go straight for it. Not gonna bother wasting all my time. Alright, you know what? I'm getting bored of hitting the box. Let's just pack a bunch of weapons. Let's just go. So there is the haymaker pack bunch. There's the KRM. I don't really need to bother pack bunch them twice because honestly, it doesn't really make too much of a difference for just killing the panzers. So I suppose we're pretty much ready for the boss fights. So we just make my way over here, lock the Ragnaroks and place them down. And then we're ready to go. So here we go. I do have trip mines right there, so I'm really OP. I'm not even gonna stand a chance. Okay, so this boss fight is pretty easy to be honest. All you do is just train around until there's a big like wisp orb thingy in the middle. Place your Ragnaroks down and just go ham on the keeper. It's pretty simple. So here we go. Place them down. There we go. And let's see, make sure I get to the front of him. Because all I gotta do now is just shoot his uh, center. So I don't know how many shots it's actually gonna take. Right, that didn't kill him. But this is why the XM53 is the best. The XM53 two shots him. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with like the damage your bow does scales with the round. I'm pretty sure that's what like Glitching Queen kind of like proved. What it does mean though is I need to get back my Ragnaroks, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, and they're not ready and he's doing his attack. Okay. I didn't even go in with a gobble gum or anything, which was
sucks for filling up the keeper. So in case you're wondering, like the bow just sucks for filling up the Ragnaroks. Not the hard way, but yeah, we're nearly done. Yeah, we got our specialist weapon now all filled up. So he's doing his attacks, just run in the middle, he sees down. And then we've got to shoot his center. So I don't know if it's worth doing singles or if it's worth doing charge shots. I'm not too sure. But there we go, that's done. So now we gotta deal with all the panzers. With the shoes shining, like the easier to literally just get clapped. Okay, so there we go, that's all the panzers done. Super easy stuff. And Ragnarok's gonna be filled up as well. Yeah, there you go. So as soon as he goes to the middle, we can try and mess him up. I think I'm gonna do single shots this time instead, just to see if maybe that's better. I'm on one honestly not too sure okay so here we go this he's down in the middle get to the front of him and here we go so just keep shooting him is this doing big damage or i don't know what's happening here okay okay that did actually like take him out in one wave so i think single shots are the best so we only have one more phase left just hope i don't die to anything too stupid oh my god okay they landed on me that's not good okay, i think this is the last panzer right here so is that it yeah there we go nice that's all we gotta do now is just take him out all right come on keep it you can go in the middle now oh where's he at over there bro he's taking his time for this one literally like like the second he does it over speak of the devil so go ahead and throw that down there put down a charge shot try and take out any Enemies that are trying to attack me, and then we'll just go in. Come on, is that it? I'm honestly not too sure. I'm gonna keep shooting him. Okay, we got him. Oh, let's go, boys. I'm just gonna spin around like a little fidget spinner. There we go, boys. That is the Horizon Drag boss fight. We're super squeaky because I forgot taking near death experience, which is kind of like a cheat code for this boss fight, to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie, but yeah, there we go. So now all I gotta do is just come over here. This summoning can be picked up over here, maybe. Did I actually pick it up or did I miss it? I might have missed it. Okay, a little bit embarrassing, but no, we move. There it is. Okay, so now if I just place it down here, that is it. All zombies are dying, so they can't attack me while I watch this. There it is, boys. Sending off the missiles. <laughs> funny that it's just like a moon easter egg but in reverse or at least like the ending kind of cutscene but i find it hard to believe though, that that many missiles would just like blow up the entire moon no i don't know if i believe that oh i didn't get to see it, it just put me straight into the cutscene bro what all right well i mean there you go so yeah i mean that's the rising track done some people class it as the best easter egg ever it's definitely a lot of people's favorite map i think this is actually one of like the community's favorite maps out of the entire series which is a bit crazy to me but i suppose for like technically the first boss fight it had to be in this video somewhere so yeah that's this easter egg complete so let's just go ahead and move on to the next easter egg in this video all right then boys so Finishing up Black Ops 3, we of course have Revelations. Now, this Easter egg was a big moment right in COD Zombies history, right? Because one, it was technically meant to be like the end of like the premise crew. You know, the whole Eva storyline. This was meant to be it. Of course, now we know that like just is not the case. But another reason this Easter egg is kind of big in terms of like the zombies community is that this Easter egg, I swear, took like two weeks or something to solve. It took ages. And there is a reason why. It's because this Easter egg, in a way, it makes actually no sense. Oh, we got the lines. That's actually kind of big. Okay, so what I'm trying to get from the box real quick is mainly the Apothecan Servant. Okay, we didn't quite get what we needed. So, I mean, to be fair, getting little Arnie's was actually kind of massive. So, first things first, we need to shoot these gravestones here. So, we need to shoot two, three, one, and then four. And then that should have them glow up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and we got shopping free. That's actually kind of big. So, let's just quickly open up the entire map. Okay, we pretty much made it to mob. So, what I need to do is I need to find like a rock behind one of these launch pads. So, it's not there. It's not here either. All right, I guess I'll also do these like corruption engine things as well. When it comes to this Easter egg, I was honestly put off like as much as i love black ops 3 dude the easter eggs can sometimes just actually take the piss see i'm sure i've mentioned it in a few videos but like my favorite easter eggs to do are actually like the really short ones also here's the rock we needed so i'll keep a note of that but yeah like stuff like the infinite warfare easter eggs and stuff like that but, well i mean like space land and rave and beach and beyond i actually like those easter eggs because they're short and sweet you know like they don't you know outstay their welcome but revelations bro this shit could take up to like two hours uh, i actually just did not do the corruption engine at spawn that is like wild bro, bro i need to get myself in the game you know hey, where are all these parts Okay, here's one of them. Okay, this is all of the corruption engine done. I'm stepping up my game, alright? I responded back to my Discord server because apparently they're slandering someone because they don't know map battles. Okay, here's the other part. We just need the school, and I think it's somewhere in like the Rooks area. Okay, so where would this be? Oh, here it is. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and build it here. 5,000 points! Okay, so we've got 5,000 points. Let me go ahead and activate this old bad boy. Here he is. What is good, Mr. Keeper? So all I gotta do is just hop over here, wait for it to be ready, and then hop back. Then what should happen is he should start doing some like voodoo magic. And to be fair could make this work you know so let me hop over here he should start doing some like ritual shit so there we go now i think will that attack him no if that's just gonna attack me then what we could do is just save a b till it's done and it saves me having to like try and defend it yeah this actually works kind of well so i'm just gonna let him cook for a bit so yeah apparently this lasts three minutes so we got a bit of waiting to do we're just sitting there like what are you even doing bro uh he just died okay we're gonna have to defend this guy for a bit surely it's been like nearly three minutes though oh is he done oh he literally is done okay so pick up that i don't know why i've headed back over here when i need to go into the apothecum but you know whatever actually no, i don't need to go to the apothecum where do i need to go oh, i need to bring it to nact okay and then we need to go into the apothecum all right i know now so let's place the radio e there okay so we need to wait the apothecum to make a little circle around oh so here he is so let's go ahead and zap him and i think this should be raindrops okay that's perfect okay so all we gotta do now and it's not pop that okay that is literally the worst thing i could have done but what's the button for me to throw my little arnies well not up on set it, bro it's not even set to anything are you serious i right, will set to four okay well that's kind of an l oh bro this is even more of an l oh this is just not gonna 
going my way. Oh, this has just gone. Oh, no, my drops are going. This has gone poorly. Bro, what? They're not going in. Like, come on. Game. Oh, my God. Game, do me one solid, please. So, out of all of that, six little Annies. We got two of them. It should have been a oh, lawless, you know. It should have been actually two free. Apparently, I'm too dumb. So, let's throw that in there. Let's throw another one in here. And we could toss another one in here. So, I don't know how many we've done. Or, to be honest, which ones I've done. Probably should have been keeping track. But, honestly, it's it's fine. We'll just make it work. There's a lot of Margos right now. Oh, but the stepping sheet's actually going to come in huge, you know. Oh, I'm going max ammo. Okay, that's actually big. Okay, so let's try and do a few more. So let's throw one in there. Yeah, I do this one. I don't think I did. So let's throw another one in here. Now, I think there's a few more locations I need to throw some into. Or maybe there's only one more. I actually don't know. I haven't actually been keeping track, which is, which I won't lie, it's really bit me in the ass. But we just move like that. I'll redo every single hole if I need to. Okay, that sounds dodgy, you know. Let's, let's not say that again. Yeah, okay, I think that's all of the Margos down. Oh, we got another max ammo. Okay, that's actually kind of big. Now, the real question is, is this the last hole? I think it might be, you know. Uh, I don't see any Margos spawning. Maybe this one? Oh, okay. I think it might have been. Probably did our challenge. Let's go. Oh my god. This is not good. Squeeze past this guy real quick. Okay, so let's pick up this. And I believe we need to take it to Kino. So which one is the best one to go to? I think it's this one. So let's just place it here. Okay, so for the next step, we need to get the upgraded Apothecon Servant. So I actually need to get the Apothecon Servant first. We do have 30,000 points. Bro, when did I get stacked up on points? <laughs> hey, bro, I was struggling for 5k a minute ago. There is a Margo though. Isn't great. Okay, let's try this again. Ideally, I'm also looking for the Fundigan, to be honest, just so I can help with like Margos. But you see, I'm actually going to have to get like good luck. And as we've seen, luck is not on my side. Okay, where is the actual boxer? All the way over there. See, I don't know where that is. Okay, here it is. Maybe I could get a cheeky emulation. Uh, no, I got shopping for it. All right, that's kind of an L. Okay, I'm not going to grab that new because I'm actually going to try and save a zombie. Oh, okay. We'll see you later, box. Oh, we got the Thunder Gun. Yeah, that's actually really good. But as much as I like the Thunder Gun game, I, I still need that Apothecon Servant. Oh, bro, we got it. Yeah, it's actually kind of big, you know. We're actually up skis right now. Okay, so next up, I need to go pack with these weapons. Oh, wait, no. I need to shoot all of the rocks in the sky for the Apothecon Servant, don't I? I forgot about that. It says one just chilling right there. Let's get that. I actually missed it. Are you serious? Okay, so there we go. There's another one right there. So let's get that. We're going to hit. There we go. Oh, the zombie died. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. Should be another rock somewhere nearby. See, the thing with these blue rocks, right, is that they're really hard to see. The fact there's a big blue sun in the sky makes it a little bit difficult, but there it is. So, do we manage to hit that? No, okay. Of course, I missed it. Actual average Renzara moment. I think I missed it again. Are you serious? Bro, how many times am I going to miss this thing? Oh my god. I'm literally. Oh, bro, don't kill me. Okay, let's not miss this again, please. Okay, how's that hit? Okay, it hit. Thank God. It's also on the one all the way over there. I'm definitely not meant to snipe this from here, but bro, could I do it? I don't even know. Oh, I did hit it. Oh, what an absolute legend, you know. Oh my god. Oh, stay away. Okay, how many have I shot? I don't think I shot five. At the same time, I, I genuinely like can't remember. Let me go double check spawn because I think what might appear here. I actually, yeah, that's there. So I think once I shoot that, that should be all of them. So we've got to shoot these, get ourselves the pack a punch. And yeah, okay, we can pack a punch to the, uh, the apocalypse server. So, okay, so what we got to do now is we need to shoot bones around the map. And this is why this Easter egg took so long to be solved, right? It's because of just stupid steps like this, especially with like some of the locations as well. Like, bro, some of them are actually ridiculous. Like, I don't even know how it got solved. So, first things first, we we'll come over here, shoot this rock, and then that's going to spawn a floating skull. And you got to shoot with the Apocalypse Servant to suck it up. So, I think there's five. So, I think there's six in total. So, there's another one all the way over there. And this one, again, kind of sucks to try and hit because it's just in a real, like, like, dodgy spot, to be honest. So, I know you can hit it from down there, but to be honest, it would just be easier if I just try and get it from here. So, I believe that yeah, there it is. So, if we just shoot that with that, hopefully we got it. I'm not too sure if we did, though. I suppose just to double check, I'll head over and have a look. We inspect the cools because we're about to inspect this little rock here. Yeah, okay, we got it. Okay, perfect. Okay, I believe there's another one in here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there we go. Of course, we accidentally killed him. Let's go. This spot was stupid. Like, I do not understand how this got solved. So basically, there's a certain rock somewhere outside the map there where there's one. Okay, let me see if I can see. Okay, it's that rock there. So if we shoot that, switch our Apothecary Servant and shoot that outside the map, but there should be that one done. There's another one right there, is it? No, it was there. So let me go ahead and shoot that one there. I think we'll get it. Yeah, okay, I heard the sound. So that one was another, like, really silly one. I remember that one taking a while to be, like, found and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure our final one is over in Baroque. Which, bro, how? How this one got solved is actually beyond me. So I think it's that rock there, yeah. Just chilling outside the map, just a casual rock that one shot reveals a bone. So there we go. I think that's all of the bones. So it should be right here. There we go. So if we just shoot that with the Apocalypse Servant, it should turn all of the bones into a body. And then we just got to shoot the body as well. And you know, of course, what is logical, it turns it into a tape. So there we go. I'm pretty sure we take this one over to Origins. So we just place it there. And there we go. So what we've got to do now is we need to go over to these turrets. We need to shoot like these blue crystals. And what that's going to do is essentially it's going to shock Sophia who is now just chilling right there. But like, what is good, my guy? Bro, hit me with that light skin instead, bro. Honestly, making me feel a certain way, but go ahead and get this one here as well. Thing is, I'm trying to remember which ones you need to shoot. Bro, do you actually fucking mind? Oh my god, now it's cooling down. What a joke. Oh no, we're still on it. Bro, I need, where do I shoot? I can't remember. I think it's that, so see if we can be quick with it. Oh, of course, now it's cooling down. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, you know what? We'll come back to that one. Honestly, though, like, who made this
layoffs. I hope that someone who made that step was laid off. Like, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Like, you might think that's a little bit harsh, but honestly, bro, this step is criminal. This Easter egg is criminal. Like, I swear, they went into this Easter egg with the mindset of taking like two weeks to make it. I'm not even gonna lie. Is this one ready yet? Bro, still cool it down. Bro, things I've got all day. Okay, there we go. Right, let's just try this one. Okay, there we go. It managed to be it. Okay, so if we go see Sophia up here, like, what is good? She's gonna materialize into our big ball. Now, one thing I'll never get right is how does Sophia fit through here? Like, bro, honestly, like, like, literally, I do not get it. Now, let's go, Sophia. Okay, so we just need to lead Sophia over to the teleporter here. Now, it's gonna turn on. But before I go, I actually wanna go get some real quick. So, what we can do real quick is if we head over to this car, you'll notice that there's, like, a little light here on this headlight. So, if we pick that up, you'll notice that, like, the fuse next to our ammo is, like, popping off, you know? Basically, what I've gotta do is I've now gotta go through that teleporter and place it in a box in Samantha's room. And that's pretty much, like, the super Easter egg. Like, you get it for doing all the Easter eggs. I also remember, if you do all the Easter eggs and you beat this Easter egg, you get, like, a load of XP. Like, I think it's, like, a quarter of a million, but there you go. Place the box in there. Oh, the light, sorry. Pick up the Cronorium. And now, what that does, by the way, is it makes all of the guns out of the mystery box pack a bunch. Every gun you get off the wall pack a bunch. And it also lets you buy, like, Takio's Katana, which is pretty cool. Is there anything else I need to do in here? Or is this it? Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was it. Okay, so, what we gotta do now is I need to go ahead and place Cronorium right there. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna spawn all symbols up in this room up here. Now, basically, it's our job to find four eggs hidden around the map, then go into the big apothecary, hatch the eggs into a gate worm, and then run around the map, it's like spamming F, try and find the room. This next step is actually horrendous, but obviously you've got to do what you got to do. So let's uh, start looking for these eggs. See, sometimes you can get really lucky, get them all in like on spot, but sometimes you can get really unlucky and it just takes ages. Oh, here you go. Here's one of them. Now, the big issue about doing this on solo, right, is you've got to find all four eggs on your own. It would be really nice if it was only just like one egg. I suppose, you know, it is what it is, how the game wants you to do it. So let's go ahead and place that down there. I don't think I'm stuck just like waiting to finish that one up there. So I think I'm be able to go find the other three eggs. But we'll see. Oh, there's another one here, actually. Okay, that's actually perfect. So we're not limited to just doing one at a time. So let's place that down there. Luckily, they're not too hard to find. So yeah, like, look at this. There's one here. We've gotten pretty lucky with the spawns, to be fair. But even after this, we don't again, like, need to run around the map with the apothecans to try and find the symbols. So let's just place that one down there. And my guess, the final one is probably going to be in, like, the mob and origins kind of section of the map. Also, I just hear a panzer. Why is there a panzer? Oh, what are you... What is your problem? Don't end the round, please. Oh, my fucking God. What can I say? How did he even spawn in? It could have been five minutes. I don't really understand. But wow, this is actually not good for me because I had this nip experience and it's pretty much going to waste. Oh, here's the last egg. Oh, it's actually kind of big. Okay, so now we just need to start filling them up. Bro, I don't know why this area is so yellow. I swear, I don't ever remember it being yellow. Like, this yellow, if that makes sense. Also, by the looks of it, those guys weren't counting towards filling up the souls or anything like that, so that kind of sucks. Oh, there we go. So, we've got ourselves a gateworm. I think for now, I'm just going to wait until we've gotten all of them kind of filled up, then go from there. So, there's that one done. Oh, there's that one done as well. I Realistically, I wanted to go before my near-death experience was going to be up, but I suppose I can just get it back, to be fair. I mean, I've, I've literally got, like, infinite gobble guns, so. Oh, okay, there you go. So, that last one's done. So now we're gonna run around the map and try and find where these symbols go. So I'm gonna pause all my music and stuff like that because I'm pretty sure you can hear them. I'm not too sure. Usually there's one around here. Of course, the one time I actually know a location, it just doesn't go there. So I'm just gonna keep an ear out because I know on controller, like your controller buzzes and stuff like that. So it makes it a little bit more obvious. But obviously, I'm gonna keep on the mouse now. So, oh, okay, so there we go. So here's one of them. So yeah, it makes like a beeping noise. So there we go. We've got one of the like symbols. So let's head back in and get ourselves a second gate one. And where do I wanna check? Oh, there's gotta be one in Baruch somewhere. Oh, can hear one. There we go. So there's our second one. So there we go. I'm getting pretty good at guessing. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, can hear one around the spawn area. So is it gonna go here? There we go. So that's our third one. So we just gotta find one more. Where have I not been to? I guess like Kino's Horizon Direct. So I check there next. To be fair, not actually causing me as much problems as I thought. I, I thought it'd be worse. Oh, okay, it's somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. All right, so that's our final room. So I'm pretty sure we've got like a little mini boss fight now. But the only thing that's worrying me is I don't want to go into the boss fight and then just around the randomly end. So I lose my near death. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna risk it. I'm a risky fellow, all right. So if I come here and I just interact with this, okay, we're going straight into the boss fight. Let's go. Well, it's not really the boss fight, it's like the mini boss fight. So but what this does tell me is we're getting pretty close to the end of this. Or how the fuck am I doing this on solo actually? Um, it's okay, so basically what we've got to do is we've got to come over here. Oh, I've got like no ammo as well. I did not think about this. Okay, so we've got to remember these symbols. So I'm gonna remember them by the ad buys. So we've got two, four, two, four, one, three. Now, honestly, this is my little Arnie's are gonna come in kind of big. That's what we've got to do is I need to throw a little Arnie and okay, two, four. Yeah, we've pretty much got to input them as we saw them. So obviously we've got one next, so it's like the one with the horns. So that one, one. We just have one more left. So it's that one there, actually. So there we go. All right, perfect. All right, so we've now got the trials. Realistically, with this gobble gun, there is no way we can fail it. Because if you don't know, near-death experience on solo is pretty much infinite revives because of quick revive. Like, you can't die. So I don't even know why I'm worrying. I know, right? It's still a little bit nerve-wracking, you know? Okay, so we just need to keep taking out these magwas. So there we go. Should put us on to the next step now. Or the next, like, stage. So which one's it going to be? Okay, we've got the anti-grav one. Okay, that's fine. This one, I don't actually mind. Pretty
mode. Like, it isn't actually that bad. And the game is pretty generous. It's just, like, letting you run about in the uh, not spotlight zone is what I'm going to call it. Okay, so there we go. I'm also going to grab this max hammer real quick. Okay, so we're onto this one. I actually can't remember what this one is. Oh, it's, like, tornadoes. Okay, that's fine. Oh, my God. Okay, we have red screen here. Oh, okay, we're done. I think the last stage is the fire stage. Yeah, here we go. So this one's not too bad either. Pretty much just don't stand in lava. It's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, my God, dude. I just got, like, kamikaze. I don't know. Die there. Okay. Okay, there we go. So that's all of the stages, I believe. So now we can get this summoning key. And now we're pretty much on to like some of the last steps. So all we got to do is we got to throw the... Right, are you actually serious? Okay. Pretty much all we got to do is just throw the summoning key at different items around the map. And that's pretty much it. Like, you just go straight into the boss fight from there. So the first one is this like, chandelier in Kino. It's a little bit hard to hit though, but I think you could hit that radio. Or how that not hit? Like, what do you mean, game? Oh my god, my game's lagging. Okay, um, we're all good though. We got near death. Ideally, I want to try and complete this step without ending the round. But somehow, I keep missing. My aim is not on point right now. Like, come on, can you just hit, bro? Like, bro, just hit. Like, what? How am I messing this up? Like, I actually don't understand how this is not hitting. Actually amazing me right now. Like, I know you've got to hit the radio, but I'm trying to hit the radio and it's not activating. Like, bro, game. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Alright, where did it get sent to? Is it just gonna like, or am I just gonna like randomly get it? Uh, game. Where is the summoning key? Oh, there it is. All the way back there for some reason. Of course, my bad. I mean, there is a little like orb to be fair. Okay, the next one we'll do is the clock tower. So let's just toss that at that. There we go. We didn't mess that one up. Okay, so I need to melee, then go through it. Now you have to melee because if you don't, uh, the game glitches and you lose the summoning key. So very important that I do that. Grab the barrel there. We'll do this one next since this one's really annoying to hit. Kind of the same as Kino, oh, but we only hit it like second try, so I'll take that. Or it's going to be really random. I do not remember getting gravity spikes. <laughs> like, when did I get those? You know what? Doesn't even matter. I, I do not remember getting them though, honestly. Okay, next up is this poster back here. Okay, that was actually the worst throw I think I've ever had in my entire life. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay, next up, we'll do this gravestone there. And I'm pretty sure the final one we need to do is over in Shangri-La. So if I just throw it at the focusing stone there, that should be it. And I'm pretty sure we're onto the boss fight. So, okay, do I get the summoning key again? No, I don't think I do. Okay, let's just go to the teleporter. Let's go take on the Shadow Man. And luckily, I managed to keep my near death the entire time. So as long as I don't just like magically lose it right here, which I didn't, we honestly should be in the clear to beat this. Because bro, like the Shadow Man here is an actual joke. Like he's not even hard. Oh, bro, did, bro did just spawn in a panzer though. Like for the final boss battle in all the cool G zombies, it, it's a little bit of a joke. You know what? It's all right. We take those. Sucks for the time, but for this video, very nice because it means I don't have to like saw wet up. <laughs> uh, I do be out of Thunder Gun ammo though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a little Lani. We're going to pick up the summoning key. Bro, we're at Sophia. Oh my god. Okay, she, she, bro, she was quick. Uh, we just got to shoot the Shadow Man. Oh, we got, bro, we got him. We got him. I didn't even know what was going on. Oh, we just got him. <laughs> bro, like you do. Oh, there we go. One hour and 20 minutes is what it took us. Honestly, too easy. What can I say? It actually went pretty well. So, yeah, you can see this is pretty much like the ending cutscene. But what is that map on the floor? Like, what map is that meant to be? I actually have no idea. But yeah, that is Revelations. Pretty much like a fake ending to the premise crew because they obviously just brought it back in Black Ops 4. So, yeah, you know, truly in a historical moment in all the Call of Duty zombies. And in a way, you could say this was actually the start of the end. But yeah, enough of that. Let's just go ahead and move on to our next Easter egg for this video. All right, then, boys. So, a little quick pit stop. You know, outside of Treyarch Games, we've got Infinite Warfare, right? Now, the only kind of like Easter egg thing that I want to go over is the Mephistopheles boss fight. Because, boys, this boss fight is honestly one of like the most insane boss fights I think I've ever experienced ever. Like, it would just be wrong if I just didn't even like include it in any shape or form. So, I'm on boss battle because I don't really feel like doing the entirety of Beast from Beyond to have a shot at the Easter egg because I know for a fact that I'm probably going to fail it. So, I'll give it a few attempts. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat it if I had to be like completely honest with you guys. But by God, will I give it the best shot I have? So we're gonna get all my perks. The guns I'm running is the Sentinel or like the Mauler and the Venom Z. As from what I can remember, this is like the two best guns for this. So no, I'm a little bit nervous, bro. I am honestly a little bit like a, a bit worried. All right, I'm not even gonna lie. But you know what? Let's just jump straight into it. If I fail it, I fail it. If I don't fail it, then you know, happy days. I have beat this before on like boss battle because me and Tyler were grinding it out to try and like eat an actual match. But it's honestly so difficult. So pop in the evade card. Basically, I've got to try and remember. Oh my god. Basically, I've got to try and remember like what all of the attacks are. So I gotta be careful for us. And basically, the way this boss battle works is you place a talisman down on the floor and you have to stand in this circle till it's fully charged up. Oh, okay, he's doing his flamethrower attack. Okay, that's calm. Not even worried about that. Let's see, from what I can remember, his worst attack is his fireball attack because it's just so quick. Either way, I think we're off the stage. So, yeah, here we go. There's gonna be like these little like blue wisp things that spawn in. And basically, I've just got like pick them up with the entangler and throw them at Mephistopheles. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I just got clapped. <laughs> it's just not happening, bro. Oh, well, we got him. I'm out of his first. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, there's my first attempt. I'm gonna give it a few attempts. Alright, I don't want to just like do one attempt and call it a day. I genuinely don't think I'll be 
be able to beat it, but right, I want to at least see how far I can get. All right, let's give this another attempt. Oh my god, are you actually serious, bro? He just throws out the fireball attack. Look, he's doing it again. Oh my god, I am dead, bro. Another thing about this boss fight, and like pretty much every boss fight, is that there's no way to get your perks back or anything like that. So, what am I actually doing? Oh, I was just shooting him, but I guess he said nah. Okay, let's try this again. Bro, why do I not remember how to do this? Yeah, apparently, all you've got to do is just shoot him. Yeah, in the middle, there it is. Oh, we got my perks back. Wait, what? Have I had my perks this whole time? I, I swear I lost my perks, but you know what? Doesn't even matter. Oh my god, okay, we need to hide behind this because bro is throwing down the meteors. Oh my god, Ooh, cryptids, back off. Cryptids, you actually fucking mind. Oh no, he's just doing a cryptid rap. What am I doing? I'm actually being such a silly billy right now. Meteor is after this. Here, it's now. Yeah, I actually completely forgot about that. Okay, so just hide behind this rock. Hopefully, I don't die. All right, we're good. So now we got to do another talisman. So I'll place this one down here. And again, I just need to keep an eye on him. Just make sure he doesn't do any fireball attacks at me. Like that. Oh, and he's doing the fire breathing attack. Okay, not great. Okay, he's doing his fire breathing attack. Okay, this is perfect. So it should fill up. Okay, so there we go. Oh my god, bro. He's actually. Okay, I'm popping reanimate as well. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there we go. Let's shoot a symbol in this chest. There we go. Nice. That is his second stage. So, like usual, I just need to head back here. He decided not to drop a max ammo, which is a little bit upsetting, but it's fine. Alright, I got it smaller. Oh my god, okay. It's getting a little bit overwhelming. So, pop the venom. Oh, that just kills out all of them. Oh, it's a slasher, bro. Yo, what are you doing, bro? Oh, he's dead. Oh, okay, there we go. So, hide again from the meteors. Boys, we're doing it. It's pretty much his second stage completed. So, basically, each stage he gains a new attack as well. So, I don't know what the attack's going to be this time. Oh, it's this one. Okay, so I need to hide behind here. Oh, he will just cull at me. Okay, so there we go. Where's he going? What's he doing? I think that's just him heading back. Okay, he's spawning up some zombies. Or some skeletons. Not even a problem. Fireball. Oh my god. Okay, he's doing this like little grand slam attack again. So I'm going to hide behind here. There we go. Come out. It should finish up the circle. There we go. Oh, we're on it, boys. I'm actually on it. Kind of wish I didn't take that stupid down at the start because my evade card would be so nice right about now. Okay, so there we go. Okay, there we go. Nice. So he's going to do the cryptid. Oh, what? What do you even mean, bro? How did I die there? I need it. Bro, what do you mean? Okay. Yo, whatever. Fine. We are cooking right now. Just as long as I don't take a stupid down, we could get quite far. Oh my god. That is a lot of cryptids. Holy shit. Oh my god. I hate the little kung fu zombies as well. They're a little worse. Either way, there we go. Oh my god, boys, we're actually somehow making it. We've got two more of the talisman things we need to do. And then we're on to actually trying to like take him out. So, uh, oh, bro, oh my god. I actually did like completely forget about the attack fireball. Come on, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. Okay, so hide behind the rock. Let him do the slam. There we go. Then run out. Come on, Jake, you got this. Oh my god, no fireballs. Oh, we did, we did it. Okay, let's just start throwing these uh, other stuff, please. Oh, we only have to do like one more. So, there we go. Nice. Okay, let's just shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh, there we go, boys. Oh my god, we're actually doing it. We're actually doing it. And we have a load of Venom Z ammo as well. So, hopefully, it will be all good. Throw some grenades out. Oh my god, this is actually getting so intense. Oh my god. Oh, it's a rhino! It's fucking rhinos! No! No, bro! That is actually so upsetting. Oh, bro, if I just didn't take that stupid down at the start. Oh, bro, we actually got so close. I'm gonna give it another go. I want to at least get to the final stage. There's his first stage done. This time, I'm not taking a stupid down. Okay, I may have taken a stupid down. Alright, second stage, boys. All we gotta do is just survive these cryptids, and we shouldn't be good. Come on, come on, come on. That's his third stage. Let's go. We're making it out of these ends. We're actually making it. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. We might not be making it. Oh my god, we're actually doing it. Okay, I've got a plan, right? Actually, oh, do I, do I want to pop hide and seek on the next one when the rhino spawn? Or do I want to, like, save it for the very final bit? I don't know. Okay, hide behind here. We're pretty much back to where we were now. Uh, what is he doing? Okay, he's just rising. Right, that's fine. See, the first, like, few stages aren't that bad. It's, like, the fourth, fifth, and then the very final bit, which is, like, the hard bit. The final bit is absolutely ridiculous. To be, like, absolutely real with you, it is, like, entirely luck based. Okay, well, he's down, anyways. So, where is he at? There he is. So, shoot his shoulder. There we go. I honestly wonder if it's better for me just to run around instead. Oh, I don't know. That is kind of squeaky. Oh my god, this is squeaky. Oh, but then again, I didn't die. So maybe that is the shout. Oh my god, the rhino is bro. Actually, back away from me. We've got one. Did we get both. Oh, we have to scatter. Uh, die. There we go. Nice. See, as hard as this boss fight is, I honestly love it, bro. It is so fun. It can be so bullshit at times, but oh my god. Okay, here we go. So this attack is a little bit BS, to be honest with you. It's one of his better attacks, to be honest. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Come on, don't do me like this. Oh my god, here we go. Yeah, one hit from the fire. Oh, bro. Okay, I just got collapsed. Yeah, one hit from the fire and kind of dead. So. Oh my god. Oh, are you? serious right now game fuck off come on come on come on okay we did it it just means we have to beat the entirety of his next section without dying okay there we go right he's down so let's kill all these zombies off okay, there he is so shoot him up oh my god there we go no is he done i don't think there's another cryptid round or is it i actually don't know what happened did i mess it up oh no this is it so basically everything fucking spawns now there's meteors and everything i'm gonna pop twist uh oh god, i can't even speak i'm gonna pop twist of fate oh my god yeah we're just dead dude there's nothing you could do bro like it is just luck based yeah that final stage is just like kind of not it so uh, i'm gonna leave this boss fight here it is extremely difficult sorry i couldn't beat it. If you guys want to see me like stream it or make a whole separate video where I beat Mephistopheles, then let me know and I actually will because I do want to beat him through like the boss battle mode, but I also want to actually like do the beast run beyond Easter egg and do it that way as well because you're getting some other cool stuff, but I don't really want to waste like 15 minutes alone just on this whole segment. I don't know how long it's going to take me to beat that final section. So yeah, that was Beast from Beyond with the Mephistopheles boss fight. Easily like the coolest bo
close to it in my opinion. So yeah, definitely a moment in history where the best boss fight was created. So yeah, I mean, other than that, let's just go ahead and move on to our next Easter egg for this video. Right now, boys. So as you can see, we're here on Black Ops 4. Now the Easter egg I want to do is I want to do nine. Now you might be thinking like, Jake, why you chose nine? Well, first of all, because this is where the Chaos Crew was kind of introduced. I know Voyager Spare technically is the first map, but I mean, you know what? In my eyes, they both came out at the same time. So either one of those up for grabs. And to be honest, nine is just a more pleasant experience compared to Voyager Despair. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing nine. As I said, this is the introduction of the Chaos Crew <laughs> a storyline that lasts an approximate four maps before just getting absolutely scrapped off and brought back for some reason in one of the worst Call of Duty zombie games, Call of Duty Vanguard. So that kind of tells you everything you need to know. But it still is a moment in history for Easter eggs and Call of Duty zombies in general because you know what? They tried something different and I can respect that. So we actually got some good perks, which is quite nice. And I'm also going to quickly do these challenges just so we can get ourselves a Pac-Man Strive. Or is it even worth it? Because to be honest, I'm just going to go for the Helion Salvo anyways. Since as you probably know, it's without a doubt the best weapon in all of Call of Duty zombies. Literally clears waves. I mean, we'll see. So let's pick this up. At least we got an extra self revive as well. That is also quite nice. Right, you know what? I'm actually just going to go ahead and like open up the entire map just to get it over and done with. Okay, we've opened up all of down here. Quickly just head around here. Okay, that's probably all we're going to be able to open up. So let's start on taking out these champions. So here's our first one. Let's go ahead and mow into him real quick. Bro, I actually did not even stand a chance. I am one shot. How does this happen? No, it doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead. Start up our next trial. Also finish up our challenge. So there we go. There we go. That guy is dead. Didn't even have a chance to jump down. Actual clown baby. Then we just got this guy left. So any second now, there we go. Now, the only issue I really have with this Easter egg is there is just so much waiting around. Like, honestly, it's the one thing that is like super annoying. You know what? We just move with it. So there we go. That's our challenge. Then I think that's the Pac-Man's drive. So I'll head over and grab that in a second. We just do this next challenge here. So which one is this? That's oh, just this guy here. Come on. Time to go. There we go. So our final one is just this one here. And this one is going to be super easy because I'm pretty sure it's just tigers, which but let's be real, like just actually back away tigers. Who does bro even think they are? So yeah, I mean, very nice. You know, we're actually like speeding through this. So I'll pick up our strife. So then I'll just head down here and put these spikes on that. And that should open up package. So what I'm also going to quickly do is I'm going to try and look for this blue school. Now, if you don't know what I mean, basically on this wall of about a million schools, there is one school in particular that has like a blue symbol on it. Uh, and we need to find that and activate our specialist weapon on it. All right, surprisingly, this step isn't actually that bad because there is like set locations for each school, but trying to find it can be a bit of a pain. So I'm just going to go ahead and freeze these guys because they're getting them on those, making me grumpy. But is it up here? Uh, I don't see it. Okay, game. I know I said it wasn't that bad, but like, come on, where, where, it, where actually is it? Come on. See, usually you can just see it. It's usually it's like not in too crazy of a location but right now it's like hiding from me does not want to get picked up and put into a grinder bro, how am i struggling this hard to find a school like what is going on oh my god bro i'm literally getting put into dying wish what is going on oh my god here it is bro, that took so long okay well either way let's go ahead and pick it up bro i watched two guides to find that absolutely outrageous well i can go ahead and do now is i can go ahead and pop this emulation liquidation and i can start hitting the box try and get the weapons i need so obviously on that helion salvo but i also need a death of orion it is a little bit annoying that i need death of orion because let's see it's kind of shit i suppose we've got to do what we got to do so let me also go ahead and place a skull in there i could do the free death of orion easter egg but like to be honest it doesn't really feel worth it you know i also want to go ahead and lower down my affinity so i'm just gonna run through the fire a bunch of times and hopefully not die so there we go right we got it as low as possible hopefully they'll throw some literal poo poo at me so there we go pick up poo you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and end the round just so i can get me back another emulation because hitting the box normally right i swear it just goes away after like four or five hits it's actually like the worst box in all of cool shitty zombies it's abysmal plus i don't really know where it is is. I think it might be over here. Yeah, it's right here. You know what? I guess we'll go ahead and hit it. You know, we might as well. Just in case we do get it. Okay, that's my fourth hit. My fifth hit. Let's see how long this lasts. Five hits. Truly impeccable. Like, it takes longer for it to respawn than it does to actually move the box. Like, that is crazy. Either way, we've got an emulation back. Let's just keep hitting it. And hopefully, our luck will pick up because right now it's not too good. Wow, not going my way. Oh, there it goes again. I mean, to be fair, I do need to be going through rounds anyway so I can try and get a gladiator with an axe. Oh, there we go. We've got the for around. So obviously, all we want now is just like Helion Salvo. Okay, we don't want you to run gladiator. Okay, what I can quickly go ahead and do is make my way back to the flooded cribs and I can go ahead and grind up our school. Because basically all we're doing right now is we just need to like ferment this kind of mixture so that we can just like start a trial. I don't really get it. Just honestly, I wouldn't even question it. It's just Black Ops 4 logic. I do like this game, but by God, like half the time, the stuff you're doing just makes no sense. All right, is that done? Okay, we picked that up. So I don't know if we can ferment it now or do we need to get the wood? I actually can't remember. But yeah, okay, we are gonna need to get the wood. All right, no worries. Oh, we got healing salvo. Okay. Okay, it is a champion round, but I can't tell if it's gonna be tigers only or if it's gonna be a gladiator that shows up because it might just be the tigers which if it is kind of sucks which which by the looks of it is going to be just the tigers which kind of sucks but whatever let's go ahead and fully max out this helion salvo so there we go and then we'll also pack this death orion and we're pretty much set up class wise actually that's a lie i need to get firebomb okay there we go okay so hopefully a gladiator shows up at some point or really is taking his time at the moment which kind of sucks but it really do just be like that literally all we can do is wait which again does suck because obviously the sooner you can get these steps done the sooner you can start waiting like three rounds this easter egg makes you wait it's kind of crazy in like two steps it forces you to go at least five rounds which is really
really annoying. And I'm not really a big fan of Easter eggs that do that, to be honest. Where are the zombies at? I just noticed this. Like, they're actually either taking their time or the game is glitched. I'm mean, gonna hope they're just hiding. Oh, here he is. What, what are you doing? I mean, I'm kind of glad, though, at the same time, because this is the guy we need. But bro, I just, like, stumbled across him. Like, I don't know what happened there. He might have been stuck, but either way, let's get him to make his way over to this one. I don't think it is this one, actually. I mean, I don't know. I'd rather find out. So, come on, throw your axe at me. Okay, so there we go. And we can pick up the piece of wood there. All right, so then we need to make our way over into this room here, the Odin Tower Cauldron Room. Put that piece of wood we just got right there. Now, this is kind of where we have to wait a few rounds because we've got to wait for it to turn into ash. So I'm not too sure how many rounds it is. I think it's like two or three rounds. This is where the big period of us having just to wait ages for these steps to complete kind of start. Because we've got to wait for this. Then we've got to wait for it to ferment. Then we've got to place it on the ground and wait like two more three round rounds for that to like start producing this green mist. Honestly, it's a bit of an overkill on this one, but what can you do? Let's just try and end the round as fast as we can. I'll also hit the box every now and then to see if I can get the homunculus. Because if I can get those, that would be kind of big. Is this thing done? Okay, perfect. So now we need to come over here and place that in there and we need to wait a few more rounds that's a ferment and i can't remember how many rounds it is i think it's like either two or three more rounds but that was the shortest gladiator round ever it literally killed two zombies or two gladiators and that was just it oh it's already done wait what yeah, i do not remember that being that quick but you know what i'll, I'll take it so all we gotta do now is take it over to the danu temple place it down there and now we're gonna wait a few more rounds so once again let me just go ahead and skip through a few rounds okay there we go <laughs> took all the way to round 17 okay so what we gotta do now is we need to get a firebomb kill on top of this like steam and pile of shit but the issue is sometimes and sometimes not does the helion salva work i don't know why it literally just seems to be a chance of it working i mean i'll try it with the helion salva for a bit but if it comes down to it i might need to trade it out for the circuits kiss okay there we go i managed to make it work somehow all right so this is where it gets a little bit tricky right because i don't really know how you're meant to activate this let's just go ahead and like hold f pull out our specialist whack the floor press f get a kill okay that we somehow managed to make it work okay well all right so we're on to our first trial so basically all we gotta do is just shoot these like red kind of spore thingies so they destroy now usually i have homunculuses which makes this step super easy but i never got them from the box but even then i mean look at that we kind of just like destroyed it there so let's just destroy this one as well there we go and then our final one is just up here so to be fair like with the helion salvo's explosive damage range hey bro even the zombies trying to get to me i just iron i'm not even aiming them but there we go that's the first trial complete super easy so i'm pretty sure our next challenge is we need to find these like wall symbols outside the map like that and shoot them with the shield i remember how many there is i think there's like four so i thought every time we did one gladiator would spawn but i suppose not as we come across him later on but let's just keep looking for oh no here he is let's go bro yeah he's just gonna spin around and just you know bro, bro literally is missing an arm and it's just holding the axe okay whatever you say again yeah where are these other symbols at so the thing with these symbols right they can appear like literally anywhere like outside the map as you just saw through barricades just in random ass spots so hopefully you don't have too many struggles finding them so far though it's not looking great is that a second one there okay it was it's gonna say like bro where are these symbols are it's actually flabbergasted but yeah that's the second one could be one in this whole area Area maybe oh my god bro i just got like nearly destroyed by this guy oh my god oh actually back away holy shit okay bro do you actually mind oh there's another one so there's our third one so there's one more i need to find i mean it could be somewhere in here oh there it is okay but there we go so what we can do now is i'm pretty sure yeah i was gonna zap like symbols onto that little power thingy so if i go ahead and activate this basically it's gonna give me all things so we've got fire electric poison and water okay so what we gotta do now do not kill those zombies in that order so let's just train up probably down here oh, there's the fire one there's the electric one literally the poison one is here as well so where is he there he is so kill the poison one what we gotta do now is kill this water one so there we go that was super easy bro like literally they all just came to me so we gotta do that again so we've got fire again brawler that's the water one and poison all right so let's do it again there's the brawler just gotta find that fire zombie oh there's the water one and there's poison okay so literally where is fire who is hiding okay, here he is so kill him we've got to take out the brawler so it's a little bit scary because they're all kind of clumped together oh and i think i messed it up bro, what was i meant to do they're all just clumped together all right well that sucks because we're gonna have to go around now before we can try it again okay let's not mess it up this time oh bro of course it's a special round so i can't even try it this round another round we're gonna have to waste i kind of wish i just didn't mess it up you know that would have been real nice oh is that it oh oh we got another max ammo okay actually speechless but let's go ahead and try this again so this time we've got tiger poison fire and then brawler all right well let's see how difficult this one's gonna be oh my god there's the fire zombie oh this is not good oh, there's the tiger okay kill him uh poison which i literally just saw like two seconds ago there he is what is good uh fire which is there then literally we just gotta kill the brawler so so where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, bam. Did we get it? Yeah, I think we did because I heard him say that like, Rara's been appeased or something like that. So yeah, there we go. So I think we can start our next kind of like challenge. So interact with that. Gotta go around the map now and hit these like four screws till they go into the roof. So there's one of them. Here's our second one. Oh, here's our third one. So is it gonna go into the roof or what's going on? Okay, there it goes. Okay, so we just need to find one more. Oh, here it is. Okay, so there we go. That's done. Next up, I need to go ahead and get Deadwire on my Helion Salvo. So let's pack a bunch of this a few times. I want to try and leave all of these like brawlers and gladiators and stuff alive since we can actually use them for the next step. Okay, there we go. So we've got a lot of dead wire so all we got to 
gotta do now is go to these like lightning kind of like semicircles, and we need to get those in them using the weapon that has killer watt. So let's get this guy in here, let's kill him. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna fill up these like little orb thingies. So there's that one done. And the reason I wanted to keep all these gladiators and stuff alive is because killing those in these like little semicircles fill it up to like a crazy amount. So you only have to kill, so you only ever have to kill like two gladiators fully like fill this thing up. It's actually pretty cool. So my throat is like dying because all I've done for like the last three days is just record and talk into a microphone. Oh, okay, that one's done. Bro, ooh, ooh, okay, how did I die there? Truly, uh, I'm lost for words. So we came back with infinitely worse perks to be completely honest. I guess we got Luna. The only thing about Luna is she's going to try and kill all my zombies and shit, which I don't really want them to do. Okay, so I think that's that one done there. So we just have to do this one here and we're all good to go. So Luna, do you actually mind, bro? Okay, well, we got a gladiator coming over. So come on, hurry up. Bro, I actually do need to speed up because Luna will just clap it. Okay, there we go. That didn't even count. Huge. I'm pretty sure we're coming up to like the end of this Easter egg as well. There's not too many more steps left. Bro, how did that not count? Like, genuinely, this circle is like super small compared to the others. Or it's just not working. I mean, that is also a big possibility, to be honest. Okay, let's kill him here. Okay, there we go. Bloody hell. All right, so all I gotta do is just interact with this. Oh, sorry, one of like the orb thingies. Oh, okay, I can't go because it's one of these special rounds. I swear, bro, every time I need to do something, a special round pops up. It's actually annoying. I'm not gonna have this done until like round 30 at this point. Honestly, I'm not gonna have this done until like round 30 at this rate. I'm actually crazy. Okay, there's like gladiator, so I need to go kill you as well. Okay, there we go. All right, can I go into it now? Yeah, okay, of course I can now. All right, there we go. So basically, I'm gonna go up against a bunch of gladiators and tigers and stuff like that. And you technically have an unlimited specialist weapon, but bro, using a specialist weapon on this step, it's actually a death wish. Sometimes they can just catch you off guard and just like absolutely destroy you. So what I like doing is I just like running around with the Helion Salvo. Ultra reliable, you know how it is. Since it literally just one shots all of the gladiators and brawlers and stuff like that. So, oh my God, I'm gonna put my specialist here just for that extra bit of health. Jesus, bro, I went down so low. Bro, look how good that is, bro. It just wiped out like, like seven gladiators in one shot, bro. It's insane. Okay, there we go. Okay, so before I go on to the next step, I just wanna grab all of the parts of the shields. I already had one part, so I just picked up another. So where is that last part? Okay, there it is. Okay, so I pretty much have like two things I need left to do. So I need to shoot these like symbols through the walls. I need to get that one first try somehow. I mean, actually, oh, what a god, what can I say? You try and hit this one. This one is a pain, bro. Okay, there we go. I managed to get that one as well. That's the hardest one, so I'm pretty glad I got that one done like super quick. So the final one is just this one here, which is super easy. Shoot that one. There we go. Now, all we got to do, I believe, is just stand on this grate until we get put into another challenge. So there we go. And pretty much all we got to do for this is just survive a few rounds where there's a bunch of like elemental stuff and zombies and whatever. What I'm going to do is since I've got Victoria's Tortoise on, I'm just going to sit here with my shield. If it gets too damaged, I'm just going to buy a new one right next to me. And we're pretty much going to cheese the entire thing for the next like 10 minutes that the game's going to put me through this. So this step is like super boring. So if anything like cool happens, <laughs> I'll bring it up. But I mean, other than that, I'll just be back when this step's done, to be honest. All right, I'm pretty sure we're nearly done as the key is like pretty much at the top. So let's just go ahead and quickly bash through all of these enemies. Like I can literally see it. It's right there, game. Like just let me pick it up. Okay, can I pick it up down? There we go. Perfect. So that is pretty much every single step that we needed to do. And then we're actually onto the boss fight. So I'm gonna grab a new shield. Uh, I'll also just grab this max ammo here that I've been saving onto for ages. And we're pretty much ready for the boss fight. So right, let's go for it, boys. So this boss fight really isn't that difficult, to be honest. Okay, so we've got about a million gladiators, but as we've already saw, the Helion Salvo literally just takes them out with ease. And we've got a few little gladiators all the way down there. So we'll just collab those real quick. I'm waiting for the tigers to show up, but okay, here come the tigers. So honestly, I think I could just throw like a ray fire <laughs> and it's just gonna walk into it. Like, bro, what are you even looking at? I can't lie. The start of this boss fight is just so boring. It only really gets fun when the elephants show up. Oh, here we go. Where is the big boy? All right, let's go ahead and teach him a lesson real quick. All right, let's just shoot him a few times with the Helion Salvo. This thing should actually destroy him. So let's just keep shooting. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's his armor off. So it probably won't take too many more shots, to be honest with you. Oh, okay, there we go. So that elephant's dead. It's not over quite yet. We still have one more elephant to go. So here we go. Literally like the exact same. <laughs> We're just gonna keep shooting with the Helion Salvo until he dies. Very challenging. I think the only difference is he's a bit more aggressive. But I mean, it's not even a problem. I mean, look, his armor's already gone. If anything, he's actually dying quicker than before. Oh, he, is he already dead? No, okay, I was gonna say. Oh, never mind, he is already dead. <laughs> well, I mean, there we go. Right, I guess that is the nine Easter egg complete. Really wasn't that bad, to be honest. Outside of just a few like annoying steps, this Easter egg really isn't that bad. And it kind of is a shame that they scrapped off the Chaos crew or like the Chaos story because the Chaos story and the maps, right, in Black Ops 4 is actually better than the Ether maps. I'm not even gonna lie. Like the Ether maps, bro, like they're okay. Or at least like two of them are okay. Like the rest of them are kind of poopy, but pretty much every single map in the Chaos story is good other than Voyage, in my opinion. So yeah, it kind of sucks that they stopped making maps for this, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Maybe they'll come back with Vanguard kind of reigniting the story, but yeah, that is gonna be nine. Definitely a moment in history for zombies where they tried something else and, you know, it didn't really work out for them, unfortunately. But other than that, let's just go ahead and move on to the next Easter egg for this video. Right then, boys. So, onto our final Black Ops 4 map, at least for this video, we have Tag the Toe. Now, do I really need to explain this? Probably not. This is, once again, another end to, like, the whole of the Aether storyline until Cold War comes back and, like, revives it. It is actually crazy now how many times they've tried to end the storyline and it has just not worked for them. My god, they even tried to end Chaos and <laughs> they brought it back in Vanguard, so actually lost for 
soul words, but yeah, I have not beat this Easter egg solo. I don't think ever. This might be my first time, boys. So the only thing with this Easter egg, right, is it is a little bit wacky and a little bit complicated, especially for my small little brain. So hopefully I can beat it. If I can't, I might actually cry, but let's make a move. Okay, let's open up here, head through here. Just want to try and open up as much of the map as possible. Uh, quickly grab the blue rock. Uh, just keep moving. We just keep going. Never back down to the wall. Okay, I actually think we managed to open up pretty much the entire map. We can get these two doors here. Oh my god, boys. We opened up so much. We were on it. Where's our cheeky little jump scare here? Oh my god, boys. That's actually terrifying. Truly one of the scariest moments when they throw up a PNG image. Also, actually good that we're finding uh, fire zombies since we are going to need them to get ourselves some dynamite. Okay, so while I'm at the back of the ship, actually, I'm going to try and look for the like zipline crank in the majiggy. But the thing is, I actually have no idea where it is. Like, it's so complicated to find on this map. It's so small and it's just like hidden. Like, who are you hiding it from, game? Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that on there. So there we go. We need to go find another one over here. Bro, that sun is actually blinding me, you know? Like, I don't remember it being that bright. I actually can't see. Okay, but here's the other one. This one's not as hard to find as that one over there. That one, I just have no idea where any of the spawns are. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this on here. So there we go. Then we'll also head in here and turn on the power and we'll grab this fuse box. I'm pretty sure something we do need to do is do at least two trials. Oh, we got fire zombie. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to make a start on that like as soon as possible. We're kind of zooming through this though, to be honest. So let me head up here. Let's go, Pablo. Can you like just hurry up, please? All right, he's deciding to have a little speech. So let me just go ahead and activate this so we can start doing some challenges. Then we'll get our zipline handle and then hopefully it brings it back down. I can give him the rock. Give him big man Dwayne. Also, another fire zombie. Oh, come on, don't miss. There we go. Hey, I, I did miss. I didn't get the part. That's actually criminal. Okay, give him the blue rock. So then we can start getting like pack punch and stuff like that. And then we'll give him the gearbox. And then that's pretty much all we need of him for now. Bro, Pablo, are you actually taking your time? There we go. It's like, bro, what is bro doing? Okay, but let's head up here. Honestly, I actually might need to pop a shopping free. Like, some of these doors are expensive, you know. So let's go. So let's open up here as well. Probably didn't need a shopping free, to be fair. That might be a little bit overkill. But what I can do while I'm up here is I can try and get the Samantha dolls. So the way I do that is I need to find punch cards around the map. So there's one there. And then I've just got to find the second one. But I actually have no idea where this is at. Or I actually cannot remember, like, where this last thing is. We got a fire zombie. Okay, so there we go. The final piece of the dynamite. All right, let me look up a guy. There's my main man glitch shirt. Oh, okay, here it is. Thank you, glitch. Actually, my go to guy for like watching Easter egg guides. I don't know why. It's just so clear. Just so good. Okay, all we gotta do now, just come down here and put the key cards in there. And that's gonna let us open up the vault. So now we just gotta do some like defending. I do have like no ammo though, which isn't good. So I just noticed. Alright, the perks I got from this perkaholic are actually so grim. They're some of the worst perks I think I've ever seen in my life. Okay, well, the vault is open, so we can pick up this music box. Maybe if the game will let me. Hello. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure all we've really gotta do is just do these challenges. And we can actually like start an Easter egg. We're making some decent time, you know, like it's only been 14 minutes, you know, I'm not no speedrun or anything like that. But for someone like me, not too bad. Also, my game is just lagging. My PC is dying. But like we've uh, <laughs> gone over this in previous videos, my PC, it it's on its last legs, you know. Okay, I want to try and get the Helion Salvo or the Wonder Wolf from this box. That is the Ballistic Knife. So far, I've literally had like nothing good. Like, bro, this VKM is one of the worst weapons I think I've ever seen. Oh, bro, we've got Helion Salvo. It's actually over. Okay, that's actually perfect though. Because I could just do the quick free Wonder Wolf Easter egg to get the Wonder Wolf. So I think I just need to shoot that down, pick it up. Also, I get 20 kills with the shield bash. Okay, not even a problem. Okay, so let's put the ice in there. And all we've got to do is just wait for this to like melt down and give us the key. So while I wait for that, yes, I'll go and make the dynamite. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go that flinger box thing right there. Okay, so is this done? Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's head back up to the facility. Uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and blow this up just for convenience, to be honest. Plus, and pick up this gear box right there. And then all I've got to do now is just come in here, open up a safe, just get a bunch of kills. So this actually works because I can use my shield bash to sort out the challenge. Plus, I can fill up the like thrill device. So it's actually too easy. All right, come on, zombies. Oh, wait, that's already done the thrill device. Okay, well, that actually didn't take as long as I thought. Plus, we've now just done all the shield bashes. So, so far, everything's actually going all right. Okay, let's pick this up. I think our last challenge is like the P challenge. Yeah, we got to pick up jars of P and then deliver them down. But first, I want to give him the thrill device. Then that'll give us a key. And then we can use the key here. And that should give us the wonder off. So, there we go. Uh, if the game will let me pick it up. Hello. There we go. So, we'll give him the gear box just so that when I do get back, it will, you know, it'll all be ready for us. Also, I think I just broke the P. So, I guess you can't fall off anything. Obviously, you can't run or anything like that either. So, we missed the old fashioned. Way. Okay, so let's empty our first P jar. I'm gonna try and save a dog as well, just so that we can try and complete all this round. Okay, well, never mind. I think it's gonna be six dogs that spawn them out. Okay, let's pick up a second one. Just gonna try and do this mid round. It's not a problem. Oh my god, I'm actually so dumb. I just realized I don't have PhD slider on. Okay, that actually kind of changes everything in a really bad way. I might need to let myself down and try and get it as one of my perks from Perkaholic because boys, the Helion Salvo without PhD slider is genuinely a death wish. That kind of sucks though. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't really want to waste one of my starter pipes. Okay, you know what? If I down, I down. You know, I'll just give myself another chance to get in PC slider but if I don't down then I mean I, I don't down you know like you can't really complain if I'm not down and so oh my god I also just forgot you have to put it at that water over there it can't just be any water it has to be extra like that all right well let me slowly wait my way over to here okay so there we go that's that challenge done now I can't remember which one is also good to do maybe
look really good. But yeah, let's go ahead and start off this challenge here. Kill 13 enemies with snowballs. Okay, that's like easy to be honest. So I guess let's just make a start on that. And we'll also try and get set up a little bit as well. Literally, as soon as we complete this challenge, like we're ready to start it. Okay, so there's that challenge done. Which one's next? Kill enemies using the lighthouse trap. Okay, I think that's actually the trap literally right next to us. So I'm just quickly grab the path of the dynamite. I think if I just activate this trap, oh my god, okay, this actually isn't good for us. Oh my god, you're back away, bro. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. Bro, I don't even know what I was doing. Nothing there <laughs> went my way. Right, you know what? It's fine. We move that. We pop my colleague. Still didn't get PSD slider back, which is kind of sad, but I'm not even gonna lie. We still got some actual cheeks perks. Alright, let's just see if we can get these 15 kills. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Yeah, bro, I just cut off too short. Oh my god. Alright, well, I guess I could just wait. Or I could take him over to the other trap. Okay, so there we go. That's that trap done. Or challenge, I mean. Otherwise, a trap. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the last one is we need to finish up these SOS messages. Yeah, okay. So one of them is just here. I'll probably do we're trying to save a zombie, to be honest with you. But let's just keep throwing snowballs. So I think that's one of them done. Yeah, pretty sure there's another one just here. So let's do that one. So one, two, three. Uh, is that one there that goes? There we go. Okay, so there's two of them. Okay, so here's our final one. So we go throw that there, that one there. And I think, is it just there? No, there's one more. And it's there. Okay, so there we go. So that's all three of the challenges complete. So that's all two of the challenges complete now. So now we can actually start the Easter egg 34 minutes into this. So let's pick this up. Now, what is our first ever? I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay, here we go. So we pick up these dials. Now we need to head over to where Jug is. Oh, well, like Jug used to be. So I need to come in here and I need to change these dials until I hear like a noise. Okay, there we go. So there's that one done. Okay, there's that one. Uh, oh my God, bro, who are you? Oh, don't end the round, please. Okay, thank God. Uh, let me go ahead and witness howl this guy so he does not get in my way. My dog is literally barking, bro. Like, do you mind, dog? Okay, so a little bit of explanation. I can't remember at what point I paused my recording. I'm really annoyed because basically, as you probably last heard, my dog was barking. You know, he was, she was yapping, you know? So of course I paused my recording while, you know, she finishes up. And of course I just forgot to unpause. So instead of me just restarting the entire recording, I'm going to try and catch you up to where we were. Basically, I did those dials. It told me I had to find three sacrificial items. I went ahead and did that. It then told me I had to find the seal of duality or whatever it was called. Uh, I went ahead and found that. No problems. Then we found a bunch of orbs around the map. Again, you know, found them pretty quick. Uh, and now we're here. Uh, we picked up two stones. So we've got one like 9,000 degrees or whatever. Rustman just carries it in his pocket. Uh, and then we're picking up one that's like negative 9,000 degrees. I'm actually like super annoyed, bro. I keep doing it all the time, bro. So that's like probably like seven minutes of footage that you guys could have gotten. All edited, which you'll probably never see the light of day off. So that's cool. Yeah, well done, Jake, in the comments for that one. But yeah, I'm actually really sorry about that. I genuinely just messed up like usual. But oh, bro, it's actually so annoying, bro. I swear, bro, I'm going to send my dogs to the Chinese, bro, in a minute because I'm just fed up with a bargain and recording. Yeah, so that actually really sucks. I'm actually so sorry. So you might have just seen there, picked up this fuse. And what I've got to do is I've got to take this fuse all the way over to the original Call of Dead door, which is just down here. So there we go. Obviously, that is not charged up or anything like that. So what I've got to do now is shoot these like pylon thingies outside the map. I'm just pretty sure it was that. Okay, there we go. So there should be another one just over there. So there we go. So what I've got to do now is I need to get kills. Uh, well, I thought it was just near these generators, but I guess not. Like what? Why have they turned off? Game, you actually have me flabbergasted right now. Okay, let me just try and kill two zombies near this. Okay, there we go. So maybe I'm just being a bit of a silly billy. So let me go ahead and get two more up here. I'm not even gonna lie. We are kind of taking a beating right now. Bro, it's gonna be so confusing watching this part of the video, honestly. Just this random jump from like, I don't even know what round I was on. I wasn't that high into the rounds. Just a random jump from that's like round 18, you know, like you do. Okay, so we need one more, but where is it? Oh, okay, apparently this is charged up. Oh, never mind. Okay, just so I didn't want to turn off. Oh, bro, what? Okay, I actually just got cut out. Uh, okay, game, please give me PhD slider. Bro, actually, in what world am I still yet to get PhD slider? This is crazy, bro. Okay, so we can open up this now. We can pick up this. I remember where I need to take this, though. I don't think I take it to Pablo. Okay, so I think we put the Agarfan device back down there. Okay, I think now we've got to do that orb thing again. Oh, I say it again, but you guys didn't see it because my fucking pause recording was paused. You know what? You know what? It's fine. So basically, this is what you guys missed the first time around, which I now have to redo again. Basically, there's like these orbs around the map, and we need to throw snowballs at them and shoot them, and then they'll return back to like below the ship area. And we need to do that like three times. So really wasn't too bad. Okay, let's head up here. Is there gonna be one in here? Uh, I don't see one. Okay, that's actually a big surprise to me. I actually thought there's gonna be one up there, but oh my god, uh, I literally can't use my helion salvo. Okay, where are these other orbs? Oh, here's one. Oh, bro, you little rat. Where are you going? Oh, there it is. Okay, uh, throw it, and we just need to shoot it. Okay, so there we go. That is out -y. So we've done two. So where is the last one gonna be? It doesn't help that there's fucking infinite zombies actually trying to rail me at every point in time. Oh, bro, are you- Oh, dude. Okay, I need to get PhD flopper here or slider here. Oh, it's actually kind of over. So come on, get- Oh, I can't even pop it. Okay, this isn't good. Oh, yeah, this is actually like really bad. Bro, I don't know why I've been completely forgetting the fact that I've got a specialist weapon. Oh, it wasn't done. So the last one actually hadn't even spawned into the map. Okay, well, I mean, that was a bit silly. Oh, the round ended. Okay, I can pop my percolic. Please give me- Yeah, she's like, oh my god, let's go. It's actually over, boys. It is so free from here. Well, I mean, it isn't, but we've got a very high chance now of living, which is quite nice. Oh my god, it's the last one as well. Uh, can I do a little trick shot, maybe? Oh my god, actually, what a god. Literally, getting PhD slider here is actually going to be the, the like,
didn't get it to be honest that's genuinely like how important it is okay so let's go ahead and shoot that go ahead and pick up the seal and again this is pretty much the same step as one that you guys missed out on but all i gotta do is just come over here place it down on this campfire throw one of the samantha doll things that we got earlier on on it okay is that gonna hit oh bro actually what a shot okay so there we go that's gonna give us a minute as well oh my god we gotta do this all step one more time as well after this but not, like not after this bit so, like specifically but okay so pick this up now the thing about the next step right is it's kind of like a lockdown so i need to try and get a max ammo like as soon as possible so let me try and get a max ammo first before i do this next step oh is it dog round okay that's actually perfect can't go wrong with a guaranteed max ammo i'm a little bit worried though because i don't have a single health revive left honestly i'm not even worried about it so there we go got full ammo let's just go for it boys let's just go for it so let's give our main man the agarfan device is that a cheeky little lockdown which can get a bit squeaky so i don't really know what to do i'm gonna definitely like make my way either down here just like gives me like an area to train up at might not be the best spot maybe down here is the best spot now i don't know if this is kill base or if it's just like time based thing okay it is just a time thing so you know what i'm just gonna run out with my shield out literally can't really be hit or die and we're just cruising okay so there we go actually it was super easy i don't even know why i was worrying about it but yeah if we just come up here now we can just pick up the seal of duality now what we've got to do is we need to go to all of the package locations and pack a bunch of seal and just get a bunch of kills so i make my way over here go ahead and like, insert that and now we just need to like do a soul box with it now what like we're actually coming up to like the end of the easter egg and very close now see i always get worried using those samantha music doll things because i remember back on like playstation if you used to use them it was just like crash your game bro ever since then i've had like ptsd of using them i'm pretty sure it's fixed now if it's not then uh, bro it left me speechless honestly okay so there we go there's one of them so where's the pack much off to next okay, it's all the way over there okay so let's put the seal in there and let's just get a bunch of more you know, let's just get a bunch more kills this definitely goes by a lot quicker on solo you know no hate to my fellow members at team detective but i remember doing this step with tyler and bro the zombies they never got killed near the pack that's all i'm gonna say you know okay well there's that one done as well that one went by really quick so the next one is right here we're gonna put that in so get a bunch of kills you more not too sure how many kills it actually needs it doesn't seem to be that many so i'm gonna pick that up and then we got one more location we need to take it to which is right here so go ahead and put that in there yeah we literally are like pretty much at the end there so this is where it's all about to go down i can't believe i like lost 30 minutes of footage still i know i'm gonna keep going on about it and i'm gonna sound like a little whiny bitch but bro, it actually is kind of heartbreaking you know you know when i when i forget to unpause my recording i talk the whole time you know like there was a full like 30 minutes of renzaru videos that you guys will just never see actually heartbreaking but there we go pick that up too fair like this video is probably already gonna be long enough <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's gonna be like three hours long Ooh, okay let's not die here so we need to go do the orb step again but it's a little bit different as we don't have to go around the entire map or anything like that we literally just need to throw snowballs at the thing in the room it just don't seem to move so put the seal down shoot that maybe it's gonna work hello uh yeah there we go so then so need to pick up some snowballs pick up some balls throw them at the yellow balls so uh game can you i, I missed and i literally i'm out of snowballs how has this happened okay let's actually hit this final one this time and shoot it and we'll pick it up and i'm pretty sure just need to put it down there throw another samantha doll at it so there we go and then if we interact with it we'll get like like a two minute break and it's time to the, like technically the boss fight it's not really a boss fight though but yeah we're on to the final step anyways okay there we go so go ahead and pick this up and now we gotta go all the way to golden pack a bunch so we're nearly there boys uh, i'm gonna go ahead and pop my shield gobble gun now hopefully the shield doesn't break like midway through this next step because if it does uh, it is gonna be kind of heartbreaking so i just gotta remember you know i've got myself my specialist on my helion salvo i've got these like samantha boxes let's just go for it let's just do it boys so let's place it in there now is this even a soul box i actually can't remember is that a fucking load of zombies oh, oh my god okay it is a soul box okay oh there we go it's already done so it's gonna turn the world into like the ultimate game of the floor is lava so i mean <laughs> here we go boys and now this is it so we are gonna take a little bit of damage here but don't worry i'm gonna get flung over it's all part of the plan and pretty much we just need to follow this like seal of duality around oh my god we are literally like on the verge of dying in the first 15 seconds how has this happened oh my god max ammo that's second big all right let's just keep following it you know let's not be afraid to use up some of my ammo all right oh my god uh bro it's making a quick one on me i need to get down here well in a fast one okay nice there's a max ammo oh bro when we get carpenters that's actually kind of big okay, you know what i'm gonna put my specialist here because this is a little bit of a squeaky spot basically we need to make sure we don't touch the lava here so there we go oh my god oh let's not mess these jumps up i literally have got the hops you know so you'd think i'm part of the nba all right let's go here make my way over here bro, it's actually kind of spooky you know but don't worry i got my priorities on. let me just get my 100 points real quick let's keep moving oh my god okay we are at 57 hp bro literally right one down that's all it takes to ruin this i've got to do this whole last bit for lawless <laughs> it's like this is scary okay so we need to get souls okay this is fine we can do this we will get ourselves a max ammo after this so here we go actually free where is this thing even going all right let's just keep moving not even scared oh my god okay uh these really like tight areas is kind of the worst oh my god, i don't want my shield to break though i think i'm probably gonna get another carpenter soon so it's not like that bad oh my god but still okay here we go so we've got to fill this up with souls and then we'll get a carpenter and a max ammo so it's actually all right you can work with us okay so there we go oh my god boys okay i think we're going on to the final area now and this is where it kind of like it's kind of like all or nothing going into this last area right like it, it's gonna be a bit tough it's honestly gonna be a bit tough i'm actually kind of scared i'm gonna try and save up as much ammo as i can you literally kind of need it for this next part okay so i'm gonna start making a move up this zip line but i need to try and time it so that 
that. I don't get there too quick, so let's go. Yeah, stay in the circle a bit. I'm gonna be out of it for a second, but hopefully it speeds up and we should be okay. Oh my god. <laughs> it is so scary, bro. Oh my god, we are actually so low. Okay, let's just keep going. Everything's all right. See, once I get down here, I can kind of like train up a little bit until it's in its final area. Okay, probably not actually. Okay, well, here we go. Let's gather up a bunch of souls. Okay, 100 HP gaming. I'm not really a big fan of this. Okay, we're moving. We're moving. Okay, you can see it's starting to slowly make the circle smaller, which is kind of scary. This is kind of what I mean by, bro, it's at this point, you've got to use everything you have. Okay, I'm going to pop up my specialist so I don't die. Oh my god, come on, game. We're actually so close. We are actually so close, please. Oh, please, we are actually so close, bro. Oh, are we nearly done? I can hear the big loud noise. Oh my god, please, please, specialist, just last a second longer, please. Oh my god. Oh, we actually fucking did it. Holy shit. I am actually in shock. Dude, I thought it was over at the end, bro. My life flashed from my eyes. Oh my god, okay. Let's go. Okay, we only have like one thing we have to do left. Then it's cutscene time. I don't think there's any zombies or anything. So, come on, game. Just let me pick up the seal. Bro, I'm telling you, if we didn't have PhD slider, it was done. There is no other weapon that you can do that with, I swear, bro. Oh my god, I'm so happy we managed to do it. Are these guys gonna talk on for like ages? Like, what are you guys doing? Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so all we gotta do now, I believe, is take it to the hermit. So obviously, this is where it gets a little bit spooky. I don't even know where this thing is gonna take me. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Imagine if it just took me straight into lava. Okay, so, here you are, hermit. Here he is. Here you go, king. You deserve that seal of duality. Oh, bro, this actually was a mistake. It's gonna literally drop me into lava. Um, okay, I need to be quick. Uh, go. Okay, we're good. Uh, I can't remember where I need to go. Is it somewhere over here? Oh, there we go. <laughs> bro, bro, it's actually just Jesus. He's over the portal to heaven. See you later, bro. Assuming a few Helion Salvo shots, he ain't surviving that. I don't care how godly he is. All right, in a bit, Pablo. Bro, it just disappears. Okay, but basically, that's far lying on down to the ship over here. So I'm gonna go meet it all the way over here. It honestly could be slightly quicker though. All right, so that's gonna land. And all we gotta do is claim the Agarfan device. And then at any second of game, whenever you want. Okay, there we go. And that plays the cutscene. And that is the tag to tone Easter egg complete. So yeah, this is technically meant to be like the end of premise. Was meant to be the end of the whole Aoife storyline uh, until Treyarch just said like, nah, bro, we're bringing it back with the Dark Aoife, which honestly was the biggest mistake because the Dark Aoife is just like, just not it. <laughs> honestly, it's the most boring little like storyline ever. But yeah, there is one thing that will go down in Zombies history when it comes to this cutscene in particular. Now you might be wondering like, what is that? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's the amazing scene of Samantha and Eddie walking off, you know, in this like black, like, I don't know, room to our light. And then you have JC backfire crying bro, with the most infamous lines. Is this thing playable? Honestly, truly a, a gem that came out of this map. Like one of the better things. No, no hate to my boy JC Backfire though. We, we love that guy. So yeah, I mean, I won't lie. For the ending of Zombies, couldn't even have done an actual animated cutscene. It had to be in this like little crappy cartoon comic style. But yeah, we're not gonna bother watching this. So yeah, we've tagged the totem and done. Let's go ahead and move on to the next Easter egg for this video. Better boys, so on to Cold War. Oh, well, I mean, I guess our next Easter egg in this video. We've got the machine. Now, the reason I wanted to include this is because as I said during Tag the Totem, for some reason, they decided that they wanted to reboot the Aoife storyline with the Dark Aoife. So that's the reason it's on this video, because this is the map that technically rebooted Aoife for like the third time. So when it comes to this Easter egg, this Easter egg is actually like super easy. It's actually one of the most easy Easter eggs in the entire franchise. Like I made a video where I beat Easter eggs from level one to level 100. And I think this was level 10, just behind the Reese. So yeah, this Easter egg is incredibly easy. So yeah, let's just sit up here for now and just get ourselves a bunch of points because I'm thinking like 10, maybe 12,000 should be enough. Plus we need to get high enough so that a Megaton will spawn since we're going to need him for one of the upgrades for the D machine or die machine or die wonder weapon. Yeah, that double points is actually quite nice. And what is nice about the rampage inducer on is that if you get a double point at the end of the round, it's not like a massive waste because the zombies just spawn in instantly. There's no like delay, which is really nice. Me praising Cold War for once? Bro, unheard of. Okay, we got 16,000 points. We're good. <laughs> I'm going to go turn off the rampage inducer. So turn that off and let's start making a move. I'm also going to buy quick revive while I'm here because quick revive in Cold War is actually broken. If you don't know how, it's basically infinite self revives. So yeah, it's always good to have. So let me come in here to turn on the power and we'll go ahead and we'll activate both of these terminals so we can access the anomaly so there we go and all we've got to do is wait for this to appear so there we go honestly the longest part about this easter egg is upgrading all of the die upgrades if i can speed run those shouldn't be too bad go ahead and shoot this to get the fuse and you know what i'm also going to go in here i'm going to buy myself stamina as well stamina is also really op in this game yeah, let me just pick up this machine part and then let's build the pack punch so there we go so i suppose what i'll also do is do the coffin dance side easter egg so then i can get myself a free jug plus if i get super lucky you could actually get a die wonder weapon from it, the DIE. You could also get a ray gun, or I could get something absolutely shite, but about to find out. Thought it was worth doing. I wish there was a way to skip this side Easter egg, like the whole like just watching them. Because after like the 50th time watching this side Easter egg, it just gets boring. Like, I just want the reward. Just give me the reward. I also get some free jug as 
well from it. So that's why I bought two of my perks before it because that way these perks are actually cheaper. Right, oh my god, you said you got the M82. It's actually shocking. All right, well, that is kind of a shame. What I'm also quickly going to do is I'm going to bring a dog just down here since that's going to suck up the dog essence in the least weird way of <laughs> what in that. But then if I just end the round, that's pretty much one of the upgrades just already. So, you know, that's kind of nice. Oh, bro, we also got a Megaton. Okay, that's actually really good because you can have him shoot this tree and that'll be cr that'll be progress towards another one of the upgrades. But come on, shoot me. There we go. So shoot the tree. Perfect. We're actually speeding through this. We're like actually minimaxing what we can <laughs> what we can do. Okay, so there we go. Let's grab ourselves the controller or the key card so that we can get ourselves the controller. All right, so let's pick up our controller. All right, this obviously isn't going to fill it up, but we might as well start filling up souls towards getting ourselves the free DIE. Bro, how did that zombie just walk through there? That's actually crazy, bro. Bro, what? Yo, this guy is actually immune, bro. Yo, can you just go, bro? Oh my god. He was not fucking around, you know? Right, let's just build up all of these zombies. And is this done charging down? Yeah, okay, nice. So this should be enough zombies to fill it up. If it's not, I'm going to be really surprised. Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. So let's discharge that. Then we'll trade out this poopy little M82, whatever it was. The DIE. And we can actually start working on the upgrades. So if I shoot that and then suck up that, we can pick up the canister. And then we can also pick up the flask. So we'll place the flask down there. We can put the canister in there. And that's pretty much two upgrades just like got. So I guess what I'll do next is I'll start working towards getting the ether scope. Since we do need to do that so we can actually like finish up two of the other upgrades. So let's head into the dark ether real quick. Also, what I can do is I can also come over here by myself like PhD flopper. 7,000 points, I can buy myself one perk. Actually crazy. But yeah, we can start picking up all the ether scope parts. So there's one. Okay, let's pick up the part here. There's actually so many dogs, bro. I'm just going to ignore them for now. But yeah, if we head down here, I can pick up this part. Oh my god, there's actually so many dogs. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Yo, stay, yo, stay away, boys. Holy shit. Okay, let's go ahead and build the ether scope. So there we go. Okay, so now that we have the ether scope, we can go ahead, go back into the dark ether. So let's go ahead and pick up this diary. Then we got to give it to like three ghosts. So should be one somewhere around here. There is nowhere to be seen though. Why is that? I need to give it this guy down here first. Yeah, here we go. Now I can give it to this guy. I'm pretty sure the last guy is just down here. So there we go. Well, oh, there's another ghost here. I actually didn't realize that. Oh no, I did, but I actually forgot. They basically go into like why there was just a random DIE just sitting there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look. Oh, we can also pick up the flask. Then what I can do is I can place that canister down here. And that'll give us the Nova 5 variant. And then come over here, put in the password. And I'll come down here and I'll shoot. I guess that one there. Yeah, there we go. And I can also put the flask down here and get ourselves the ice uh, variant. And then we can zap that, I think. So there we go. You know what? I actually think we can get the last two upgrades. So the next one we'll do is the lightning one. So all I have to do is go to three like orange rocks around the map. So here's one of them. And we just need to take it to a box down in the whole like bunker area. And then there's that upgrade done as well. So let's go ahead and shoot that. I don't know where I'm going. Here it is. For some reason I thought this one had spawned, but I guess not. Okay, so shoot that box there. And hopefully we can get the last one. All we have to do is just suck up the crystal. We don't actually have to like sit down in the dark ether. So we just need to be real quick here. Should be just here. Uh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Just in time as well. So just go ahead and shoot that. Oh my god, bro. Of course it glitches. So sometimes when you shoot the box, it just doesn't work. So thank you, game. All that means now is I've got to redo that last crystal, which is just annoying. You know what? It's fine. We can at least go ahead and get our fire variant. Since all we have to do is just go into the dark ether real quick. Jump down here. Then put that fuse we got all the way at the beginning of the video here on this box. And that's going to cut it open. Then when we return back, it's going to open up the box on this truck. So that gives the fire variant. So there we go. So we'll quickly just come down here, shoot that one there. And all we got to do is get that electric one now, which is really annoying because we could have had it done this round. Okay, so let's just end the round. Should give us back that portal down here. Come on, game. Are you going to return back the portal or not? Like, what's going on? Oh, here we go. Okay, so pick up this one again. So let's go ahead and slap that. And there we go. Okay, so all I got to do is just zap that. And then we're finally on to the next step. So we've got all the upgrades in 25 minutes as well. That's actually not too bad. All right, come on, game. Are you going to take me out the dark ether any time now? All right, come on, game. All right, we're, we're keeping me in the dark ether a little bit too long, you know? Okay, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and enter into this portal right here. And all we've got to do is just listen to these guys for a bit. Right, come on, boys. Any time today. There we go. So there we go. Go ahead and pick up this dark ether wrench. Now we need to return all the way back to spawn. So we just need to use the wrench on this tank a few times until he reveals a zombie. Like, what is good, my guy? I'm going to throw a Semtex item and that should explode the tank. I'm not mistaken. No? Got another one? Maybe that's the trick. I don't know. Uh, there we go. So let's go ahead and pick up this decontamination agent thingy. So let's go ahead and take this thing all the way down to where those two guys are speaking. So there. And I'm pretty sure what we've got to do now is we need to get Megaton and then we need to split him in half and put him into that little like chamber thing there. So hopefully it doesn't take too long for a Megaton to spawn. I haven't had one in a while. Oh, okay. We got a Megaton. Okay, perfect. So all we've got to do is get him underneath this little test chamber thing. Oh my God. Uh, okay, this isn't good. Let's do now. That's actually perfect. Okay, one of them's been sucked up. Okay, that's actually really good. So let's just get this last guy. So come on, make your way over here, Megaton Bomber. Oh, he's always the picky one. Oh, come on, bro. Just go in. Uh, what are 
are you doing? Oh, he's just dodging it. Oh, he's actually dodging and weaving. Okay, go. Come on. There we go. Nice. All right, so then come in here and press this. It's going to merge them together. And I won't lie, we're pretty much at the boss fight. It's only been 31 minutes. This might be the fastest I've ever done this. And to be honest, I might just go straight for the boss fight. All right, so what I'm going to do is I might as well pack my CM16 just once as I've got the points. Oh my God. Okay, this actually isn't good. I just need to quickly come over here and get myself some more armor. Yeah, honestly, I'm just going to go for it. So all I got to do is come down here, go into this dark Eva bottle. And then I'm pretty sure if I just come over here and interact with this, all the zombies should leave me alone. I don't think they can attack you when you're because they're ghosts. So as soon as he's done though, all we got to do is just pick up that picture and then it's boss fight time. Or I mean, as close to a boss fight as you can get. So like, like bro, actually, come on. So there we go. Every single zombie is actually after me. <laughs> okay, this is not good. Okay, so just quickly pick up the picture and I'm out. Okay, so all we've got to do is just defend all of, and that's it. All right, come on, all of. I've put this speech actually like a million times. All right, he's off. Because as I said, all we got to do is defend him. He can't die or anything like that. So it's literally just a case of there's zombies around him. But he seems to be pretty quick. Like, probably it's already like halfway done with that. The only thing is, I'm pretty sure once he gets hit, he gets like stunned for a bit. So just want to make sure he doesn't get stunned or anything. We are taking a bit of a beat in here. The electric variant of this IE is actually so strong. I'm running pretty low on ammo, bro. How am I out of ammo? Uh, okay, I didn't really think about that. Okay, well, there's no more zombies. So all I should be able just to finish up here. I don't know what he's doing, bro. He's actually working on some calculations. Like, what are you even tapping at? But yeah, he's going to come over here now. And now this one's actually kind of difficult. I'm not going to lie. So I might have to pop my ring of fire. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Try and just keep him off him as like much as I can. Oh, yeah, bro. Look how quick this one's gone by. Oh, Olaf, don't get distracted now, bro. Just go. Just keep going. Come on. You're, oh, bro. You're actually almost done. Oh, this, oh, my God. Okay, this is not good. Okay, he's done that one. Let's go, Olaf. Big man. Uh, I'm going to head over here real quick and get myself a level two pack a punch. He's a mid game. You know how it is. Get my ammo back. Okay, so he's doing the last one. Wonder if I just stay up here. Nah, okay, he's still getting attacked. All right. All right, just defend him, defend him. Come on, Olaf. You got it, bro. Who are you, who are you even defending yourself from? There's no one here, Olaf. Come on, speed up a little bit. Okay, there we go. So all we got to do now is just make a quick run all the way to the helicopter so we can exfil. And yeah, that's literally the Easter egg over. Really didn't take long at all. Compared to our, compared to like literally the last Easter egg we just did, which was tag. Some baby mode stuff. That's pretty much like every single Cold War Easter egg, to be fair. There's actually like a shocking amount of people whose first Easter egg they ever beat is this one. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, literally all I got to do is just interact with this helicopter as soon as he lands. Like, hello, any second. There we go. Oh, I did that in like 41 minutes. That's like the quickest I've ever done that. But yeah, I mean, that is the first Easter egg back to the Aoife coming back, I suppose. So I feel like that had to be included. Pretty much any time that it either end or bring back the Aoife, like I've got to include it. So yeah, that's the machine done. Let's just waste no more time and let's just go straight on to our next Easter egg for this video. Right then, boys. So our next Easter egg, I debated putting this one in or not, but I might as well just include it. So the next Easter egg I want to do is the Outbreak Easter egg. Now, you might be like, what is so special about this? And to be honest, there's not really a whole lot that's special. It's mainly that they decided to experiment with this mode. And although I'm not personally a fan, it's almost like the prototype for what we have now in like Modern Warfare 3 zombies. So I don't know. I feel like if I'm talking about the history of Easter eggs, I should do the Easter egg where they try to like do an entirely different zombies experience. So yeah, I mean, we're doing the Outbreak one. This Easter egg is pretty difficult. So I won't lie. I am a little bit worried on how this is all going to go, but I mean, we'll see. Okay, so something I really need to do is I need to make sure that at least for the first three or so like rounds or worlds, I suppose it's called in this, I need to try and gather up just as many points as possible because the boss fight for this is just not easy. But I've got some tactics in place, so hopefully we'll be all right. I mean, we'll just see. Basically, like at a minimum, I need to get my gun to pack a bunch level three. And if I can, I want to try and get to like the orange rarity because then we'll just absolutely melt the boss. Okay, so here's this whole like objective done. Well, the real question is, when do I get my points? Because surely you don't get 5,000 points to complete in the first objective. Surely not. All right, you know what? I'm going to do this. I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not, to be honest. If it's not worth it, I'm just not even going to bother doing any of the side stuff. I'll just do the main quest and just get my perks and stuff like that. To be honest, I'm really just hoping that throughout the world, I don't just get like the world's longest objectives because sometimes you can get those like, objectives that will take like 10 minutes to complete. I swear down. All right, what do we got? Jug? Okay, that's actually not too bad. Was it worth it though? Honestly, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure this one over here is your free perk, so I might as well go do that one to be fair. I'm not under like any kind of like time constraint or anything like that, so we can take our time and like actually try and do some stuff. Okay, so let's listen to this guy's message. He's basically going to tell us there's a bunch of enemies and you to go kill them. So right, here we go. Just take him out real quick. There we go. I actually just destroyed him. Oh, bro, it was not worth it for me. Okay, that was just it was not worth it. That's literally like one of the most pointless things I could have gotten. Like genuinely. Because all that's going to do is just make it so like the next few perks I buy are just going to be more expensive. All right, well, either way, let's go ahead and activate the anomaly. All right, and I'm going to go ahead, crunch my gun, also get myself stamina up. That's pretty much all I can do. So go ahead and warp. Oh, I guess I can get myself max armor as well. All right, well, here we are. World two. Oh, we do have one of these crystal things. Okay, that's actually perfect. So basically what that does is it'll upgrade my weapon from purple rarity all the way to orange rarity for free. So I won't actually have to like spend any uh, salvage or anything like that. So that's actually really good. Okay, so shoot that. And that's going to spawn a bunch of these around the map now. So all we've got to do is find them, shoot them. And that's pretty much it. There is going to be a load of zombies. So you need to be kind of careful about that. Okay, is there any outside? We are on a time limit here. So I do need to be kind of quick. Uh, I don't see any outside. They must all be inside. If so, like where are they? Oh, here's one. Oh, that's it.
better than some of them. So let's go ahead and grab that. I wish I had like a bike or something like that, or like a car. That'd make this so much more bearable. Yeah, well, I mean, we're not like super far away anyway. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So there we go. There's one of them. Oh, there is a bike over here. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's grab this. Put my bike in and we're out. -y. So all I got to do is just put it in here. And I'm pretty sure that's literally it. Yeah, very nice, boys. I'm not really getting that many points, though. I don't know why. I thought we'd get more. Uh, again, we've got another one of these like little boss things up there. So I might as well go up there and get myself another free perk. Because the more I don't have to spend on perks, the more I can go ahead and spend on like packaging my weapons. Plus, they're like super easy. So there's no real reason not to do one. But I need anomalies right there as well. So it actually works out. All right, what are you going to say? Okay, who's the boss? Oh, it's just a Megaton, I think. Right, well, bro is literally about to get collab. Like, see you later. Uh, we got Speed Collar. Okay, Speed Collar is actually not too bad. I I'll take it. All right, well, let's just open up the anomaly. Uh, I'm not really going to bother with perks. I think I'm just going to wait until I get those for free and I'm going to upgrade my weapon to level two. So let's go ahead and warp. And in this next world, we can actually start an Easter egg. So I do need to look up a guy because I actually don't remember. <laughs> okay, so what we got to do is we need to go find the radio, which is located like somewhere around here. So we'll go do that in a minute. But I guess, you know what? We'll do this one. I can't remember what you get for doing it, but we're going to do it. So all we got to do is just destroy these orbs. Sorry, these orbs are so annoying to take out, by the way. Okay, we took out one. Where even is the others? Okay, there's one over here. Okay, there's two. These things are actual bullet sponges as well, by the way. Okay, the last one's all the way down there. Okay, so we get it? Nice. We also got 3,000 points for that. Okay, that actually was kind of worth it. And we got bronze chalice. Oh my god, bro, what? You get lost, please. So I'm pretty sure what that does is it upgrades your gun. So I mean, I guess we'll do this bulldog. We found the silver one. That would have been really good, but we didn't. So I mean, it's whatever. Also, we got a holdout of that challenge. Okay, this is like the most tolerable outbreak game I've ever played because it's actually giving me decent challenges and not just like the most boring ones in the world. If you're wondering what I like consider really boring for outbreak, it's that one which you've got to like follow the rover all around the map, like three different locations. It's actually the worst challenge I think I've ever seen. It's so boring. That was a monkey. Yo, what's good, my guy? Okay, so this guide is saying it's somewhere in this area. That's kind of the issue with Outbreak and, like, the Easter egg is that, obviously, as they added in more maps, all, like, the videos that the big YouTubers made, like, Mr. Ruffles and stuff like that, it all just became outdated. Because you can only get gameplay and, like, describe the maps that are out. You can't really, like, predict the future, you know? So Outbreak really wasn't that good for content either or, like, guides. So I'm out here trying to figure out where this radio is from a goddamn picture. And I have no idea. Like, hello? Where is it at? Oh, it's here. Okay. We need to put on subtitles as well. Okay, I think we need to kill all these zombies first. Come on, boys. Back away. I'm a little bit busy. Oh, here we go. Active static noise is five. Alright, so I've got to remember that. And I need to go find three more radios around the area and then tune them to number five. So where is this one? In here? In the, in the toilets? Uh, you know what? I've got a feeling it's not in the toilets. It's somewhere in this area. Oh, it's here. Okay, so I kill a bunch of zombies again real quick. Okay, so that's active static noise six. So we just got to change it all the way to five. So there we go. So we need to find the other two. So where is it? Oh, here we go. Oh, bro, that's actually such a shame. We we're so close to being able to get that just without having to do this whole feedback thingy majig. There you go. Okay, active static four, active static noise five. So there we go. So we need to find one more. It's a radio somewhere around here, apparently. Oh, no, it's here. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, bro. They actually teased me with that. But yeah, we just got to do this one more time. And that step is complete. Okay, so there we go. So let's listen to the full signal. Gonna give me a bunch of stuff. And now we need to go do the challenge. So we can, like, open up the anomaly and stuff like that. So very cool, easy stuff. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this hold up real quick. All right, we've got to survive three minutes. This one is a little bit boring, actually, to be fair. All right, I'm just gonna sit in this corner for three minutes. Well, I mean, two minutes now. And I'm literally just gonna chill out. All right, 30 more seconds. See, whenever I get these challenges, during these videos, I literally just watch YouTube on the side while like, I wait for it to go by because there's nothing to say, bro. It's actually like the most boring challenges ever. This one I don't like Outbreak. I'm not really a big fan. No, a lot of people, well, I mean, like some people, all right, well, there's like, there's a select minority of people, okay, that do like Outbreak, and I'm personally not one of them. But, yeah, I mean, either way, now that that's done, let's go ahead and head to the next area. So, we get some points for doing this, you know, 500 every single one you pay, like collect. It's actually kind of mad, you know. Maybe that's the way to get points in Outbreak, but go ahead and reveal the beacon, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pack punch my M16, and we'll respond to Max. Now, once she's done talking, we'll go to the next world. Oh, is she done? Oh, I mean, okay, let's just walk. So, where are we off to? Going to Alpine. All right, you know, one of the bigger maps, which is a little bit of a shame because I might need to go to like four different locations just so I can find a monkey that might drop some film reels. Does that make sense? Personally, no. Uh, why is a monkey got some film reels? Like, your guess is literally as good as mine. But yeah, where are we at? Okay, we'll head over to this one first. There could be some in here. Oh, no, bro. Please tell me that's not the one I think it is. I don't think it is. Hopefully, we'll see. Yeah, let me head in here and we're looking for a monkey. Where's he at? It okay, definitely says it's in this kind of area. I don't see it. Uh, you know what? I guess we'll do this as well. Is there much reason for it? I don't know. Just do it because it's funny, in it? All right, there we go. Bro, we actually got silver chalice right after I upgraded my weapon. Are you serious? Actually rude, but it's honestly whatever, I guess. Okay, but back to this monkey. Like, actually, where is he at? The image just, like, needs to hear on the map, so I'm genuinely lost. Like, where is bro at? Where is this monkey, like, chilling? I, I, I don't know. Honestly, left flabbergasted. I mean, I guess what I can do is I can go check out the other locations. So let me just take this jump pad. We'll head right over here. Honestly, if it could just be chilling, like, honestly, if it could just be chilling right here, that'd be, like, the ideal situation, to be honest. I mean, who knows? So, apparently, it's in that house. So, where is it at? Okay, there it is. And um, it wasn't that one. Okay. Kind of sucks. But it could be in this house over here, pretty much where the
got a flamethrower and an RPG and pretty much nothing useful. That is actually so sick. Thank you, game. Thank you for absolutely just wasting my time. See, like side quests like that, bro, like what is actually the point of them? They are so pointless. The only ones that I've found to be kind of like useful is those ones with the orbs and the boss one. So you can get yourself a free perk. The only two that I've found to be like actually useful. Yeah, so I think the monkey is in here. Yeah, there it is. It just gave us a monkey bomb. So it didn't even give us what we need. I guess while we're here, we might as well just do the main quest. This isn't the one that I thought it was. This one's actually not like super bad. So yeah, you know, we'll just do this real quick just so you know we can get it out of the way. Because it might lead us towards our next one. Oh, bro, the grapple gun. One of the only things I actually like in Albury. Yeah, let's just make our way down this hill. It's actually perfect because where it's telling me to go is literally where the next location I need to go to is. See, it all works out in the end. But it's all the way down here. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to have to like dry off the edge here, bro. This is goofy. All right, but there we go. All right, so I guess while I wait, where is this monkey at? That's what I want to find. Uh, oh my God, I want to quickly try and find the monkey. Yeah, I looked it up because I did actually want to get it. Apparently, it's just here in the corner. Oh, and we got the film reels. Okay, let's go. Oh, the slide, sorry. Okay, so now we just need to go do the projector. And that is, again, I, I shit you not, literally right where we need to go. It's honestly too easy. I won't lie, though. This challenge is super shit for this map. Like, the amount of trees I've hit now is actually unreal. Oh, don't don't be disabling the car like that. Come on, was there actually a need? All right, come on, game. There is no need to be stopping my vehicle like that. I'm just a man on the move. Okay, so hop off, let's grab these and deposit them in here. So there's one of them. And then all we've got to do is just do this last one here. And then there we go. So that is the challenge complete. I said the challenge is the objective. And apparently the projector is somewhere in here. So my guess it would be like somewhere up here. Yeah, here it is. So all we got to do is just flip through a few of these slides. And then we're actually onto like the final parts of this Easter egg in wave five. So we do need to get ourselves a bit set up. But to be fair, we've got 30k to upgrade our gun. And then we've got like 20k to spend on points. So it actually works pretty well. All right, come on, Samantha. I actually do not care. Like bro is talking to me and I just want to move on. Okay, I think that's it. So I also quickly want to go ahead and do this so I can get myself another free perk since it saves me having to spend money on it. Or is it worth me buying a bunch of perks first and then going over there? I think it would make more sense for me to do that. So let me activate this anomaly real quick. And then we'll pack bunch our gun and then grab ourselves some perks. So obviously quick revive. We'll get dead shot. Uh, I'll also get probably PhD. Oh my God. And I can get uh, elemental pop as well. We pretty much nearly have like all of the perks. So is it even worth me going up for this? Probably not. But am I going to do it anyways? Oh, fucking not anymore because it's just to save my vehicle. You know what? I'm just not going to waste my time. Just kidding. We got the second one. I'm going up. Hit that tempest with the bamboozle, right? He thought I was leaving and I gave him the false hope. Okay, so let's talk to that. All right, so let's. All right, so the boss is over there. All right, these are troublemakers. It's time to go. All right, there we go. All right, what do we get? We got a uh, tombstone. So actually, not too bad. All right, there we go. So let's go to the next area. It should take us to Duga. It, oh, wait, is Ruka right? Okay, it is Ruka. Okay. For a second, I was like, bro, where did I go wrong? Okay, honestly, I'm pretty much ready just to go straight into this like whole boss fight area. So let's just go for it. Oh my god, please. Let's, oh, bro, I hate Tempest, man. They're actually the worst. Little rats. Oh, come on, let me go. Surely they ain't going to do that and then destroy my bike. Oh, game, you did not just do that to me. Oh, that is disrespectful. All right, well, let me just go. That cranzy soldier. Mate, see you later. I'm not even bothering with you. You be feeling a bit quirky, though. I don't really want to go down just yet. Well, what is that? It was a fucking just a purple gun just chilling there. The purple M1911. And disrespectful, but all right, now that we're here, I think we just need to go find Ravenov straight away. So, which silo is he in? I can't actually remember. I think it might be A. I'd take an honest to God guess. Yeah, here we go. So, can I skip this? No, I can't. All right, you know what? I'm honestly going to take this opportunity to go to the toilet. I'm just going to let it play. I'm sure I won't die. I can only go. This this kind of literally had time to go to the toilet, get a monster, have a full conversation, and get back before the cutscene was even over. That is actually wild, but perfect timing, I suppose. So, what we've got to do is we need to get ourselves three key cards. So, I guess we'll do this one first, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we just need to come over here, interact with this. And then, basically, we need to get ourselves a bunch of these like crystals that drop. It gets like 20. So, let's work on that real quick. Hopefully, without dying would be ideal, to be honest. Also, a few in here, I believe, maybe. Oh, yeah, okay, there's one over there. Oh, there's a few more here. Okay, is that all of them? Because I couldn't find any more. I mean, I suppose we can quickly go and check. Well, actually, to be fair, I think they've respawned. Yeah, I mean, unless these aren't like respawns and I just missed them. That might be enough. We're about to find out. Four, three, two. Okay, we need to find two more. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Literally, there's like one in here. And I'm pretty sure I saw a few up here. So there we go. So let me go ahead and deposit those real quick. Now, all we got to do is maybe just finish up all these zombies first. I'm desperate need of some armor. Oh my God. Uh, That's kind of an L. So I pretty much just lost all of my perks. Okay. Uh, Not going to plan. Game, thank you for fucking me over incredibly here. Because yes, it is really fair that you put armor halfway across this entire facility and spawn in about every single mini boss in the entire world. Thank you, game. Okay, well, either way, we need to take this into another one of these kind of silos. I honestly cannot remember which one it is for the life of me. Also, we have the lovely pleasure of running through here, which I can't help. I need to do another one of the launch keys. I've now got to fight off about a million mimics. So, again, thank you, game. Uh, real cool stuff. Outbreak is honestly one of my favorite game modes to ever come out of Call of Duty. Okay, here's where I need to be. So, if I just make my way down these stairs and then I use the field upgrade, okay, it's going to suck me into the jelly 
jellyfish. I'm going in. Basically, while I'm inside it, I just need to grab this key here. So I get it. Okay, I got the key. I remember picking it up, but we got it. Also, I can go ahead and buy back my perks. I'm just gonna pop. Bro, I, are you actually serious right now? Yeah, I popped it so I can have a second so I can actually buy my shit back and it spawns me all the way at the bottom. And it's it's wasted, bro. What was the point of that? Cold War zombies, ladies and gentlemen. At its finest. All right, do you actually mind? How is my gun so weak? It's literally the max it can get. Sh absolutely shocking. Like, genuinely mind boggling. All right, I should hopefully get like two seconds actually by myself. So let me just buy like all the important perks back. Let's go ahead and do this mimic one next just because why not? Pretty much to start it off, you need to take out about a million mimics. Why? Just because why not? Do they contribute to the key card? Not at all. Just there for the shits and giggles, to be honest. So I'm going to pull out this flame for it and hopefully do some big damage. But apparently mimics are tanky as shit down here because every mimic I've encountered is just refusing to die. Okay, so there we go. Oh, there's one more. Of course there is. Oh, there's another two. Oh my god, bro. Like, how many? And there's another. Okay, of course there's another. And you know what, game? Just throw a Megaton at me while you're at it. Enough of that. We need to come down here. Pick up the key card. It's going to spawn this red one. We just need to quickly collapse. So there we go. And then he's going to drop second key. So there we go. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is our final one. Uh, all I've got to do, make my way down here into this little area. I can pick up this like little containment trap. And then pretty much, first of all, I want to kill these mimics because they're actually just going to mess me over. Bro, like, what? Bro, game. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Okay, the monkey's there. Just throw this on the floor. Let's move away. Hopefully the monkey will jump on the trap. Oh, monkey. Just do me like one solid, bro. Going for it? What is going on? Where even is it? It gave it back to me. Okay, you know what? Actually, game, you, you just do you. Okay, there we go. Throwing it down. Is the monkey going to go for it? It just keeps giving me it back. All right, you know what? Toss it up there. Sure, why not? Maybe that'll get him. Okay, there we go. So it's actually just taking the monkey. Am I even able to grab that? How do I grab that game? Okay, there we go. And I lost my grappling hooks. Let's go. You know what? Whatever. So apparently somewhere it tells you what all the meant to the launch code in. I have no idea where it says that. It's just from like what one comment told me. If I had to take an honest guess, my guess would be like somewhere over here. Okay, it actually does tell you. I looked up how to do it. So pretty much, it's like these green lights. So that one's the third one. And pretty much that just tells you what order you need to press them in. Okay, that does actually make this a little bit more easier. So thank you, random commenter, or whoever brought that to my attention. So there we go. So I think next up is A. I don't really get a whole lot of time, to be honest. So there's the A one, or the second one, and hopefully actually make it over the B. Oh, it's going to be tight. Uh, okay, so hit that. We just managed to get it. Okay, so now I need to get kind of set up. And by that, I mean, I need to get myself some armor back, because otherwise I will just get collapsed in this boss fight. It would be nice if the zombies would like back away for a minute so I can like get myself set up a little bit, but otherwise that would be too nice, to be honest. Oh my god, I'm at bro, game. What the fuck am I meant to do, bro? You throw me into a room with about a million zombies. Can they not leave the room? Oh, that is ridiculous, bro. That is actually like, th this Easter egg is just shit, bro. Like, I hate Cold War. Honestly, it's such a bad game. So not only have I lost all of my perks again, I've just bought, I still don't have any armor because the mini map is scrambled for no reason. Oh, dude, honestly, like, I really don't like this game. I really don't. You know what? Let's just buy my armor. We've got Jug. We've got Stamina. We can make it work, hopefully. So let's just head up here because we are on a timer and let's go fight the Legion. Boys, do you guys mind just speeding up with your dialogue? I've already lost like a minute and a half of my time. Okay, here we go. So what I'm in desperate need of doing is getting myself back my Aether Shroud because Aether Shroud is pretty much going to be my guaranteed way of taking out his orbs. The only thing is these zombies are kind of mental and once I lose my armor, there's pretty much no way of getting it back. I could run all the way back down and get it, I think, but I don't want to waste too much time either. So game, can you please just give me back uh, my Aether Shroud, please? That would be greatly appreciated. All right, come on game. This is actually the perfect chance. There we go. Okay, so grab this nuke, otherwise I actually will just die. Uh, where is the Legion at? There he is. All the way over there. What is going on? No, whatever. Just shoot him. Okay, there's his armor broken. So pop Aether Shroud. Uh, bro, what? Hello? Can you reveal your orbs, please? Jesus Christ. Bro, he, he just like debated me. I got baited. Okay, well, whatever. You know what? You know, man, we got him bound. Bro, everything is against me right now. Uh, what is going on? Uh, get me out. Okay, so once again, I'm just trying to get back my uh, Aether Shroud. For some reason, my brain just keeps on to call it in plain sight because that's pretty much what it is. Oh my god, dude. Dude, come on, game. Like, bro, why have you got to throw in a Kranzi soul that I'm in? Bro, game. I'm literally going to die. There is quite literally nothing I can do. Quite literally nothing. Bro, it, this is kind of over, bro. Like, I'm probably going to fail this. <laughs> like, let's be real, bro. Okay, come on. I've just got to take away shield. Oh my god, I'm dead. Bro, I'm literally. Bro, what the fuck even happened? Okay, you know what? I can confirm this is probably, without a doubt, one of the worst Easter eggs I think I've ever done in my entire life. Genuinely shocking. Uh, sorry I didn't beat it. I got to the boss fight, and as you just seen there, I got absolutely collapsed. Just a very silly uh, Easter egg. And honestly, a very silly game. I hate this game. With, like, with a passion. But there it is, boys. That is history of zombie Easter eggs. And it made history of zombie Easter eggs because for being probably the worst Easter egg I've ever played in my entire life. So that's Outbreak. I never want to touch that Easter egg ever again. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our final Easter egg for this video. Hello, boys. So our final Easter egg for this video in the history of all of zombie Easter eggs, we have Forsaken. Now, the only reason I have Forsaken here is because it's the end of Cold War, right? Like, this is pretty much where we're up to in terms of, like, the story. And I'm sure there's a few of you guys being like, well, what about Vanguard? Well, you know what? Vanguard don't care. Because, <laughs> bro, who cares about Vanguard? Is there even a story to Vanguard? 
Vanguard that anyone can like, follow. I don't think there is because I'm pretty sure Vanguard is actually impossible to understand. If you're able to understand the story of Call of Duty Zombies Vanguard, you're able to understand why that god awful game was made in the first place. So yeah, we're ending it on Cold War because let's be real, this is actually where it matters. Plus, with Call of Duty Gulf War or whatever it's going to be called, we're now, I think, this year, this is a good place to kind of be like, you know, where we started, where we are now. Even though I went over <laughs> no law or anything. Okay, we've got about 10,000 points. Kind of stacking up right now. Okay, so let's leave and let's start making a move to lifting the lockdown since that's kind of like the first thing we need to do. It has been a while since I did this Easter egg and if I remember correctly, it really isn't that difficult. I think like my first time ever beating it on solo or even understanding any of the steps, it took me about 40 minutes. So yeah, we'll see how long it takes. Now that I like actually know the steps, hopefully it won't take as long. But let's pick up this. Let's head into this TV area and pick up this. Head into the theater where we'll pick up this part here. And then the last part is in the Burger Town area. So there we go. So let's go ahead and rebuild up this teleporter. We are like speeding through this, bro. Like honestly, I've got the movement. Yeah, let's just make our way through here. And then if I just make my way down here, it's going to be an abomination. But I do have a ring of fire. So hopefully I can just clap him. Oh my God. Okay, he's dead. Nearly took me out though. He did drop some armor, which is actually kind of big. So if I just make my way through this teleporter in literally four minutes, we could just go ahead and lift up the lockdown. Actually two, three. Then if we press this button here, it's going to play this cutscene, which hopefully I can skip. Yeah, we can skip this one. So skip that. And I'll also pack winch's M16. But you know what? I'll also activate a trial. We build barricades while well, it's over. Where even is there a barricade on this map? That's like a genuine question. Like I don't know where the barricades are on this map. But there's actually no barricades. Like game, how can I rebuild barricades? There's not a single barricade. Oh, what an absolutely pointless challenge. Once again, old war at its finest. Okay, well, I mean, either way, I actually can't remember what we need to do next. Is it not just coming down here? Okay, it is. This might be really risky to start that now, actually, to be fair. Probably wasn't the best idea from me, but I like to live life on the edge. All right, I'm a bit of a rebel. Oh my fucking God. Okay, I, I forgot how many zombies they spawned in. Holy shit. Oh, this is not worth it. Okay, oh, uh, get that nuke. All right, I asked for trouble, not for double. Like, bro, what is this? Okay, I do have a ring of fire if it comes down to it. I can't tell if this is a time thing or if this is like a kill thing. That's the current issue I've got. So, you know what? What I'm going to do, I'm going to put down this ring of fire and I'm just going to go to town, hopefully. They are somehow getting through. Like, actually, how are they doing this? Uh, where's the disciple at? I want to take him out. Oh, there he is. That was Tempest as well, maybe? Oh my god. Ooh, did we do it? Oh, we did it. Okay, so pick that up. There we go. What I can also do is I can actually get myself another part. Pretty much, I just need him to like bash into that. That's going to give me this. I don't know if he always spawns there. For some reason, I feel like I've heard he does. So, I mean, that's actually like really helpful, to be honest. Oh, we got a part there. Huh. Well, I mean, bro, I'm just doing like things that I, I was, wasn't even aiming to do. What can I say? I'm actually on it. Okay, so for the final part, I'm pretty sure all I've got to do is just get dead wire on my weapon. And then I just need to head down to the whole arcade part of the map and then get a kill in front of this Grand Prix machine or pre machine or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Activate this RCXD. And if I can somehow find my way out, uh, I need to go over to this TV shop or store, if you know, not from Great Britain, uh, jump and then detonate. And I'm pretty sure that'll be the final part. Yeah. Okay. So what we got to do now is we need to get ourselves to Crystalax, which I guess I'll try and build because I don't think I'm going to get super lucky in terms of getting out of the box or out of the challenges or anything like that. So let me head back to Main Street and I need to also get myself a flamethrower. And then there's like another part of the crystal like the upgrade. I can't remember how to get it to like spawn in. Let me just quickly look it up. It's Mr. Ruffle Waffles real quick. <laughs> I tried to type in Mr. Ruffle Waffles C for crystal axe. <laughs> the first thing that came up was Mr. Ruffle Waffles crying. Bro, zombies community knows, right? Okay, I might need to end the round actually because I need to go two rounds from the round that I press that button. I think I did it on round seven, but I'm not 100% sure. Wait, we're about to find out. So is there going to be a big crystal that comes out the sky? That is the real question. Oh, yep, here it comes. Okay, perfect. So, oh, bro, okay, that just nearly killed me. <laughs> oh, yeah, trying to die. So, yeah, either way, apparently all we've got to do is just sit on this, and then eventually it will let us pick us up. The thing is, it is going to spawn in like a bunch of bosses, so you need to be kind of careful. You know, counterpoint, it is only round nine. So, you know, things aren't getting too crazy all of a sudden. You know, I think I'm able to manage. Oh, I mean, it's round 10 now. Bloody hell. Just flying through these rounds. Oh, okay, there we go. So, we can pick that up. That's literally the second crystal we need. So, the only one we need to get now is to get a tormentor zombie and kill it with a flamethrower and then that'll give us another uh, part towards the crystal axe. So we're actually kind of zooming through this. It's already been an astounding 15 minutes. This actually isn't a long Easter egg. Okay, so game, I just need you to spawn in a tormentor for me and, you know, we will be on our way. I mean, I suppose there's no real point in me waiting here. I'll head into like the bunker instead so that as soon as I get that tormentor zombie, I can just go ahead and uh, start working on actually getting the crystal axe. Bro, my voice is actually starting to go. Oh, it's a tormentor zombie. Uh, okay, so kill it with a the flamethrower. And then there we go. There's the part. Perfect, boys. We're actually smoothing right now. Probably the Michael Jackson of the zombies community because I've actually got the moves. Okay, so if I just make my way in here, we just need to place those rocks in here. And I'm pretty sure we just need to get melee kills. And then that's literally the crystal axe got. So luckily we did this on a low round, so we can still actually get those melee kills. So it should be a pretty easy. Yep, there we go. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves our axe. Now we can start other things. So we need to shoot these like little like orb thingies. And then after I shoot them, I can go ahead and break it and I can pick up this piece of like Ethereum. Then this little geek's gonna spawn. Just go ahead and throw one in his mouth. There we go. He's gonna eat that up. And then I've just gotta kill him. So there we go. Bro, the crystal axe just actually destroys him. It's 
kind of rude what I end up doing to him. But yeah, there's one of them done. Need that in two more locations. And we're pretty much ready for the boss fight. Well, I mean, like, not really ready for the boss fight, but you know what I mean. Like, we're able to do the boss fight. And to be honest, when I last did this, the boss fight was not that difficult. So I'm thinking we just pack a punch our crystal axe, like, once or twice. And then just be on our way. Like, I really don't feel like we need to prepare that much for it. Until I go in there and I just get absolutely bummed by a bunch of zombies. But look, alright, I've got fake. Okay, so let me head down here, since this is where the next one is. So take out all of these orbs. Oh my god, uh... I think we're good. Dude, the crystal axe is so OP. Okay, so go ahead and break this. Pick up the crystal shard. And where is the abomination? Uh, here he is. So let's go ahead and toss this in his mouth. He's going to eat that all up. And then again, we just need to kill him. Pick up the crystal. And that is the second one done. So we're going to have to do one more, which I believe is all the way back at spawn. So I'm just going to head back there real quick. Now, honestly, this has gone by so much quicker than I initially thought. Like, we are actually kind of zooming through this. So where is the last abomination? Here he is. So go ahead and toss that in. We're going to eat that up. And once again, all we got to do is just kill the abomination. And then there we go. So that's literally every think we need. All I'm going to quickly do is just make my way in here and pack a punch the crystal axe. Maybe again, I'm not really too sure to be honest because like, I don't know if we really need to. I guess we could just like build up some points. You get a load of points for this thing anyways because every kill counts as a melee so you build up points pretty quick. You know what? I'm going to get a little bit risky. I'm going to put on this rampage inducer and I'm just going to swing my axe and just build up a load of points real quick. There's another thing that makes this incredibly OP is that if you upgrade your melee path and like the upgrades menu, whenever you get a kill, you actually get a bit of health back. So sitting in a corner like this, just constantly Constantly clicking left of mouse is actually a viable option, which is kind of crazy. But to be honest though, this isn't going as quick as I thought it would. Like, they're just walking. Like, I thought the whole point of the rampage reducer was to put them to like max speed. They're taking their time. Got oh, big double points, actually. All right, you know what? This'll do. Let's head in here. Let's go ahead and pack this again. Probably all I'm going to need on it. And honestly, I'll just say we go for it. I'm pretty sure once you get to the area, you're able to like buy your perks there anyway. So, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and build this. I'm just going to let it warm up and I'm just going to go. But no reason to stay. So, it took me 25 minutes to do all that, including like getting a few points and I come into my weapons and stuff like that. So yeah, this Easter egg is so short. Then again, I did get kind of lucky. All right, let's go. We are out. -y. Okay, so all we've really got to do is go around this area, destroying crystals and then bringing them back so that this thing can keep moving. So give them that. Go ahead and climb this ladder so we can get the crystal up here. There we go. Pretty much just keep supplying them with new crystals. So there we go. Bro, it's fully stacked up. This thing is one shot, isn't it? Yeah. For a second, I already wasn't killing. Let's give it another piece. Also run out here and grab this piece as well. And I think that's enough room to make it. If bro doesn't make it on that, I'm going to be shocked. If you're required, okay, he better not be playing with me. I'll grab another piece, but we actually need that extra crystal. That is wild. What did he? Actually, I don't know. But either way, we go ahead and buy myself some perks. So quick revive, probably PhD slider, just so I can slide around. Then I'll also buy probably speed cola. So we've got armor, got ammo. I'll get myself two of those little gush devices. Other than that, let's just go for it. 28 minutes. Actually too easy. So what we got to do for this boss fight, if I remember correctly, because it actually has been a hot minute, is pretty much we just need to fill up some manfa. So she goes to like these like turret things. And then after I destroy his shoulder pad here, oh, there we go. I need to hop onto the turret and then shoot his shoulder pad that I've just like revealed and oh bro we're doing big damage to his health now and pretty much you just rinse and repeat oh my god oh my god I did not mean to pop a ring of fire there I got scared I suppose just clap him up real quick all right so Samantha's all charged up so just hop on this and shoot his right shoulder that's his right shoulder you know it's my left I, I know my left and right so I'm not that dumb here we are out of ammo oh never mind we're trying to give us the feels but like I just do not care about the characters in this game so wow truly so spooky game oh are we going back through what is good on back right yeah I'll never go over how like just derpy he looks but yeah to be honest i could really do with some ammo because this m16 was not built for dealing damage uh, maybe this mimic could give me some ammo no let's go you know what? it's fine there you go that gives me ammo okay so we just quickly deal some damage to his stomach hopefully it breaks no okay 70 bullets was not enough be close though so my m16 can probably deal with it there we go so then all i gotta do is hop on this turret zap his stomach give my bro a tummy ache there we go and we're on to the last one so all we gotta do now is his um is his head okay game i do need some ammo oh perfect you ask and you receive all right let's go in oh bro it's a crazy soul that since when did he get you? Right, to be fair, killing them. It might give me some ammo back. Oh, there we go. All right, and it is pretty much done and dusted from here. So go ahead and take out his big ass little forehead. There we go. Up on the cannon, shoot at his head. And then it should be game over from there. So that is the Forsaken boss fight, pretty much. We're not quite over yet, right? I don't consider it a success until I see that cutscene. Okay, I'm assuming it's going to speed up because I don't think I was meant to down there. All right, well, either way, she's uh, she's popping off right now. All right, is that it? Are we done? Is it going to give me a cutscene? No, bro. Like, Sophia is actually like tweaking right now. Oh, well, there you go. Go in. All right, come on, game. Give me that cutscene. It's over. It's done. That's what I'm saying about all of these easter eggs that i've just done oh and there we go boys so there it is that is the history of call of duty zombies easter eggs uh, i do hope you guys enjoyed this video took a long time to make hours of hours of just me doing easter eggs i think i did a total of like 14 in this video which is actually kind of wild so please all i ask is that you guys like the video subscribe to the channel at the end of this year i want to try and hit 50k it seems like a lot but i think we can do it i can't get there without your guys' help so please consider subscribing to the channel i'd really appreciate it and with this video done if you want to see more videos from me and click the two videos that are on screen 
right now. I'm sure I picked some absolute bangers for you guys to go watch. And yeah, I mean, other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.